Yo, 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 we are live, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. I am your co-host, Sexual Chocolate, the man, one time Pat is here with me. Pat, say what up to the people. What's going on, everybody? We are starting on 730 Hank Sanders. Where did he send us? Audio check, visual check. Let us know. Let us know. Ah, here it is. I know it wasn't going crazy. Hmm. Send the invites. Doing it right now. All right, audio and visual are good. Nice. How's everybody doing? It's a it's a strange week this week with the weather. We have a false spring going on. Listen, this weather's trying to get people sick. Any any second now, people are gonna get hit with pollen, with the with the rain. It's gonna be disgusting. Otherwise, any any news on the com on any update on the comic news this week? Why I gotta be raining all of that for? <laughs> Why I gotta be raining all of that? Guys, the um the ten dollar themes this week are variants and the twenty dollar themes are silver age. So as soon as uh, my keyboard is uh, my fingers are back on the keyboard, yes. I'm gonna let you know what the available numbers are. There is a limit of four per person until it hits nine o'clock, uh, eight o'clock. Where uh, then it's fair for uh, sorry nine o'clock nine o'clock then it's fair for everybody if you you can get as many as you want. We got a couple of variants showing. We have some key uh, some big boy books that we're gonna run at nine right. o'clock. You already sent it. Yes. Right. Back to the screen. Back to the screen. You, you still need you still need to open. No, sir. Okay. Uh, we got a couple of people and make sure you guys share. If you get if you share, you'll be included in the shared raffle in the first ninety minutes. So Adam Frank is in here. Darius is in here. S and V. Darius S and V. And Adam says, "Give me four random number tens." Adam Frank says he wants four random number tens. All right, we'll give you so the uh, do boom, boom, boom. Pat, pick one. Where, whatever, whatever. So I can put a number in. Yeah, hold number. on, yeah. All right, John Brown is AF, here. Key Chan. AF. Okay, let me update the things that are AF. Here. AF. Just random, baby. Random. Random. Three, four, five. Oh. That's it, and it's twenty. Is one, goes three, four, four, three, four, and six, seven, eight, six, seven, nine, and ten. Okay, so the, ten, the these are the flips that are uh, remaining, guys. The ten dollars are variants, and the twenties are uh, silver age. Tens we have three, four, and five, and the twenties we have one through four, six, seven, nine, and ten. Mm. John Brown just said, "We see you." Once we get ten people in here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my regular. Uh, regular spiel, regular spiel, <laughs> and we'll get the show started. Oh um, man, Bang Hang will be joining us shortly. He Big is Bang. downstairs taking care of some business. Big Bang Hank, Big Bang Hank, Big Tank Hank, Hank the Tank. Let's go, let's go, let's go. D Rob in the house. D Rob, we did get your numbers. Yes, we got you, B Rob. Okay, so uh, for everybody that's coming in again, the flips, the ten dollar flips are variant mixes, and the twenty dollar flips are silver age. For the ten, we still have three, four, and five. And at 20s, we have one through four, six, seven, nine, ten. Make sure okay, we have everyone. ten people. So with that being said, let me give our let me bring up my usual spiel for every seven uh, every Friday, seven thirty. Welcome to the show tonight. Uh, this is auction two twenty eight. Uh, two the tribe has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> this is auction two twenty eight. As usual, we have Randy Watson uh, with sexual chocolate, Patrick Sly, one time Pat. And we have Hank the Tank, uh, the owner, a proprietor of Bulletproof, <laughs> a proprietor of Bulletproof Comics in the basement. Be so the usual, the way this usually goes as follows: We normally start seven thirty. Uh, forgive us if we're half an hour early or half an hour later. We're always just going to call it seven thirty, Hank Standard Time. There you go. So the order of auction goes as follows: We have the claims, uh, and we've been doing it with the indie books, then Marvel and DC. Mm -hmm. uh, the ratios, depending on how many we order, one in five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, fifty, we'll let you know. Those will be the first things to be on the block. After that, we have the auction items, which is split between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Regular ratio, uh, some ratios, some older books, uh, some CGC books. Uh, and then for 9 o'clock, some more heavy-duty items that normally start at 100. So we can have some CGC books, original art, Funkos, mm. signed Funkos. Then we have the flips. So the flips, again, are 10, uh, 10, 10 of the 10 flips and 10 of the 20 flips. They're, they're what we call the mystery books. We'll reveal the theme after we show, uh, when we when we announce them. I so, got you for read. So once they all sell, once once they all sell, we'll do a spin to show the uh, 
uh, who gets the ten dollar Joker card, which is the free egg roll, and a twenty, which is the extra book. Then we have the main egg roll. Egg roll is just what we call a raffle, so they're ten dollars per spot. I'll get to the payment options later. There, you can get as many egg rolls as you want. And there are normally two prizes. If we if we meet, if we meet a certain threshold, we might open a third and a fourth prize. Then we have the shared egg roll, just for sharing on any any social media platform. Facebook, Instagram, X, wherever you want to call it, wherever you want to share it. Just give us some, uh, some more exposure. Uh, we'll, you'll be included for a free book. And finally, we have trivia. So trivia is not Googleable. Uh, <laughs> you have to pay attention to the show. And whatever happens to the show, the question may come up at the end for a free book. Uh, I got you, Adam Frank. In addition to that, we have the token system. So the token system is what Randy and I and Hank decided we're going to do. If we if we both feel that you've gone above and beyond fair market value mm. and we don't have any other goodies to add for you, uh, we're just going to give you some bonuses. So the bronze token gives you two egg rolls, the silver gives you a free press, a gold gives you a blue a blue CGC, and a yellow. Bluey? A bluey. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> a sorry. Gives sorry you a you. The blue sorry. labels and yellows are not eligible for anything pre-1975. And finally, we have the um, the payment options. So payment is due 24 to 72 hours after the show. Uh, if you pay uh, immediately, there is quick payer incentives. We will add some bonuses for you. But uh, uh, you can pay in store. You can pay through Zelle, PayPal, Cash, and Venmo for, for the flips and egg rolls. We've been flagged by PayPal before. Just don't send it on that. If you have a preferred payment method, uh, just fly, uh, just let us know, and we'll uh, we'll hook you up with that. For shipping, if you're local, you can come by and pick it up. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to ship, it's five dollars flat for raws and ten dollars for slabs. Uh, if you get slabs and raws, it is still ten dollars, and anything more than that is uh, is still ten. But if you get statues, uh, those will be actual costs, which which should be normally with priority, a minimum sixteen actual costs. Uh, finally, with all of that being said, let me catch up with the comments. So, Randy, you've already got the shared people already. Okay, so the flips for Reed got 10, 4, and 5. So, the 10 got is him. only, um, got them. Only three is left. Only three is left for the 10. And 20 says you, uh, Red Adam saying, got him. I got him. Got him. Got okay. him. All right, so let me get the updated flip numbers and I'll get started with the claims. I got you, my guy. So, number three, and the Darius 20. wants claim three. He's coming out the gate early. Got or He's coming up six, the gate early seven, Why did you today oh, all day two three four six seven you need a marker or are you good no. no 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 we're good okay so i pinned the i pinned the flips um the flips so if you uh so there's still plenty of time oh i forgot we still have flips uh mystery boxes that we still we still oh, yeah. three, three out of the seven last week there's still four more available there's mix one mix two the lotto cosmic and uh bronze's horror once all of those sell it, we have two separate prizes that you will be ran into a separate um, uh, private wheel and picker wheel. Okay, and they're all 100 each. So let's get started with the claims. Uh, we will be doing live shots because the photo quality, unfortunately, is <laughs> it's potato. You said potato? Uh, Joshua says uh, one flip for 10 and one for 20. So Joshua is closing out the 10s. Okay, Joshua, Joshua Arias is taking out. Today. Yep, yep, yep. And we're just going to give you the random number. Okay, so number one, two, and three. Uh, Man, I can't even see. Oh, yeah, it's too small. I'm just gonna have to read it top and then put That's it. That's fine. Okay, so then Joshua's taking a twenty. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Wonder, uh, claim number one, we have Wonder Woman number five, cover A. Claim number two, we have Shazam number nine, cover A. Mm. And for claim number three, we have Red Hood, uh, The Hill number two, cover A. These are all claims. These are all cover prices. And if there is a, a specific foil or something like that, we will let you guys know if there is any upcharge on that. Guys, like uh, like Pat was uh, speaking, uh, alluding to earlier. We do have mystery boxes, guys. One hundred dollars a mystery box. Get them in. Get them in. And you know, today, guys, today's tribe day. We have special guests that will be here at the Unlock Power Hour. We have books, artwork that we will be moving, guys. Uh, amazing. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Tonight's gonna be a jam-packed event. Speaking of which, let me get you these photos, buddy. So I've just pinned the updated flips and the mystery boxes that's still available. So um, the ten dollar flips are sold out. The twenty flips are uh, sorry. The ten dollar flips were variants. The twenty flips are all silver age. With remaining is two, three, four, seven, and nine. The hundred uh, there's still four mystery boxes that are hundred dollars remaining. We have mix one, mix two, the Lotto Cosmic and Bronze Age Horror. Okay, so Darius already claimed number three. We got, got you. It. Okay, I'm gonna get uh, just repeat it one more time, and we're gonna keep it going. So uh, claim number one, we have Wonder Woman number five. Claim number two, we have Shazam number nine. Yep. And then claim number three, we had Red Hood the Hill number two. Robert Feliciano is on tonight. He's Rob Fell, up? what up, baby? He's on the comedy show. I hope you enjoy. Nice. Okay. Brandon, we can move on to four, five, six. <laughs> Darius Tribe. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let me uh let me read them before you put them up. Oh, these there's oh, back the bottom. Back yeah. Back here. Okay. 
All right, so we're at four. Rob Pell, while you're here, share, buddy. Share so you can still be entered into that raffle. So claim four, we have Nightwing 111. Uh, claim five, we have Green Lantern number nine. And claim six, we have Suicide Squad Dream Team number one. Wait a minute, Rob Feliciano. Where the hell is Fluffy? Are you in New York, New Jersey? I didn't know Fluffy was in town. Fluffy! Fluffy! I did not know the Fluffy was in town. Why are you pissing me off today? <laughs> okay, again, claim number four, five, and six. We have Nightwing 111. Uh, claim number five, Green Lantern number number nine. And claim number six, Suicide Squad number uh, Countdown. Countdown to Absolute Power Dream Team number one. This isn't. Didn't you promote this book where you said Amanda Waller started to take over the uh, the DC universe? There's a, not that one, but not there, that one. But there's another Suicide Squad. You're talking about Waller Wildstorm. Ah, uh, the new. Uh, there's a a Waller event like Night Terrors or whatnot. Stephen Y and D Rob just shared. Steve, Steve D Rob, I got yeah. Stephen Y. I don't have. Yeah. Okay. I uh, don't see any movement. I'm gonna keep it going. I'll pick them up. Sugar. Good. We're good. Thank you, buddy. Guys, if you haven't been using uh, League of Comic Geeks, listen, it's a it's a blessing for both sides, easy to use. Uh, claim number seven, we have Sinister Sons number two. So the claims, is, uh, if you forgot to put up something on the claim or uh, you just uh, you just want a second copy, this is your chance. So claim number seven, Sinister Sons number two. Claim number eight, we have Detective Comics 1082. And uh, claim number nine, we have Batman, Dylan Dog number one. Key Augusto's in here. Key Augusto. Uh, AJ just shared, uh, shared as well. Got we did have him already. Wait, Adam Frank wants claim number nine, Batman Dylan Dog. That out right down. I'm about to close. It's just pissing me off today. Your laptop's just not charging? I, I don't know. It's just in a frozen state. Nine should be at the end. Mm. Raymond Cox is in here. What's good? What's good? Raymond! Hadouken. Adam Hadouken. Frank wants this. Yep, yeah. number nine. Okay, claim number seven again. It's uh, Shaw Cuppert shared as well. We see you, Shaw. Uh, claim number seven is Sinister Sons number two, Detective Comics 1082 for number eight, and number nine is Batman Dylan Dog. V Rob says, How did the how do X how do the people feel about the X-Men Krakoa era ending? I can't give too much input because I don't really care about X-Men. No, no, not don't care, but I don't care in the sense of it's gotten way too political, and there's just so many titles to catch up on what's really going on. So what, what do you have to say about that? Ending? I was gonna say literally the same thing in reverse. I was going to say X-Men got political, and they politicked my way out of it. I didn't care ah, you see, you see. That's why I was like, it's hilarious that you said that. The only I read Storm because I like Storm. Uh, uh, now Iron Man is technically an X-Men book because he married freaking Emma Frost. So I don't even know what's going on there. <laughs> but I'm, I don't give a freak about X-Men at this point, mm. honestly. I, I truly don't. It's a X-Men is X-Men. It's always going to move, but... You gotta find the right crowd for it. Yeah, and they, I understand comics. Are so, they talk about real life in terms of, uh, you know, politics or whatnot. Cause Stan Lee did it, Malcolm X and uh, Martin Luther King, Xavier, Magneto. But they sat on it so long. I'm like, if I want to watch, here. if I want to watch CNN, I'll watch CNN. I just want to read go. comics. Like it was too much. Yeah, Raven Cox, we got you for shared. Clean number ten. We have Batman, know, Batman, Robin number seven. Oh. Uh, claim number 12, we have ASM number 45. We're, we're finally out of the gang war. And oh, yeah. Oh, how did you like that when you're done? Uh, claim number 11, Doctor Strange number 13. Uh, Loman, oh, she shared Loman is in the house tonight. Loman, dun! Loman, dun, dun, dun! Oh, you know what? Loman knows we got some heavy haters. Yes, some he so he's a little showing up. There you go, there you go. Uh, I thought gang war was subpar. Very subpar. So, so... Scale a little bit of spoilers. To, before you jump in, with scale of one to ten, will you get that grade? Because I know where I, I think it's mid. I think it's mid. I like seven point five. I think it's a five. Damn, so, that's right, low. Let me let me tell you why. Yeah, please, you why. please, please. So spoilers, or if you don't care about the story, well, you're gonna hear it from me anyway. Let's go. So, so this has been a minor buildup over a course of a couple of weeks. Uh, the heroes that are involved is really the the, the street level heroes. So Spider Man, Spider Woman, Miles Morales, Luke Cage, Danny Rand, and uh, and uh, what's the other? Shang Chi. And then the the villains that yeah. are involved, there's Super a lot. Woman, of, Spider Woman. I already said that. Oh. And then the and then the the villains that are involved, there's so, so many C-list villains. So we have the female version of the superior uh, of the Sinister Six. Nobody cares about them. We have White Rabbit, Tombstone, the Owl, and then Madame Mass is the big bad. Yeah. So 
Uh, it's good to see a little bit of mafia thing going on uh, that that's still active in the New York City scene in the comics. But unfortunately for me, it just didn't feel like there was too much at at uh, stake. It just kind of felt like who was whoever felt convenient to get rid of whoever was convenient to take power. And the heroes didn't really have too much say. Remember, during this time in comics, Fisk Law is still in in uh, in play. Heroes are still outlawed. Mm -hmm. So you just see heroes are outlawed, but then heroes are still doing their hero thing. There's kind of no balance and whatever predecessor, pre pre there's no precedence with the, uh, the previous writing. It just doesn't carry over. So it's just all over the place. doesn't make sense. And uh, it's I, I really feel like all these extra tie-ins is just to grab your money. That's why I didn't enjoy it. Makes sense. Before you move on. Oh, no! Hey, my guy? Anil, the former champ, has joined back to the fold. What up, Anil? Mark, I see you. Mark, I see you out there in the streets. Uh, yes. Gang Wars. I expected more, especially because Luke Cage got like, got his own story and whatnot. I do like the mafioso aspect. I thought they could have used uh, this more. I think so, too. They I should have so used too. him. They should have used Kingpin way more. I thought it would have definitely tied in with the move, with the uh, Echo and Daredevil. I said that would have been a perfect tie-in. That's a stretch. That's a stretch. Really? Yeah, yeah, because uh, although 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 movies and TV oh. shows have an influence on where comic books come out, it's mostly on the variant side and the cover side, not so much what's happening in the story. Touche, but the way I see it, like, if, if, it's, if it's a good story, you would want to see that character in action more often. So especially I don't the, disagree. Especially the way the current actor is portraying Kingpin. Guys, he's crushing uh, it. Just a quick interlude before I go to continue the continue the, the, the claims. So the 10 flips have sold out. They are all variants. The 20 flips, we are at they're all silver age. We had two, three, four, seven, and nine. And then we had seven mystery boxes. We sold three last week. We still have four remaining. They're hundred dollars each. There's mix one, mix two, the lot of cosmic stuff, and bronze horror. There are two prizes. So once they all sell out, we will uh, show the uh, we show the splitting wheel, and then let me continue. I, I see your question, Vorshan. Let me get to the, let me just get this first. So we have, right, up? we have claim number thirteen. This is Avengers eleven. Claim number fourteen is Ghost Rider Final Avengers cover A number one cover A and the same book cover B for claim fifteen. So V Rob's question was for the host and the audience: What's the best Marvel series book run right now? Shit! Oh, that's not fair. Ultimate Spider Man number one. Ultimate Spider Man number one. Yeah, that's not even. Easy. That's not even. That's easy. easy. That's not even a, you don't got to think about that. So uh, just a little bit of background on the writers. The writer is Jonathan Hickman. He's known for world building. He's known for the big events. He's crushing it. And um, and Spider Man, you know, if you're if you've been a thirsty Spider Man yeah. fan, you've just been thirsting for good content. We're not talking about no Paul bullshit. We're not exactly. talking about Mary Jane bullshitting about responsibility. <laughs> We're talking about relatable Spider Man. Absolutely. Down to earth Spider Man. Absolutely. A real human being. Real writing. This is the book you want to go for. Absolutely. Claim 4315, I got 14. you. AJ wants 14 as well. Oh, oh you're on YouTube side? Yeah, YouTube. 13, 14, 15. Absolutely. Easily the best book. Now, the second best, I don't know. I'm not putting Ultimate Black Panther there. I'm not. It does. I'll tell you what, Star Wars has been doing good. And I'm not talking about all the, I'm talking about mainly Star Wars, the main title Star Wars. Okay. Star Wars, Darth Vader. Um, those two, I'm really digging. I'm really digging. I'm not a Star Wars guy. Charles Soul really knows how to write Star so Wars. I can't talk about Star Wars. Darius is not happy about the X titles. Total money grab. Absolutely. And non-climatic storylines. You want to talk about money grab? I apologize. Thundercats? I actually like Thundercats too. It was better. It got better. Or, or, or are we talking about uh, Ninja Punk? Fuck it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sorry. Whoa, sorry, I almost went to a thousand quick. Uh, no, money grab Marvel with this blood hunt. Let's get to that in a bit. Let's Holy bit. crap, claim number 16. This is Ghost Rider Last Ride, cover C. Uh, claim number 17 is oh, oh, oh. Rise of the Powers of X, number one. And then claim number 18 is Immortal Thor, number eight. Uh, number Lindley eight. Scott, what up, baby? So uh, I will not be going. I will not be running these back. We are. We have already posted these in the website. Yes. So if you if you missed the numbers before, feel free to go back to our Instagram or Facebook and uh, just let us know what you want. Adam Frank one sixteen. We got you. Adam Frank sixteen. I know the Ultimate Spider Man that's coming out has nothing to do with the previous volume. This is a completely reset universe that uh, because of what the maker did. Mister Reed. <laughs> Mister Reed. Lindley, who else shared? Twenty else shared. Anil. And then 16 should be the owls, right? Feed it out of fright. Uh, 
Uh, Adam said you got his 14 and 15, right? Yeah, look at him. So Adam, uh, Hank is still downstairs getting the flips. Once he brings them up, Randy will write the names in the back, and then we'll be able to show them. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I the, the Thundercats, issue number one pissed me off. Hmm. Issue number two was better than number one, but there were certain things where it's like you can see what like, I, I saw a certain character, and I said, I already know this is a bad guy. Hmm. So that's why I was like, ah. But let's get into it. That blood hunt. That's going to be a cash... AJ also AJ wants to claim fifteen and sixteen from YouTube. Cash cow. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen and sixteen. This is fifteen. No, what? Why do I have a reverse? Fourteen, fifteen. And Loman wants eighteen. We got. Who wants fifteen? AJ. So he already has fifteen. Yeah. So he wants sixteen also. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we go back? I think Blood Hunt, if it, if it succeeds, will be the new precedent. They are literally across 25 books. That's too much. And when I say across 25 books, that's including the one shots that are coming out called Blood Hunt. That's too much. Yeah. I don't see any more comments. Uh, Loman wanted 18, and we're going to keep it going. That's too much. How the hell did I not see Loman? 418. Oh, that's why. I couldn't tell that this was four. <laughs> okay. Couldn't tell that this was four. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so number nineteen, we have uh, Immortal Thor. This is cover B. Uh, Thor number eight, cover B. For number tw uh, claim number twenty, we have What If Venom number two. And then for claim number twenty-one, we have Ultimate Black Panther number two, cover A. Mm. Did you read Ultimate Black Panther? I don't care for the other Ultimate series. Ah, uh, nah, you don't know. I only care for Spider-Man. You gotta go all in. You because I'm all in on Spider Man, I bought variants on it. So, listen, so, so, I'm, <laughs> here's my thing because Ultimate Spider Man was so good, Adam Frank was both. Because Ultimate Spider Man was so good, you have to read the other ones because you know they're going to intersect. No, yeah, they're in the Ultimate, they, they are not in the grand scheme of things. I beg to differ, Adam Frank 20 and 21. I beg to differ. And Darius wants 21 as well. Mike Saratovsky in the house. Saratovsky. Lily Scott says facts. Listen, I like who I like, and I don't no, like who fair. I don't that's like. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. Why? Because they're black? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said yeah? Until, until they come out with a yellow panther. I don't oh, know. We got it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Adam Frank. V-Rob wants 21. I got you, V-Rob and Darius for 21. V-Rob and Darius for 21. Darius did not want 20. You said there is 20. One. Let me read it off of here. B Rob. Wait a minute, Cox says Henry Cavill is doing a variant of Wolverine and Deadpool Wolverine. Wait, what do you mean? Uh I mean until it's confirmed, it's all rumors, aren't they? I don't know about that. listen, Henry Cavill. I don't know. Mike says ultimate pat. I don't know about that. Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the listen, one time pat is catchy. One time absolutely, catchy. absolutely. Absolutely, but the ultimate you didn't even read Ultimate X Men. AJ says 20 and 21. So 20 is what if Venom number two, and 21 is Ultimate Black Panther number two. Both cover A's. AJ wants them. Uh, he's, he's, just just, he's just asking. He's just asking. What's there? It was still seven more minutes. Sarah. So, so once we're done with the claims, we're gonna go straight to the ratios of the week. I don't see any yeah. more numbers, yeah. any more claims. Yeah. So we're gonna keep going. We are at 22, 23, 24. So number 22, we have Wolverine number 45. This is the Sabretooth through the Ages variant. Sabretooth? That's a book I didn't talk to see. Number 23, we have Venom number 30. Loman, 20 Venom. I got you, Loman. And then number 24, this is a magazine size. This is Savage Sword of Conan uh, cover B. Loman done. AJ says he wants uh, 20 and 21. And he wants 22 also when... Yep, I got you, I got you. Let me yep. just start these bad boys. Again, number 22 is Wolverine number 45. This is the uh, Saber 2 through the Ages variant. Number 23 is Venom number 30, cover A. And number 24 is Savage Sword of Conan, uh, Conan number 1. <laughs> Conan. Conan. Uh, uh, bitch. Cover B. Cover B. That is the magazine size. Darius says, Ultimate Spider-Man is out on the third printing. It's too soon. Let, no, honestly, Darius, that I disagree with you. I'm shocked they're not at fourth printing. That book is selling like hotcakes. No LC. If you walk into an LCS, hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. What that book did, that book is a litmus test. If you walk into an LCS 
and they have an a, absorbent amount of Ultra Spider-Man number one, they don't have a lot of foot traffic or something's wrong. That book is not supposed to be on shelves. That's how good that book is. Once you buy it, you bag and board it for those stores that bag and board because they have they were raised right. Mike, we don't we either don't have it or we already sold it. Absolutely. Feral Ashkan? Yeah. I saw it last week. Uh then someone must have bought it already. All right. We are almost at the we're almost done with the claims. I don't see any claim numbers. So we are at the last one. We are at 25, 26, 27. So 25 Transformers number six cover A and Transformers six cover B for number 26. I didn't read Transformers this week. How was it? For those that read it. Steve Kush, where you at? Yeah, where's the Kush? And then number 27, we have Kingswood Comics. This is a Harry Tubman number Demon six. Slayer. We don't have 28, 29, 30 this week. We didn't have them. Guys, the League of Comic Geeks is doing its job because eventually the whole idea is that we should not be having any claims. Mike is upset. He says, who bought it? Name yourself. <laughs> hey, what the hell? I that's what I was saying. Yeah, I was no. like, this is it. Hanks on the road. Hanks on the road. Speaking of roll, guys, we still have twenty out of flips. Let me show uh, Darius wants 25, 26. 25. I should start starring these instead of scrolling up to find the thing, so I can just. Mm, I see what you're doing. All right, so again, the flips, the tens are sold out. They are all variant mixes. The twenty flips, they are all silver age. We still have two, three, four, seven, and nine. 25, 26 for my man Darius. Uh, we sold three out of the seven mystery boxes from last week. We still have four remaining. We have mix one, mix two, the Lotto Cosmic, and Bronze Horror. Uh, I'm gonna throw a bone there. I'll throw a bone here. Whoever gets mix one and mix two, you will be getting five Spidey books each from me. Oh shoot! That will be lasting until the end of this auction because that offer, if this book, if this these books still don't sell tonight, it's gone. So let me get this straight. Whoever buys what mix one or mix two box will get five Spidey books from me. Each, each box is a dollar, a hundred dollars each. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so final claims. I don't see any numbers besides that. Darius got twenty five, twenty six. How about YouTube? And uh, oh, and I forgot the uh, mystery box prizes. The first place is winner's choice. The prizes are first appearance of White Vision and first appearance of Kamala Khan. Mm -hmm. The second is the uh, Spider Gwen number one. I'm sorry, Ghost. I think Ghost Spider number one or Spider Gwen number one. This is the Error Recalls variant from Comic Kings. Uh, you can tell by the uh, the title. There's no white outlining. Mm. Okay, Mike Cap in the house. He says claim 21 and 25. Mike, the man said 21 and 25. How dare you? Now I gotta go back. I was about to say I was happy to see you, but no, I don't know. We still have three more minutes, so we're just going to start the ratios a little bit early. I'm just organizing these books. Mike Cap, Mike Capozzi. Let me get him for the share. I know he's going to share. Guys, if you share within the first 90 minutes, you get entered into that shared raffle, guys. Get your buddies in here. The more the merrier. Share that BP wealth. Oh, yeah. Uh. Lomans, what's the last Rosen. one? Rosen. Bronze Age Horror. Bronze Age Horror. So it's the books from the 1970s, 1980s, and they are all individual titles. There could be some werewolf stuff, some vampire stuff, some monsters in there. That's kind of what the, the theme is. Uh, Adam says he wants uh, mystery box number one, but still didn't pay it off. Listen, Adam, you, you, you're a longtime customer here. Hank knows you're good for it. If you want it, let us know. And uh, Listen, I'm about to say it. But it's up for grabs for everybody. So if you want it, but you know what? I respect that. He's like, I don't want to carry open it over a tab mm. because I'm not gonna lie to you. That is when I turned when we turned into mafioso bulletproof. <laughs> Full transparency. I will be on your line. Pat will be gently sending you nice emails. You know, you gotta pay you gotta pay the piper. <laughs> you gotta pay the piper. I forgot. Let me just show you guys the prizes here. So winner's choice, you're getting both of them. This is one prize, by the way, one prize. You're getting both White Vision and Kamala Khan. Wait, that's one prize. That's one prize. And then the second prize is the Spider-Gwen uh, Comic Kings. Uh, this is the error recall because the title doesn't have the white outlining, just so you know. Adam says, hold me down for mystery box number one. Oh, mystery box number one. All right, we'll just show the mixed one now. Let's just show it. Go into what? My man AF. I mean, uh, Loman Dunn. No, no, Adam Frank. Adam Frank. Adam Frank is getting mixed one. Master the Bronze Age Horror. No, no, no. He didn't claim oh, that. That's seven. Shit. Mix one. Mix one, mix four, missing one. There's the other. What's the other one? Is it under your laptop? No, this one is mix six. No, no. So there's there's two mixes. Okay. So uh, low. Uh, oh, Adam, that's what you mean by mix. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so the numbers for that, Adam, is box number four or box number six. Uh, there's there's two different mix boxes. So there's uh, box number four for the mix. And in box number six for another mix. So just let me know which number you want. Yeah, because I don't think we do. Do we have four boxes in total? 
AJ says, if you throw in a spin as well, I'll take Knicks too. You're getting five free books whoa, for whoa, me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're, you're getting five books for guys, me. Guys, guys, <laughs> the spins are sacred. Okay. Let's let's not ruin it for everybody. The spins are sacred. Okay, Adam says uh, box six. So that is the one under your laptop. Ow. Let's just replace this. Let's do it. There you go, buddy. There you go. Wop, you can, wop. Wop. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so box six for Adam. All right, let's what see. What does he have? So you're getting Star Wars Vader down number one. This is Olivier Coipel. You got the Wait, dynamic force. No, it's not. You got the dynamic force COA showing how many is the print run. Oh, that's why. And you're getting Star Wars Shattered Empire. This is the title variant. You're getting Star Wars C-3PO. This is the GameStop cover. Mm. Still in the poly bag. You're getting Thor, God of Thunder. This is the Lego variant featuring Loki. You're getting Loki, Agent of Gaspar. This is the animal cover. You have Loki as a fox and Thor as an eagle. Then you're getting Mighty Thor number 705. This is the Archerm cover. You're getting Civil War number one. This is uh, by Rubio, Secret Wars Rubio, also a GameStop cover, still in the poly bag. Star, uh, Secret Wars number four. This is the Avengers cover, Gwen as the Avengers. You're getting uh, Venom number eight. This is the J. Scott Campbell cover. Then you're getting uh, Wolverine's number one, uh, this variant, and another Wolverine variant. This is a Life After Logan. And finally, you're getting Batman Hunt the Dark Knight. This is a, this is a, what is this, book two? Book three. This is book, book three. Three. Big book three. And in the five extra books you're getting from me. From the Millers. From me. Darius, I got you for the egg roll as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I did say you were getting five. We have five to get Nick one and Nick two are getting five Spidey books from me, so you're getting... Uh, ASM number four variant. This is a uh, Simone Bianchi. Mm. Another Simone Bianchi. This is ASM number 23. Uh, Spider Man number one. This is Phil Noto. And then we have uh, ASM number two. This is Todd Nock. Todd Nock. And then we have uh, number Spider Man number three. This is by uh, Andy Kubert. So all those four, I'm just gonna, all those five, I'm just going to add it in the box. So this is going to Adam Frank. Adam Frank. Adam Frank. Hey. Thank you, buddy. Uh, and we're going to keep it going. Yep. Darius paid for an aggro. So the first uh, ratio of the night where we have five copies of these. I'm just going to run one as individual and uh, one as a set with number six. If the six, uh, I'm sorry, if this, if the uh, one in 25 doesn't sell, I'm going to run it with a set with the one in, uh, one in. So the first I one. I know it wasn't crazy. It was this one. So the yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just bring it back up. The I yeah. know it wasn't crazy. It, uh, Transformers number six. This is the one in 10. We're going to open it for 10. Guys, we have a Delato mystery box. That's number number one, the Lotto comic set. Transformers, uh, number six, one in ten, opens ten. As usual, guys, anything under a hundred is five dollar increments. There is no sudden death here, and anything over a hundred is ten dollar increments. There you go. Sorry about uh, interrupting you, Randy. What are you gonna say? You that was it. Is it? Yeah. Alrighty. Walk around, baby. <laughs> Look at this code. It's actually pretty clean. Pretty clean. Oh, that, mm. I don't know our. Ara Sarah. Ara Sarah? We see that. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh -huh. There you go. I'm going to update the flips in the boxes that's still remaining. Again, the 10s were all variants and they have all sold out. The 20s, uh, Two, three, four. 7 and 9. Yep. Those are all Silver Age. Two, and the uh, 100 mystery boxes. There are four remaining. Yes. Delato number one. Uh, mystery box number four, mix and bronze age. Yeah, bronze age horror yeah. number seven. Okay, what was the other? One? We have a Scotty, and then the no, 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 that, that's that's separate. That's auction. You're right. Absolutely. Okay, all right. 10 seconds if anyone wants to open a Transformer six, one in 10. If no one opens for this, I'm going to run the one in 25. And if no one gets this, then I'm going to run them both as a set and mm. we're going to keep it going. Okay, no movement. No movement. We're gonna keep it going. Transformers, uh, number six, one in twenty-five. Opens for twenty. Nope. And uh, get that interest clock up. Yep. Ooh. This looks like one of those toys, those toy covers. Toy covers? You know, like from, um, well, what was that toy company? Mattel? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Mattel covers? Mm -hmm. 
exactly what it hey, is. Matthew Seabrook in the house. Thanks for joining us today. Matthew Seabrook. Guys, it's already 8.04. We get it. We got started with the auction. Oh, so we, we do on. Have- we do have the ratios, and when we're through with the ratios, we run some other books until we have power hour. Oh, you know we got the set. And Hank and Reddy have been advertising. Keep uh, Stay tuned for Larry Stroman and Todd, what was his last Todd one? Johnson. Todd Johnson. We got power some hour exclusive artwork that we're going to be running. That's right. We got some signed books as well. Big Hank just came upstairs with more goodie. Hank Hank's, not Hank. Play- Hank's not playing today, guys. Hank is not playing. And in unusual fashion, there is no orange on his person today. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you're right. No, it's shirt. Sure. There's always orange. Yeah, what oh, the heck is that? Full set, signed book to Ed Pandy. So tell us a little about this, Hank. Yeah, Hank, will so you? This, I'm just going to flip this over. This was a complete set of signed books. Um, he signed one, one two, 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 three, four, and, and then books are individually numbered and individually signed. And it comes with a, this is, a, I think, when the uh, Superman came back to life. Mm. Each one's a, the, the number. They're all numbered. Number, and the numbers match. Mm. And does the auction item come with the uh, the binder? Comes with the binder. Wow. Okay. And and the pin. So I never I was, seen this pin before. I was gonna say I see some pins in there, Hank. There's a pin. And that's a trading card, Hank. That's a trading card. All right. What in the world? And, and run this. This one is a fail safe. Oh oh oh. Ratio. Well, fail safe ratio. That's not gonna be right. <laughs> <laughs> this was like you should have never opened with that one. Uh, Darius is a hype. He is oh, getting ready for one prime ratio. Hank, prime is gorgeous. Is that nice? Nobody knew what it was when it came out. All right, let's run this next. We'll, we'll include that's it in the, the DC ratio power. ratio for the fail safe, no, uh, 125. Include Ooh, it in the what DC are you, power. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 you want to win it, you got to bid on yeah, it like Darius, everybody else. Darius says, wow. Look what are you doing? What are you right. doing? This one is the, uh, oh, thank you, Big Hank. Yes. Is. Let me have the tape. Total ratio. Thank you. And this one is going to be a Scotty auction. That's, that's going to be the auction? You can show the people first. And what about okay. the other one? You could get an art drum one. Yeah, I'm going to bring the art drum. Yes. Copy. We just sold another box. Nice. All right, so this is Transformers 1 in 10 and 1 in 25. I'm going to run them together. So I had them 10 and 20. I'm going to put them 25. You're getting a set for 25. Ooh. Transformers 6, 1 in 10, 1 in 25. Set opens 25. If no one moves on this, we're going to keep it going. We still have plenty of ratios that came out this week to, uh, to cover. Raymond Cox, can't remember how much that Detective Comics 359 go for last week. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. That the uh, first uh, Batgirl. No. Oh, uh, it, you know, it was. I think it was. Uh, she got it for four fifty. 450. Was it first Batgirl? And then I had another uh, Dahlia. Dahlia. Uh, I don't think anyone opened on that, right? No, somebody opened up the Dahlia. Let me check. Let me check really? last week. Dahlia was sold for two fifty. Pat, you have the numbers. Maybe she got it too. And she got both. She got. Yeah, yeah. So Detective three sixty nine was uh, for she for four fifty, and Detective four eleven also she for two hundred. You guys think I'm playing? <laughs> Hat keeps the numbers. It was Saratoski said, so if you when you owe Hank payment, you break hearts, I break kneecaps. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. And I just break the silence. There you go. Nice. I like that. You know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not here to name and shame. Never. Ten seconds left. Transformers. Never. Set. One in, uh, number six, one in ten, and one in 25 or 25. Raymond Can anybody said, open? Raymond said that's one of the biggest books that he's seen here. Yeah, was, yeah. Raymond, first off, that's not true. I don't know All if right, you no saw, on this. but I brought a 1 in 50 Ninja Funk. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to... Yep. I'm just going to pretend I didn't I mean, do that. If you, if you ask... Uh, what? Let me, you know what? Let me stop because I just got invited to a really, really special whatnot event. So let me not... So they rescind my invite. You know what? Yes, I am. I'm, I got to be who I'm going to be no matter what. If you ask whatnot, that was the hottest book of the year. Okay, so we have, uh, for Thundercats number two, we do have two copies of one in 10, one copy of one in 15, one copy of one in 20, number uh, cover A, and one in, uh, one in 20, cover B. Guys. And we have a one in 25. I read Thundercats number two after I picked it up from Big Hank. Number one pissed me off. Number two redeemed itself. Wow. It's the first Dynamite series that I'm probably going to keep on my pull list until they do something stupid. Indies are coming strong. Hank, they're moving. Marvel and DC got to get their shit together. Although DC is definitely getting their stuff together. The so Waller. The 10? Opening for 10. Yeah. The Waller situation, Hank. Uh, the couple of stuff that you and I know that's coming in the pipeline. Mar- Honestly, right now, Marvel looks like just greedy. Right. All right, Adam Frank opening for 10. Guys, I will be treating this the same way as the Transformers. If mo- uh, multiple uh, of the ratios don't sell, I will be running them as a set. And if no one moves, I will keep it going. 
Hank, I don't know if we actually this, but what is your thoughts? All right, Gene, for 20, I'm going to reset the clock. On the blood hunt and the fact that it's going over. We do have two, one, and 10, so if you don't get this one, we'll be running the second copy. 25 freaking books. So on the blood hunt, um, that's a good question. I, I'm really not happy, and the customers are not happy. It's going through too many books. Absolutely. 27 titles, and I actually- I voiced, Oh, it's 27? I think wow. so. And I voiced my uh, displeasure with Marvel, I, so they're going to let, let the- I, I oh, I'm sorry. I, I I voiced my displeasure with the uh, Penguin. Yeah, mm. they said they're gonna tell Marvel. So so they got they got some stuff right. They brought the price back down to three ninety nine. But there's a fatigue with these big big maxi series. Yeah, it's too much. Hank. Yeah, this is and then you know people have a budget. Because it's across yeah. different series and it's right. like four to five one shots. Blood Hunt, uh, uh, Blade, Blood Hunt, Werewolf by Night. Blood, there's too many. Way too many. Way too many. And um, you know, I mean. DC's right there too. I think they're doing another summer series. But I think DC's doing it right. Because like, the right? next summer series is going to be the Waller event. Gene and they're Elite right. they're, keeping it, seconds left. they're keeping it contained to five bucks. There's one coming out, uh, I think, next month from DC. From, oh, um, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, yes, Mike yes. Mike, he says, if I worked at Penguin, I'd dress like one. Oh, my God. It was in the, <laughs> it was in the preview books. Right. Is it a Tommy something? Gene says, uh, let Adam have it. Okay. So, Adam Frank's taking it right. down for 10. Okay. First off, Adam Frank, yes, we definitely. Can. Definitely, it's they, too should, much. they should make it like a six issue crossover or the most 12. 27 is second copy also opening for 10. How much do you know? How many before you go and uh, Hank mm -hmm. Gang War? Do you know how many? Uh, there's a lot too. Gang War was uh, it's gotta be in the 20s. So, are you telling me, Hank, yeah. that the, the most successful mm -hmm. series in terms of event was mm -hmm. Night Terrors? No, I heard a lot uh, of good things though because Night Terrors went across everything. Which AJ one, opening like, for 10 was different. How so? <laughs> Bless you. Each issue was like three, like two or three issues, like a subset. Copy. Yeah. So you, you I think you could uh, read uh, Robin, or you could read uh, uh, Batman separately. So I think it's a little different. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. Flips are ready when you're done. Okay. okay. So I'll show the 10 flips. Uh, Hank is still getting the books for the 20s. Yes. So uh, just to read it off. Just let him the 10s, uh, SMD for one, Adam Frank for two, Joshua Arias for three. Fareed for four and five, Adam Frank for six, S and D for seven, V Rob for eight, Adam Frank for nine and ten. So I'm as soon as this auction is over, I'm gonna show the ten flips. They are all variant. Adam Frank. Done. And then once I show off the books, we will be doing the spin wheel. Absolutely. For whoever gets the bonus book. Yeah, I just realized what did I Big yeah. Lou Burton is in the house. Lou, what up, baby? A Hank just step. Hank just stepped out, but he says, thank you for the tracking number. Okay, nice. AJ's getting the second copy of the 1 in 10 ratio for 10. Yo, AJ, AJ is taking, taking it down. them down. Okay, so I already said the names. Gene, you're number one. You're getting the uh, oh, Black Adam number five, 1 in 25. Black Adam? Black Adam five, 1 in 25. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay, number two. Adam, you're getting uh, Lazarus Pit Alpha number one, 1 in 25. This is John Gang. I think these are all ratios. Uh, number three, Joshua Arias, you're getting, oh, Dark Knight's Death Metal number six. This is the Greg Capullo one in 100. Shit. What the hell's that doing here? I don't know. I don't know. He's on crack. <laughs> for Reed, I mean, for Fareed number four, Wonder Woman 750. This is the Jim Lee cover. Uh, this is the sketch cover. That's a beautiful Jim Lee sketch. Beautiful cover. Fareed's number five, you're getting Action Comics 1051. This is the one in 25 by Jack Herbert. And uh, number six, Adam Frank, you're getting the... Whoa! What is this doing here? That should not... What the hell? Yo, Hank, come on! This is the Nico Suyan. That's the free comic book day, one free, in 100. Free comic book day. One in 100. I don't know what it's doing there, but it's there. What the hell? Hey, uh, number six, uh, number seven, Gene. Who got this? That was... Adam the, Frank, okay. You, if I were you, I would CGC this during free comic book day just to get that custom label, even there if you, you don't get it signed. This is the Batman Spawn sketch cover. Wow. Sketch cover for Yo, Gene. Hank is this is why Hank is awesome. B Rob, you're getting Batman White Knight presents Red Hood. This is one in 25. This and is why Hank is amazing. Number six, Adam Frank. Number nine, you're getting uh Dark 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 Ops Seven, Dark Deep Cover Detective. This is what a weird title. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I'm not sure what this is, but it was hard to it was the name is butchering me. Saratowski said, I feel lied to. There are no holes in thunder. And then number 10, we have one in 25 by uh Dark Crisis on Infinite Herbs, number five. What is this? Batman presents Dark Ops Deep Covered Detective. What's well, tongue twister? All right, and for the 10 Joker card, oh. you will be getting the free egg roll. Let's see who gets it. If it doesn't land, spin, baby. If it doesn't land on the number, we're gonna just spin it again. 
Number seven. Numero seven is Gene, right? Gene Dallas. Gene right no, right. He is <laughs> one out of three for the triple threat. Yep. So G, I'm so Gene, Adam Frank. Okay, talk me through that. Talk me through that. I see you. Oh yeah, I got you. I got you. So um free comic book day is going to be April uh oh, May. Darn very much April May. April, he's right. May, May 25th, May, May 26th. During that day, uh, any book that you get CGC'd, uh, uh, if it's a free comic book day book, it has the option for a free custom label. So you'll still have to pay for you know CGC, but you get a free custom label that'll be free comic book day. That book that you just got is a one in one hundred. It's a rare book. So if you're not gonna get it's gonna be blue because you don't have it signed, but it's gonna have a custom label. So that if you let's say you want to sell that book, it's a one in one hundred free comic book day book. With the free comic book day label, and it's free. It can't go wrong so with that. The label is free. The label is the free. grading. You still have to pay. Yeah, out. absolutely. Okay. And shipping and all that jazz. So we ran the one in ten, the two copies of one in ten. This is the one in fifteen. Adam uh, Frank. Adam. Uh, one in fifteen opening for fifteen. Where are you located? Because we don't like holding books because the store there's a lot of stuff moving on, so we don't like holding books. Uh, so that that's why I'm like, uh, Hank will do it. I'm sure Hank will do it. Adam open for fifteen. You know how busy that? I don't like. Putting shit out for Hank. If Hank says we can hold it, then we hold it. Texas hold him. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Raymond Cox made a fourth B with you. Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah, yeah, made a fourth, made a fourth. Look out for those Star Wars free comic books. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sarah Toski, the F free comic book they, they label is a gimmick. It is though. It is though. It is though. They didn't make it creative. They just copy and pasted the free comic book they logo, didn't they? You want you want to know what's a gimmick? The one from freaking Florida. That's a gimmick. That's a I don't. I, I, what's a, what's the worst word than gimmick? It's lower than that. Um, Pandering. I don't know, but I just, it was just like, why is that even there? Sure. That that's that's for lack of a better term. Why is that even there? Why do you have a gator with? Do you know what it was? A lack of quality control. That's exactly what it was. It was uh, disgusting. Adam Frank in the lead for fifteen. That's right, the alligator. I don't know why. Yeah, that it, alligator was horrendous. Like New York Comic Con, they picked an iconic. Statue of Liberty. I can't wait to see what they're gonna pick for this. When one. people think of Florida, they just think of Gator Man, right? Isn't that why they picked the Gator? So, yeah, but they could have made it look better. It just looked. It looked like a sport. You know what it looked like? It looked like a a, a mascot of a of a of a team. It looked like it didn't belong. And I'm probably taking it down for 15. All right, we have two one and 20, so we do have the Jay Lee cover and the um, Moss cover. So we're gonna run the Jay Lee first. This is a one in 20 by Jay Lee. We're gonna open it for 20. It looked like it didn't belong. Oop, it's dry. Gene got the Joker card. Listen, the vinegar is strong. Hey, Adam Frank opening for 20. Michael Sartor says, one per, one per store is a sales tactic. It sounds rare, but it isn't. Have you heard about what they did with um, Spawn and Call of Duty? And Todd McFarlane signed every single one of them. Wait, what? Spawn, a Spawn There's a Spawn cover, uh, one per store, with the, with the Call of Duty. He's dressed up like Call of Duty. Oh, they, by Todd McFarlane. because they have that right now. The spawn is it spawn? I don't remember. Is the spawn Call of Duty cover. situation going on right Nothing now. Nothing going on there. And there's one per store, and, it, and eBay is going like triple digits. It's crazy. It's crazy. But that book is not rare in any sense. But because yeah, because there eBay. it is. Mike Sarah thought he said 350, number 350. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, Adam Frank in the lead. He's opening 20 for the one in 20 variant. This is the J Lee cover. We also have another one that where it's going to come up. It's going to be from Moss. Looks like Adam Frank's gonna be taking the doll down. More power to you. Oh, oh, oh! Loman. Loman for twenty-five. Loman for twenty-five. Loman said, "Don't forget who I am. Don't forget who I. Don't forget my presence is here." Loman done said, "Uh, uh." While this is still running, we still have flips available. The twenties are silver age. They are two, three, four, seven, and nine. Yes, sir. The three. I don't know why I limited to mix one and two. So whoever whoever claims the next box is getting another five Spidey books from me. Wait, you said next box. The next mystery box. Oh, oh, oh. What? Because you said next box. So I was like, are you opening this up to any other box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of mix one and mix two, I'm opening up to whoever gets to the, the remaining three boxes. Because one there's the a Blotto three. box left. Yes. There's that Bronze Age yeah. left. And there's mix two. Whoever gets the next box, wow. so you're, I'm throwing in another so five. They can get a Blotto box and five more books on top oh, of yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lee. Okay. Loman in the lead for 25. Your pass pack must be heavy. What you had to That's me? all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I only brought 10 books. I only ah, brought 10. So you're just blowing your load early. Hey, pause. pause, pause. 
Mike said it was signed with Todd, but it's not CGCable. You have to bring it to CBCS. That's right. Ew, CBCS. Ugh. They 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 made their labels look better, but it's still not. I don't care. My, um... not, it doesn't hold the value. It's not CGC, and they, they have to do a lot to dethrone the champs. Okay, Loman might be taking it down for twenty five with four seconds left. And honestly, CGC at this point, it's become the institution. Taking it down, Loman. Okay, that was TP. The... What up? Hey, TP. That was the one in twenty, one in twenty five, one in twenty from Daily. This is the one in twenty from Moss, also opening for twenty. CGC is the institution. When you think about grading comics, your brain goes CGC. Anyone that says that they go to CBCS or PGX, to each his own. Everyone has their own opinions and their own likes. However, you can give me a static. I'm for 20. You can give me a static signed by freaking Dennis Cowan and Dwayne McDuffie and everyone, and it's CBCS. I'm cracking it, and I'm going to get a BP freaking COA. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not about the conservatism. It's about the principle. I'm going to get a BPCOA. Then I'm going to go to Darius. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to Cello Comics and get me a POA and a Gator Guard and put on the wall. CGC's problem is their slab. They need to get it more secure. You know the problem with CGC slabs, besides the whole controversy, mm -hmm. Newton rings. I hate seeing that. You and, know, C <laughs> and CBCS doesn't have that problem. Correct. Thankfully, I've never gotten a Newton ring. Then again, I don't really know if I've even... It's just truly, the air between the plastic. Probably. I don't know if I've truly checked. Mm. My problem with CGC, because no, nobody they're not perfect, is their quality control. Who here Who here besides Steve has um has uh, CBCS comics? Who else here collects CBCS comics? Share us your thoughts, guys. Adam oh, Frank in Elite for 20. The Kush is here. Guys, uh, if you support the Kush and you love them, Matthew, you know you have to buy, you have to claim it, basically buy it. That's that, that's the whole point of mystery. That's the whole point of mystery. So there's three uh, claim mystery boxes remaining, and we have two auction boxes we're gonna run later. Adam Frank twenty. That that will be separate, and that will be you will be able to see the contents for those. That is separate. That's so, the whole idea of mystery. Exactly. You gotta keep the suspense. Okay. So we are we are done with the one in 10, 15, and twenty. Next up, we have the one in twenty five. This is by David Nakayama. Also going to be we're going to be opening for twenty five. Guys, 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 guys! You heard it right here. Free shipping is back. Oh, it's the hey. I knew I sense the pH balance going up. I sense the pH balance going up. The pH balance. It's been, it's getting vinaigrette in here, guys. This is the last call. Adam Frank getting it for twenty five. You want your Girl Scout cookies? Your grand, let's go. The man is here, the one and only Gene Donovan, original BP Brigade auction number. Guys, if you want your Girl Scout cookies and you want them delivered for free, please check the link. The cushion just put them in. V Rob, Support. I see your twenty five, but Adam has the first twenty five. Uh, Matthew says. So the mystery is, I'm gonna get stuck with Batman books. We don't know. I don't know. We don't know. Let me let me take a look. What, that's, that's not it. That's, that, uh, I, I, I'll I will not tell you what's inside. But I'll let you know if there's a Batman. Lou says, what up, Gene? Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so there is two Batman books. Just two. Two. Get the fuck. Yeah, two Batman books. This is the problem I have with Hank. That's the error. Are you fucking kidding me? Both Sorry. Cover the All right. I hope I, I didn't speak too loud in the mic. No, it's a kid's show. But not tonight. Trust me, when you see what I got tonight. Yeah, Adam in the lead for oh, 25, 20 seconds. Tonight? Oh, listen, I'm not playing games. Let me look. Okay. Okay, Lou was good. Oh, Matthew says he'll pass. No worries. No. Good. Worries. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. And moving on. Yeah. All right. So the one in twenty-five is going to be going to <laughs> Adam Frank for twenty bucks. Twenty-five. Two five. Adam Frank. And with, that is all the DNA. That is all the Thundercats ratios. Uh, AJ says is that box four. Oh yes. god damn you, AJ. Well that is, yeah. That's, you, that's box four. That's box four, mix number two. Uh, box four, mix number two. You're gonna is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Again, there's three boxes remaining. We have mix two, Delato Cosmic, Frank, and bronze age. Yes, Adam 25. And whoever gets the next box is getting five spidey books on me. Uh Adam AJ. If I were you, I would uh, da, 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 da. anyway. Uh, so we're on to Marvel. We didn't have too much. We have two copies of Ultimate Black Panther, number two, one in ten. Nice. So we're gonna run the first copy at 15. Gene Kushner says salt and vinegar cookies are sold out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep talking about box, not feeling a family show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gene, my good man, how you feeling? How you doing? How's work this week? Yeah, usual BS. All right. Usual all right. BS. 
No. Any books you read in in terms of comics? Or are you just in the collecting vibe? I'm just in the Touche. And that, if that's the case, I got a question for you. Do you like the Liffles? Steve says he won't let his kids near the show. <laughs> Guys, tonight, there's definitely, I should give a NSFW warning. It's not as crazy as you think, but it's delicious. But like I said, we got the tribe, the creators of tribe joining us, joining us at nine o'clock. Larry Strowman, Todd Johnson. We got some. AJ will take it. AJ will take the other mystery locks. I didn't. I was. I was still talking, so I didn't hear. That. <laughs> so as you know, we got some books that we're gonna be moving. Some tribe books signed. We got some artwork from Larry Strowman that we're gonna be moving. Some of this artwork. Ooh, god damn you, AJ. The man that I didn't give the man ample time to advertise. I apologize for that. All right, all right, all right. AJ, YouTube. A AJ, so let me show you the five books you're getting from me. Yeah, and then you, we'll open it. Yeah, the, the, oh, oh, you heard of Darius Prime Time Tribe. Nobody taking Ultimate Black Panther. Nope, nope. Okay, let me. You go first. So the five books you're getting. Oh wait, this is just four. Mm. Yeah. You have Adam Frank box. Adam Frank. Yeah. Mystery box number six. Yeah. That one right here. Okay. What do you mean you want to have it? Adam Frank said to pick it up for him. Oh, okay. No, no, not pick it up for him. Yeah, this drop this yeah, that's, that's mine. That one. All right, so uh, you're getting ASM number one, Campbell. This is the uh, cameo of Cindy Moon. Amazing Spider-Man special. This is Adam mm. Kubert. Amazing Spider-Man annual number one. This is RAL. I'm not sure who this is. ASM number 17.1, Delato. And ASM number 24, this is Joe Jusco. Those are the buy five bonuses you're getting from now, me. Now, let's do this. Let's, then, see, let's see what you got. Dark Knight number hey, two, Dark too. Knight Strikes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Go ahead. Dark Knight Strikes. Batman Catwoman number one. That Tom good King. Ones. That's that beautiful Delato deliciousness. You got a facsimile, Wonder Woman. Uh, I forgot which one. Wonder Woman 204. That's I the first appearance first of appearance Nubia. Of, uh, El Nubia. You got. That's just hand him to me. You got Avengers Numero nine. That's the first appearance of Wonder Man facsimile. Shit's about to get crazy now. You got another fax of Adventures number eight. That is the oh, first hey, appearance of Kang. Thor number one. That is the uh, Jane Foster Midtown. This is the first appearance of um, of Jane Foster as Thor. This is the Midtown Comics cover. Avengers 293, 60 Cents Classic right here, baby. This is the uh, David Letterman shows up in this book. You got that beautiful X-Force number three. Look at that Clayton Crane goodness. You got X-Force number two. Another Clayton Crane goodness. Now we're going to talk about some crazy shit. You got that polybagged hardware. It's collector's edition. You got, Still in that, the you got this uncanny X Men 294. Also in a poly bag. Son of a bitch. And then you're getting World Trade. You're getting World Trade in one. Cover A, uh, cover, cover A B. and cover B. These are both the error covers. Yes, this is that rare cover. The, that alone is worth the price of admission for the book. Holy crap. So those two are sold. We only have two remaining the Delato Cosmic and the Bronze Age Horror. Uh, who won this? That oh, AJ, AJ YouTube. Yep. AJ, bring those World Trade. To New York Comic Con, Tinian will be there. Get him to sign it. Slab those books. Okay. Big time. Big time. We have one more Marvel ratio. We have What If Venom number two. This is design variant. One in ten opening for ten. That's you see a book. Each box is $100 flat. Each box is $100 flat. $100 flat. My fault, G. No, no, no. Fault. I, thought I, elbowed, I thought I elbowed you. Yep, Darius, that box is a total winner. Okay, Adam opening for ten. Adam, Frank. Mike Sartowski, not safe for Wolverine, whatever. Not safe for woman. You're not safe for woman, Sartowski. <laughs> <laughs> AJ, I see your 10, but Adam has the first 10. Mike says, tell Tinian to come up when he signs your book. Yeah. Uh, what do we do? going to make it happen. Listen, I'm going to be the first to be here. Listen, that day, so I think Pat's going to sleep out in front of the shop. Open the shop with Hank and Noel. No, 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 no. I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to have Hank invite me to sleep at his house. Oh, shit. He's going to drive me to work. I'm going to I'm going to call. I'm going to take a personal day that day. So, stop. So, so that means Hank's going to open the shop probably at 9 o'clock. I'll be there. Something, you don't get it. Hank opens at 11. <laughs> if you're going to be there, Hank's going to open at 9 o'clock for the first time ever in, in 2024. Oh, man. I think that day you're going to be me when I'm at Dennis Cowan. Oh. But I, the, the, the difference is I've met Tinian a bunch of times already. You was, met, that was your first time meeting Dennis Cowan, though. That was my first time breathing the same air as him. <laughs> <laughs> first time of anything. And I was just like, and then the man knew my name. Because I mean, we're sitting there talking, and his sister goes to me, and she's like, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm such a chocolate on Instagram. He's drawing my shit. He I goes, don't taking it down for 10 bucks. Dennis Cowan puts his head up and goes, you're a sexual chocolate? And I'm like, he knows my name. <laughs> there you go. You said it like that, that mouth? Yeah. 
Hey, he's like, he knows my name. Next up, we have two uh, two DC ratios. One's an older one. One's the one this week. We have Justice Society of America, number nine. This is uh, 125, Damien Scott. Oh, oh, guys. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on. That's different. We got we to gotta, we gotta hold that back for a minute. What you mean? Because that book, we're going to run it. But that book is going to be signed oh, yeah. by Damien Scott. You know it's going to be CGC eligible as well. Time out, guys. I need to show you this. Damien Scott is, yes, a personal friend, amazing artist, all that jazz. However, this is probably one of his best covers in a ever. Look at this bad boy. Like, you don't even need a remark on this. You don't need to touch this. Look at this bad boy. This cover right here is delicious. So whoever is getting this, this will be signed. So if you buy it today, it's we're going to give it to Damien Scott. It will be signed. It will be CGC eligible. So Pat, let's so, go. For, so, so quick disclaimer, uh, Hank, Hank has already set this precedent. If you, Depending on how many books you've ordered, correct, uh, Hank has ordered, and you pulled the ratio, he will put that for you. He will tell you it's for a certain price, but it will be pulled aside. If we have multiple copies of that, we'll sell whatever's on the shelf and whatever doesn't sell will be on the auction. So Cor this is that copy. Correct. So fortunate to answer your question, because he's like, what if you claimed it on Comic Geeks? So when it comes to ratios, uh, when it comes to ratios, it's however Hank has, that's not for store stock. Because obviously Hank has to buy for himself to get stuff signed, whatever. Whatever he has, we get first dibs or right, right to refuse, first refusal, if you will. Then it goes open. Hank did not have enough, because I, rem I had... Uh, Put this on my poll, I think six months ago. And I'm like, Hank, you got it? He was like, Randy, hey, nope. A one in 25, JSA number nine, open for 25. Michael Scott already on it for 30. Uh, I called him Michael, Michael Scott. Michael Scott. Michael Scott, I thought for 30. Michael Scott, oh, again. Yeah. Michael Scott, I thought for 30. I'm going to read five o'clock. Borshan says, This cover is a ratio. There's no regular. No, no there's no regular. It's only a ratio. V Rob, if you want it, jump on this because once again, whoever wins this, this will be signed automatically. Adam Frank says there's a lot already going on in the cover. There's no remark, room for remark. There's absolutely none. You don't need this. Th yo, if we can get him, we'll talk offline. Hank and I are working on some things. Mm. But All right, Loman for 35. This is one of his best covers I've seen in a long time. Look at this freaking psychedelic thing, guys. You eat a CBD gummy or some Jolly Bees with this? Boy. Uh, v Rob says he's already full. Darius, 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 we need some of the, what was the hamburger place? Uh, uh, well, Jolly Bees, no, 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 Loman no, in the lead for 35. Place. Remember, with the infused, uh, oh, yeah, that idiot, yeah, that guy, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, Vorshan, we only had, I know how many we have, nobody got this in their pull list. I can guarantee you that. Nobody from BP got this in their pull list. I can guarantee you that, Vrob. Which one? This one, because I was first in line and I didn't get it. So that means nobody else got it before me because I was first, somebody else was second, Vrob was third. Hey, Loman in the lead for 35 with 26 seconds left. Again, you are bidding on the Justice Society of America number 9, 1 in 25 by Damien Scott. Yeah, nobody got this in their pull because when I look on, I think I'm first. I forgot who's second. V-Rob, you're third. And then there's somebody else who's fourth. Hank didn't even have enough for me. So if you want it, this is where you got to get it. Okay. After this, I have one more DC ratio to run, and then we'll be running some other things. Mm. So no, uh, Gary, Gary Coates coming in. Gary Coates! It's my guy. Bucks. Did I tell you about the time myself and Hank took Gary Coates across the border? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Darius says, stop tempting me with the Jollibees. Listen, we're not tempting you with the Jollibees. How can we tempt you when it's right there? Right there on King's Highway and the Uber Eats. Slow. Slow down. Cut some slices. I Uber Eats those motherfuckers yesterday. They are now, before we have to go to there, pick up the... So now, so now you can order ahead. Now I can say, cut some slices. You probably got to order. If you want it for tip now... You probably should put the order in like around three o'clock. Uh, However, still, because it takes a while for them to make it. Sure, sure. But you'll get it fresh. Whereas if I went to the store and got it at three, when it gets here, it'll be cold because I had it since three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. So that's not too bad. Gary in the lead for 40 bucks. Raymond Cox went to El Segundo. It, yep, 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 yep. Guys, remember this Damien Scott will be signed, it will be CGC eligible, yellow label. This is at one in 25, guys. This is a rare cover. Let me see. This one is hot. I'm actually shocked it's not moving. This is his best cover. Yeah, this is it, Justice. This is Justice, J J Justice League of, uh, of America. It doesn't matter. It's the problem is... Okay, oh! Gary, take it down. Gary Coates! 
Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's it, his. Just updating it, the whatever's remaining. So the 20 flips, they're all silver age. Still two, three, four, seven, and nine. For mystery boxes, 100. Out of the seven boxes, we sold five. We still have two remaining. One's a Delato box, and one's a Bronze Age Horror box. Gary, you want the CGC? We have the last ratio. So this is a Batman 1 in 25. This is the... Oh, this is a wraparound. It's the 1 in 25 by Jorge Jimenez. This is the introduction of Failsafe. So here's the front, and here's the back. Front and back cover. What do you what do you want to open this at, Randy? Failsafe is pretty hot right now. Randy, uh, Failsafe <laughs> is pretty hot right now. Can't answer that. Can't answer that. You can't uh, I'm going to say a dollar. <laughs> yeah, Hank's gonna look at me. No, you know, I won't say a dollar. I'll say uh, Saratoski price 69. 69. So we're gonna start with 69 cents. Dollar 69. That's a one of 25. That should start at uh, Gary Coach wants a CGC. That should start at 30. dollars 30. Let's do a 30. Batman 125. One in 25. Opens 30 bucks. Okay, Randy already skipping the line. He says 40. Yeah. Uh, plus CGC. CGC on this is gonna be 65 bucks. My good man. 65. Signed by Damien, right? Yeah, yellow. Okay. So 40 plus 65. 65. This is from uh, Gary Coates. Gary Coates. Darius says, Gene, did you put a... Wow! Did you put a perm in your beard? Because <laughs> you look very swat. Oh, shit. You thought you... The hell? Why are your beard? Your beard's always been white? Huh? Your beard's always, always been white? Yeah. yeah, it's been white. I feel like I haven't seen you in a minute. The fudge? He said, did you put nah. a perm in your beard? I I got I put I got a new product. What is what's her name? What's her name? Mm. Okay, after this, we do have a Scotty box. This will be up for auction. This is separate from the Scotty box. Plane. What is this? Scotty box. Yes. Are yes. you going to be showing them? We will show them. Yes, we will. Uh, yes, there are 17 Scotty books in here. We will show them before we run them. This is an auction uh, auction box and is separate from the private wheel from the seven claim. Raymond Cox says he's using that soul glow. Gene goes fishing. Oh, my Lord. Randy ABC, taking it down. ABC. One in 25. Yep. Yeah, do you remember that joke? What? A, B, C. For 40 bucks. D, E, L. Hit. Remember the guy said how you do it? So Scotty, oh, you're yes. stupid. <laughs> Sorry. So this, uh, we will show the 17 book. You don't do the alphabet. A, and we're going to open this at... Did Hank give you opening price? For the, for the... I said a buck. He didn't. He never refuted it. So I was like... Let me show the books first. We have yeah, Marvel's Sand sure. of Oz, number one. Moment does says start waxing mine. Beard, that is. King in Black, number five. Mm. No, You got Noel, Donny Cates, and Ryan Stegman in there. Ooh. Hey, Hank... Hank, what's the Scotty box hoping for? Uh, oh, 65, we said. Huh? Was that 65? Yeah, it 65? was. Right? Yeah, yeah. Land Z of Oz, number six. Z Rob, thank you, my good man. Uh, Gamma Flight, number two. There's 17. Oh, 19. 19. Wait, you're adding more books to the Scotty box. The man is adding Green, number more one. books to the Scotty so box. 19 books. Scotty box. For number 32. Scotty box is starting at 65. 65. It's starting at 65. Nonstop Spider Man. Oh, Infinity. What is that? Uh, number five. Infinity number five. Avengers number one. Mm. Eternals number one. It's a lot of shit. Listen, he just added more books. <laughs> Iron Cat number one. Hey, we got to talk about these flips. $10, Hel $20. The $10. Not bad, right? How will Eve? Bad. Hey, there's some bangers in there. Export number one. Uh, Marvel Now, not Marvel Now. What? Mm, what, what is that one? Last year, this is a, a symbiote. That's nice. Toxin number one. Powers of X number five. Scotty Young keeps his. Oh, nice. Hulk number fourteen. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> and AS under one first appear, uh, first cameo, a cameo appearance of Cindy Moon. Oh, very 19 nice. Nineteen Scotty boxes. What are you opening at? Sixty-five. 65. What a deal! What, what a deal! Nineteen. Hey, guess how much? The freaking uh, Damian Scott went for it. How much? 40 plus CGC. Wow. That's what I said. That's a low price. That's said you guys got to steal. He stole it. And it's going to get signed. Oh, Todd Johnson's here. Todd Johnson's here. Oh! Check him out. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is like, not Sorry, yet. not yet. Not yet. Todd, not yet. what up, baby? What up, baby? And we just wanted to make sure the camera I mean, unless you want to hop on and just rock with us, you're always welcome. We can't hear you right now, so let me get a thumbs up if you just want to rock with us. You're always welcome. You can start comments up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a stone throw, my guy. Up. Yes, sir. So, guys, 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 we have. Hold on, hold on, guys. So, guys. Oh, Lou, thank you for the tracking. Oh, okay. Guys, as you know, nine o'clock power hour, we have the creators of Tribe. Right now, we have one half of the creators. Our man Todd Johnson is with us, guys. Yeah, let's throw him up. Yeah. Throw him up. Throw him up. Throw him up. Woo! Mike, check, Mike, check. Can you hear us, buddy? I can hear you. Nice, 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 nice. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Listen, we can't complain. We're rocking and rolling with the auction. The Hank is here. Gene is here. Hey, hey. hey. that's a nice book. Hey, Scott. There you go. Woohoo! I like that book. <laughs> it looks familiar. <laughs> looks familiar. <laughs> looks familiar. I got a couple of those. Yeah, Todd, I don't know if you know, but uh, uh, Larry Johnson uh, holds a special place in my heart because uh, Larry Stroman. He was yeah. yeah, Larry Stroman. What can I say? Larry Johnson. Said Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson. Stroman. So um, he was he was my very first signing in the store in 1992. Damn. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so he, awesome. he, he holds a special place in my heart. That, that's that's legacy. Definitely, definitely. B Rob giving you compliments already, saying you got a nice mic, volumes loud and clear. You want to know why it's super <laughs> legacy? 1995, I was five. So 92, you were. So no, 1992, I was five. Five, okay. And yet, here we are, full circle. Wow. The chocolate effect. We are all here there for tribe. Five years old. That's funny. Five years old, right? I know. That's awesome. Awesome. I can't, I can't wait to see, uh, you know, Larry again. Oh, it's going to yeah. be awesome. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. There you, oh. go. there you go. No movement on the Scotty bot? No movement on the Scotty bot. That's insane. That shocking. That Outstanding. Shocking. So, yeah, Todd, so we just move, we're just moving some books. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So while we're doing that, Todd, anything you're reading right now, my good man? Uh, no, not in particular. Speaking of reading, while I have you, let me ask you this question. So obviously, 9 o'clock, we're going to start officially. But right now, we're just hanging out, if you will. This is the pre-show. Last week, we heard that our dear buddy... Akira Toriyama passed away. Mm -hmm. For you, if you, what has Akira Toriyama mean, meant for you? And so, in terms of Dragon Ball and Doctor Slump, are you familiar with his work? If you are, are you interested? Are any uh, in influences that you can pick from him? Talk, talk about that for me. Not, not too many influences on my front, you know. But it, it, it meant a lot to my son. Mm. You know, you know that was that was kind of his world, is all the anime and stuff like that. I was, I was never a huge anime guy. I'm more of a classic superhero kind of cat. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, Marvel, Marvel, DC, mostly Marvel. Head grew up on Marvel mostly. That's interesting with the Marvel part, huh? Yeah. And and, <laughs> and, 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 mo and mostly superheroes. You know, I'm, you know, I mean, I, you know, I collected everything. As a collector, you just kind of hoard everything around you because I, I own the comic shop. So, but as far as things I was emerged in, you know, immersed in when I was a kid. You know, mm. me and my brothers all were like superhero guys. Copy. Hope. Really got Fantastic Four, typical stuff. Awesome. So we have a live chat here as well, uh, Todd. So Raymond Cox is asking, who's the woman in the frame portrait in the back? Please that tell me that's an artist and not your wife. That is my daughter. <laughs> oh, shit. Forget it. <laughs> that's his daughter. Oh, okay. Then in that case, never mind. You you will see you will see her in the second issue that we release. She's a character called Fly Girl. Whoa whoa whoa! See you're jumping ahead. You're jumping ahead. That's, that's, that's all. You're jumping ahead. <laughs> Michael Saratoffi coming in with the pod. Yeah, absolutely. And Raymond, I, Raymond, I hustling his background tomorrow. Who's the girl in the background? And he comes up with my daughter. And I'm like, cool. and I'm like ah, dang. Well, be careful. Be careful what you say. Exactly, right? Yeah, like literally, like, well, that's the end of our interview. All right. <laughs> like, oh, man. Raymond Cox thought it was a Gun Honey character. I don't know if we should have followed up with that one. <laughs> I don't know if we should have followed up with that one. Awesome, what we got? All right, I'm just running some books in the background while letting you guys vibe. Batman 140, uh, 145, 125, 420. Outstanding, outstanding. The first fail thing. This is no, no, well, we... Randy bought that. Oh, no, we bought that. You got I was, I was, I'm not, I'm not, oh my goodness. I'm not, I'm not letting that go. I'm not letting that go at all. Have you seen or have you read this fail safe yet, Todd, by any chance? I have not. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. I know yeah, you I got I got to I got to emerge get real back into the new stuff, you know. I'm a, I'm a few years off. I've been gone for a while. I know you said that you're a Marvel head. However, the latest DC Batman run has been spectacular. It, uh, definitely, it, 
has been spectacular. But I, yeah. you know what? Hold on. You said you're a Marvel head. Tell me your thought. Have you read Ultimate Spider-Man number one? No. What? Yeah. Man, I've been going off the comic scene for 20 Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You can't start with I'm a Marvel head. The hottest comic of the year <laughs> is Tribe. You see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, one, of the hottest, one of the hottest comics of 2024 that have been released yet is Ultimate Spider-Man number one. You know what? I'm going to segue to my man, Pat, so he can tell you the premise of Ultimate Spider-Man number one, because I think he does it better than I am. Pat. <laughs> So uh, Ultimate Spider-Man One, it's um, a little bit of the background. There, let, let's just let's just play it this way. The world where Miles Morales is from, there was a Mister Fantastic, Reed Richards. We call him the Maker, and the Maker had decided the because his world was destroyed, he wants to bring it back, but his own version of it. So what he's doing is he got rid of all the all the heroes, and he's bringing and the and they are rediscovering who they are. So Ultimate Spider-Man Number One is uh, is Peter Parker, just plain old Peter Parker, the dad, the nephew, the father. He has no spider, no spider background, no response, uh, no power, but all of the responsibility. And he has to be, he has to figure out his place in the world. And then we, and, th and then you start from there. So he's a very relatable character. Mm. Character. Um, he's down to earth. And in this universe, Uncle Ben is alive. Uh, Norman Osborn is dead. Harry Osborn is a green goblin. And you start the world building from there. The art is fantastic. It's by Italian artist um, Marco Cicchetto. And you know, I I would just I just recommend it to everybody because right now we are at the third printing of it. The book so, when I, so when I visit New York and come to Hank's store, I guess I'll be walking out with a two three hundred dollar bill. <laughs> Listen, first off, I think like like we said, like I said over the phone this week, before you even walk to Hank's shop, we gotta go to we gotta do a little food tour. We gotta go to Jolly Bees. We gotta eat. We gotta we definitely gotta do it. We gotta bring you to Campania. Oh. Oh, Listen, we could, one, we could eat. We oh man, I f Hank, why didn't you come up here and advertise Campania? Yeah, tell, I feel tell, bad tell for you about the. I feel bad for your waistline, Todd. It, <laughs> it, it's gonna be a problem. Campania, go ahead, Hank. Uh, no, Campania is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best uh, Brooklyn restaurant, Italian. Uh, they got some staple dishes that it'll blow your socks off. I think the best one is uh, chicken wings, right? The chicken wings, yeah. the chicken wings, and the chicken palm. Chicken palm is good too. Not their pizza. Um, well, we it. So, it could be better. Speaking somebody of just, somebody just asked, was that a spawn toy underneath my thing? Uh spawn toy? No, no, Matthew C. Brooklyn just asking a question. Oh, that's a predator. That's a that's from um, I mean not predator, um the alien. Alien, thank you. It's a custom hand built aliens out of metal. Wow. Is that really oh wow? Yeah. If, you look, like, if you look like, at it close, this is like a a sprocket from a bicycle. That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like something you would make in wood, in like woodworking class, or like he's like if you see like nuts and bolts and stuff. That's actually pretty, pretty dope. Pretty Horton slim. said he went to Campania with the family. It was excellent. Was it? Yeah, definitely. Very affordable for the family. Too. Outstanding. Pretty, pretty similar Yoda made out of nuts and bolts and stuff. I'm I, Todd. I, I gotta ask since we're talking about toys. If you now for me, there's only one. There's only one right answer. There's only one right answer for me. If you had to make an action figure from a tribe character, who's the first one out the gate? Roslyn. What did I tell you? I know. I know. What I, know, I, I, know, know I know. I was like, listen, my girl Roslyn. I don't want to start yet, but it looks we get. Listen, we, we're twelve minutes. We, we're good. We're good. Listen, it is what it is. We, we just. It is what it is. We, Ros oh, it, you know what it is about Rosalind? Yes, she is. So we have a verb here we call lupita -ing. So for those that have seen Black Panther number two, and when Lupita was by the water, you were like, oh, that, sh that thing is lupita -ing. <laughs> <laughs> So we, But she's very, but she's not the norm, because they could have just made her like Misty Knight in the sense where she's just thick and whatever. And for those that haven't seen Rosalind, we're going to put up a, a photo of her in a moment. For those that are not familiar with Tribe, and we know you guys are, but she's thick, she's gorgeous, she's a powerhouse. But they made her gorgeous, and then they made her with like short hair, which is the norm would have been Love like your shirt. long Love your shirt. hair and all that jazz. Like, was that an intentional thing to make her that way? Was there a, an influence from an artist or someone from that era, or uh, did it just so happen to be that way? No, Larry just draws what he feels at the moment. You know what he sees in his environment, and and and. That it just reflected what he saw on the streets of New York. 
Mm, so then he must have been. So you guys were drawing a uh, tribe around Freaknik. <laughs> you better ask Larry that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, our boy Sir Darius says Rosalind was drawn before her time. Absolutely, guys. Oh, well, if you if you look at any Larry Strohman and crowd scenes and things like that, I'll, I'll show you one from the book coming up. Some art nobody's seen. Mm. You know, Larry likes to draw all different shapes, sizes, hairdos, and, and the whole nine yards. So you know, it's it's all it's all it's all groovy. This is you know typical typical Larry Strowman scene. You know, different looks. Here's a here's another one I can show you. See what I mean? He doesn't he doesn't conform to uh, standard comic sizes and things like that. You know, he does what he wants to do. So let me ask you a question. Me being me and me someone me being a uh, observant, are those new panels of tribe that I see? Brand new stuff. Ooh, so would that be technically issue number five slash four? That would be issue number five. Five, because, and we gotta, I'm, I'm trying to wait, I'm trying to hold back. I don't want to go in yet, because I want to talk about how did issue zero become issue four, or four it, become it, zero? Issue zero was a just a marketing ploy by you know, the company that we went to at the time was a newly formed company, Good Comics. Mm. And at that period of time, everybody, for no apparent reason, was releasing zero issues. So because truck, because there had been a gap between one, two, three, and four, uh, there was like a pretty significant gap between three and four. They just felt, you know, in, in conversation, it all seems silly now, 20-something years later, but it just seemed like, Zero was something that increased sales at the time. Because so it's strictly a marketing thing. Makes sense. Because you know it's funny. I assumed zero was the ash can, but there actually is a legit tribe ash can. Yeah, there was uh, there were two different original ash cans that we had taken to San Diego and Chicago and uh and uh Motor City Comic Con in Detroit in a limited edition. So those came out even pre number one tribe. <laughs> Darius says he's making an appointment with his therapist now. <laughs> with all the all the news is happening. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. <laughs> oh man. So are we, we are we we're about to run that uh, art germ box. We're gonna show it. Let's do it. So we got an art germ box, guys. So this is another box that we're gonna put up for auction. So there's ten books in here. Hang with the opening on this. Uh, 50 bucks. All right, let me show off what we have here. So we have Wonder Woman 51. Very nice. Stanley Art Germ Lau. And we have Action Comics 1000. That's an old one. Uh, Black Panther number one. Hank, you have the board? Dark Knight's number, uh, Dark Knight 3 Master Race number one. With the flips. The flip board. I don't have it. No, I think Hank had it. Uh, Trial of Magneto featuring Scarlet Witch. It's in front of you, right? I apologize. Sir. Okay, Iron Man and Hellcat. And then we have Amazing Mary Jane. These are 10 books opening at 50. X-Men number one, we have Jean Grey. Mm. We have Black Widow Hawkeye. And finally, Wonder Woman 1, Donna DC. 50, uh, 10 art germ books opening for 50. Absolutely. Awesome. So, Todd, <laughs> how far along are we? Do we have a release date for Tribe, or are we still in the mix, if you will? Uh, semi in the mix, but we're shooting for the second week of June. Oh, wow. That's, whoa. That's, that's right around the corner. That's, that's, that's close. Yeah. yeah, that's not when... Because the way you said, oh, I'm thinking this is going to come later. That's right around the corner. No, we're, try we're trying to do a summer release. Oh, perfect. T perfect timing. Perfect. I'm trying to hold back. I'm trying to hold back. I want to wait for Larry so I can get Hank in here. But this, I, I have... I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I got a follow-up question. By all means, Hank. So if it's a June release, how many issues uh, have you... Have you... Uh, is in the can? 
We've completed issue five and we're working on issue six right now. Wow. That's the way to do it. So what is it a mini series or ongoing? You know, we haven't decided. I mean, the public will decide that. I mean, you know, yeah. you you always hope that you can uh you know, create the fire that was there before, but you know, yeah. the, the public decides that. This is a new public. I mean, we're you know, you're talking about something from 30 years ago. We're trying to connect, obviously, with some old fans, and some of them might not even collect anymore. And then we're trying to bridge the gap between the new generations never even heard of us, you know. So that that in itself is a you know, you know, that's that's the that's the gist, <laughs> that's the marketing ploy right now. Yeah. You know, I mean, we call people and talk to people now that might say, well, who the hell is Tribe and who the hell is this, you know? So obviously it's a continuation of the first series. It's, it's going to, the story is going to take place exactly right where issue four left off. You know, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to try to, you know, cover some 20, 20 year time gap. Obviously the only thing that's going to change is, you know, the reference the reference material of things that don't exist anymore. I mean, obviously you're not going to have characters walking down the street with boom boxes and, and all that sort of thing. You know, we have, we obviously have to bring it up to date, Of course, but we're not going to try to act like, Hey, where have they been for 20 years? You know, you know, it's, it's just time. It's, it's tribe time. You know, it's like, I like, I'm so glad you said that because another book, I think it's, uh, I think it was, um, mm. Straczynski. There he is opening for the Archer and Bucks. Nice. And and the Straczynski one was uh, Dial H for Heroes. Dial H for Hero. Yeah. Dial H for Hero, right? But he was still using a uh, rotary phone. I mean, the book came right. out years ago. Right. And never updated. Who 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 even knows what a rotary phone is? So I'm glad That's true. You referenced the boombox. It's more update. Makes more sense. I'm I'm glad you did that. So instead of a boombox, you're gonna have an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, that, and that's another thing. You're, there was no cell phones when it came out. So if a character, you know, obviously a character now will be talking on a cell phone, not stopping at a pay phone. Sure, <laughs> you know, right. I mean, so th those would be very subtle things because we, we plan on, we're actually taking the four issues and at some point we're going to re-release those as a graphic novel. Yes! Uh, oh, but, but the, only, the, the only difference is instead of it just being a reprint, it's going to be a, a kind of a remix, we're calling it. Okay, and, and a lot of the pages are redrawn. A lot of some of the story is slightly different. Some of the some of the uh, uh, any anything image related is being removed, and it, it'd be it'd be slight changes. But a lot of stuff is going to be redrawn. It will have consistent color. One color is across the whole board. One letter across the whole board. Because we were obviously all over the place, changing companies and doing different things. You know, so, so it's not uh, coming out through image. It is not coming out with image. Is so, it self-published? Uh, that is kind of not decided yet. We, you know, we're oh. kind of exploring some options, but self-publishing is obviously something that's always on the table. So, is it a like a Kickstarter, maybe? I think we are going to do a Kickstarter. Okay. Now, oh. when the Kickstarter kicks off, <laughs> we haven't decided yet. You know, we're really concentrating this time on just getting the stuff done first. Right, right. You know, so you're not, you know, you're not doing a Kickstarter. You're not making promises you can't keep. And, you know. This is a, this Absolutely, is yeah. But the, in having this six is the issues in the can right. before you solicit, that's brilliant. That's the exactly. way to do it. Exactly. That's yeah. that's what we'd like to do. Then it's going to come out on time, give you a little buffer. Yeah, and then, we'd like, and then we'd like people to see the finished art and some finished color and some finished lettering, you know, so that they can, you know, they can know that you're not just talking, you know. Sure, absolutely. I'm happy you said finished art, guys. So speaking of Roslyn, we have Todd here. Larry's going to be joining us shortly. We we're talking about Roslyn. Take a look at this delicious woman here. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at Ros this delicious woman here, guys. So this is a piece of art that, you know what? We will be auctioning off later on today, nine o'clock power hour. We will be auctioning this off, guys. But look at this amazing woman. And this is just the back group. This is just a, a, a view from the back. Like, uh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to, but I mean. Let's shoot the whole uh, the record part. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Hank, see, see Hank wants to blow. We want to, want to blow. I'm going to, I want to wait till Larry gets here. You wanna, okay. I want to wait right. till Larry gets here. Hank wants to blow everything crazy, but I don't. But. I'm happy you brought that up because I was going to ask that same question regarding publishers because I know with Tribe 1, 2, and 3, you went from Apex to uh, W Comics. We're going to talk about W Comics in a few 
to good comics than back to image. And especially with all these creator owned companies like Distillery going on, it looks like that would be the move moving uh, for you or at least a Kickstarter as well. So I wanted to see where you were going to go with the release of Tribe. You know, that's, that's the things, you know, us being out of it, all those options have to be explored. And obviously, mm. you pull the trigger on whatever is the best decision for the longevity and, you know, just for the business. And, you know, you know, and that's, that's, that's just a decision, you know, and that hasn't been really, we're just concentrating on the, the artistic part right now, the creative, that, creative that, part. That's amazing. I, I do have to ask this. When Tribe launched, you guys sold a million copies immediately. First African-American book by African-American creators to do that. But what people don't talk about a lot is the fact that your marketing plan was amazing. You guys had merch. You guys had trading. Uh-oh. 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 Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. Hey, guys, Larry Strowman, we got all the right. creators of Tribe in the house. Right. Yes, 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 legend, yes. Legends. But before I even say anything, Hank, go ahead. All right, so Larry, <laughs> I just got to thank you because uh, I just told Pod the story. Uh, when I first opened in 90, 1992, you were my first signing. Uh, I was a street vendor. And, you know, who, are you? who are you? I'm the, I'm the owner. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm the owner of Bulletproof. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, believe it or not, uh, I, I used to be a street vendor, and he used to come by the table, and I told him I'm opening up a store. And when I opened, he 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 showed up two weeks later to do a signing. And oh, I nice. think it was a I think it was a tribe signing. I'm I'm pretty sure. Oh, cool. Yeah, I I I'll send you a old picture of you signing. But see, Hank didn't invite me though, Larry. So you know that's that, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't know you back then. You wow. Know? wow. <laughs> so I wasn't in the streets back then yet. <laughs> so just just to refresh your memory, uh. It's not a it's not an official tribe sign unless I'm there too. Touche. <laughs> that, oh, okay. Touche. We're gonna have to change that. <laughs> so you know that. Hold on, hold on. Point, point, one second. Hey, get. So you know what that means. Hold on, hold on. So that means of somehow, some way, whether issue five, issue six, we have to have an official tribe sign. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna pull that together. Outstanding. You you and I are working some things behind the scenes. Absolutely, absolutely. Larry, thank you for joining. Uh, I, see, I, I caught you in a mid-swig. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. I caught you in mid-swig, and the timing was perfect. The timing was perfect because people were just looking at our beautiful friend right here. <laughs> people were looking at our beautiful yeah. friend right here. Up the state, right? Yeah, right? So regarding Roslyn, I wanted to ask you, what was the inspiration behind Roslyn? Was it just one day you saw, a you saw someone and you were like, God dang, she's hot? Or was there a certain someone or... It's, what where did you pull that from? I was I was just drawing characters for the book, and um, me and Todd was having a conversation. I just I just drew the picture while we were having a conversation, and then just faxed it to him. Next thing you know, I'm hearing people in the background laughing, <laughs> and then he saw it and he started laughing. I really didn't think anything of it, mm. but uh, we had decided at that point that we were going to at least have her in the book. We had no idea that she would end up being like the most popular character in the book. I mean, Randy, Randy I got to explain when he says people were laughing. We were at, I was at my office, and back in those days, it was just the old fax machine. And this is like right in the middle of the lobby where all the employees are moving and everything. Oh my so, God. So this thing is rolling out his fax machine. Of the <laughs> old days, the fax machine is like. <laughs> I look young, but I know I'm 36. So, so, so as this thing slowly rolls out, by the time it gets to the derriere, then everybody just like, oh, started laughing and stuff. And <laughs> so that's 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 the Roslyn first uh, first appearance story Out on the fax machine. Outstanding. While I have both of you guys here, I want to ask you a question about a rumor I heard, specifically around Tribe. Mario Van Peebles? No. Ah, uh, you knew where I was going. You knew where I was going. For those that don't know, so there's a rumor that Urban tribe Lord. that tribe had been optioned for either a live, uh, live uh, film or an animated series, and Mario Van Peebles was supposed to direct it. Wow, New Jack City. Yeah, Urban, yeah. Urban Lore. Whoa, 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 Herman Lore. Wait a minute. Wait a Urban minute. Lore. Urban Lore. Oh, true. Urban Lore. Oh, 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 that's what I was like. Okay, Urban Lore. Fake <laughs> like news, as they say now. The, the thing is, the thing is, with that kind of stuff is, 
when you do anything that more than three people can recognize, there's always somebody wants to offer to do something, mm. whether it be a movie or uh, whatever it is. So you hear this stuff all the time. There's always somebody offering something all the time. I mean, we, we've been up and had meetings up at, at MTV about doing an animated thing up there. And, 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 and I had a long conversation with John Singleton when he was around about, Rest in peace. about something. So there's been a number of people that show interest in something, but, you know, to me, until it's at the theater and you can go and pay to go see it, it, it doesn't really exist. Touche. Because for me, with the popularity of TV shows like The Boys and Invincible, me personally, maybe I can see Invin. I mean, I could see Tribe on like an Amazon or Netflix as either a film or an animated uh, film. Hank, what do you think? Um, I can see it as a live action. Really, live Very action, gritty, gritty urban. Definitely, if it was directed by Mary Van Peebles, oh my God, that would be a dream. Mm. Mm. We'll put the word up. <laughs> yeah, we'll start the rumor. We'll, we'll start the rumor. We'll, we'll, we'll revive that rumor. Most definitely, we will definitely revive that rumor. We'll fake it till we make it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can, can we uh, show the uh, original art and we can start oh, the bidding? Yes. So before we get into that, guys, so we have a few people. So before we get into the uh, full thing, we have from books, from Tribe, Dual Sign, from Larry and Todd that we will be auctioning off tonight as well, guys. And then we have some artwork as well that we're going to be auctioning off as well. So just give you guys a, a quick look, quick glance, if you will. So here's some of the artwork. No, no you have to say that it's not Tribe art. So she, oh, we got, we got some Tribe art. Oh, no, we got some Tribe art. No, you have to say this is not Tribe art. Absolutely. This is not Tribe this art. This is a commission. This yeah. is more of a... Larry Stroman special, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of a Larry Stroman special. Is that Gene Gray? Well, is, yeah, this is Gene. Okay. Yep, absolutely. This one is Black Panther. Absolutely sensational. Woo woo! Motion. Love the background. Yeah. yeah. I love your br uh, brushwork. Thanks. Yeah, this one is absolutely sensational. We, you, you know, I mean, come on. I mean, she's gorgeous. And then this one is oh, oh the phoenix oh man oh my god she's this one is gorgeous all right let's get started yep and then before we even get into yeah. that guys we gotta show you the books because I heard you before we get into that I gotta I gotta go back to Todd I gotta go back to Larry on 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 this one so we have tribe one tribe two tribe three amazing covers please explain to me what was the thought of around tribe one white because this cover is gorgeous it's simple and you would think for an inverted cover it's just at, but this cover is awesome was this a ratio was this a printed defect talk to you behind this cover and the makings of that <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. You, 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 you would have a defect by just not putting black on the book hey <laughs> hey hey <laughs> that's a printer error no hey no, no that was a uh that was a you know a, a, a variant you know there was, mm. only a, there was only a thousand of those. Mm -hmm. And this came out in 92? That was 92. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say there's only a thousand of those? There's only a thousand of those. That's insane. We we didn't call it a variant back then. We didn't even know what that word was. That's true. You know what? That's very true, Hank. So you guys were like pioneers. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, no, it's not that we were pioneers. It's that they just used different terminology back then. Right. Mm, uh, hold on before so we're going to show the artwork guys we have a question here from darius he says larry please share the story of the image behind tribe number two page two they're talking about the pants scene at larry Rosalind. what we need a no, he's talking about Rosalind's pants scene that's not, that's not a page two that's like the, the inside, inside cover is he darius, you gotta, darius you gotta let us know yeah, that, that was, was a, a that was a kind of an fu symbol. That's <laughs> awesome to certain people that knew who who I was talking about at the time. Uh, yeah, he's, he's talking about the inside cover. Yep, yep, yep. He says yes. Awesome. All right, so let's, let's we're gonna we're gonna auction off one of these. Uh, Larry, what what would you call it? Would you call it artwork? Would you call it original art sketch? What would you call it? Uh, just 
Original art? Original art. I like it. We're going to auction one off, guys, and then we're going to get oh, right Todd, into Todd's it. about to explain to you. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Wait, 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 there it is. It's for reference. There it is. It's the famous derriere shot. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> the first, hey, very nice. The first, uh, the first issue had the image eye. Then the second oh. issue had the image eye upside down. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha, those, gotcha. Those are F you to image. Gotcha. Not, not to image, but to a couple of people that we dealt with up there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. And the pants now is the variable. Kiss my. Mm, mm. Understood. Let's, let's start with that. That uh. I, I don't have anything against image. I mean, a lot of them guys up there are still friends of mine. It was just a couple of the people who were making decisions at the time. Fair enough. Fair enough. So was was oh. the when when you were at image. Um, is it fair to say it was a? Um, it wasn't so smooth. What? But we were technically never at Image. We just published a book through Image. I see. Oh, that we was at cool. Image. I, didn't, I never even knew what was going on up there. Mm. Was a, you know, we didn't have any decision making or anything. We weren't part of the group. Nothing. We were just some guys just doing a book through hold, them. Hold on, I have to ask. If you guys weren't a part of Image, how did you guys get Savage Dragon in Tribe? That was just you, a, that was just to a do that. All you have to do is ask people. Yeah, that was just a phone call to Eric Larson, and he said yes. You know. Oh wow! See, okay. everybody oh, own, everybody owns their characters outright. You know, Savage Dragon is a property of Eric, so he doesn't have to have anybody's permission to loan it out or you know whatever whatever he chooses to do. Mm -hmm. Understood. And and as far as like other creators that are not the principals, you know, it's it's set up more like a record company. Where you know Tribe is our record and the label is releasing it, but they don't own your record. Understood. Gotcha. gotcha. You know you are you are artists now. Some artists could be currently under contract to release music, and you're locked in for three albums or whatever. Mm -hmm. or, or some contract, you know, some are just work for hire type of thing. Like we're going to release your album under whatever deal we have, and you can come and go as you please. Understood. Okay. So everybody's deal could be different, you know. You know, we're not we're not the experts on image, definitely. Got you. So you could have a three hundred and sixty deal. You can have an independent where you own your masters, like you said, like a record deal. It's Correct. Or you could be book working book. on a property. Uh, you know, you could be working on something strictly as work and hired, like the person's spinoff property, like a like a um, whatever, whatever you know, Rob or Jim or whoever decide to spin off. That I could just hire you as an artist, and you get nothing. You Got just it. get the pay that I paid you, and, and I still own the character. So, like, if you hear somebody, and people have said this, when you hear someone say uh, that we were fired by them, we can't be fired because we were never hired by them. <laughs> it, was simply, it was just simply publishing something that we owned. And when it came time for us to, to go, we just took it and left. We just left. That's fair. We didn't, we didn't have to do pretty much anything. Was it an amicable departure, or was it a... no. No, it wasn't. It was a it was a necessary departure. Oh, okay. That is fair. So, so, the, so the so the new tribe is going to take place, uh, starting issue five is going to take place right after number four. Correct. Okay. I like it. Speaking so, guys, we're yeah, gonna how many how many books do that thirty years later? That's a ooh, that's the first touche. That's the first touche. Because yeah, normally they would reboot it yeah. and just start something mm -hmm. brand new. I think your trade paperback is going to sell like wildfire. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, because nobody has those issues now. And I think really you guys bad. need it. I need. I think you guys need to get your man in the back for some coffee, man. He's about to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the vinegary one. This is. The oh, yeah, you guys, you guys are not taking. Not. You guys are not taking care of him properly, man. Get him a sandwich and some coffee. This is his happy <laughs> face. Trust me, he's security. <laughs> See, he was under the impression you guys were going to be here, so he came to give security. But then he saw you guys will be re remote. Then he was like, "All right, so be it." This is happy face. Okay, all right. Well, this is one of my rare appearances, and <laughs> it's because well, you guys are here. He said, "I'm showing up." Well, we are honored by your presence. Why? Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So we're gonna get into some art. We're gonna get into some original art. Larry, the qu question for you: uh, the size of this? What would you say? Eleven by seventeen? Uh, uh, what size is it? It's a it's a half of a. 11 by 17. Oh, okay. So it's um, five by eight and a half. 
Hey, you got to tell me. I don't know. All of our math wizards. Five seven? It's not five and a half. That's eight and a half by 11. Okay, eight and a half, 11. So it's um, regular eight, four, five, eight, four paper. The legal, legal side. Okay. Legal paper side. Okay, 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 right, okay, okay. Started. No, that's not, that's not legal paper size. That's standard paper size. Standard paper, okay. Mm. That's eight and a half by 11. Is this on a art board or oh, Bristol is it board? A... It's on Bristol board. Everything's okay. on Bristol board. Okay. All right, guys, let's get into it. Jean Grey original art. Hank, talk to me. All right, let's start yeah, at 25. Certified. Sweet. Start at 25. I was way off. You got to show the camera, Randy. Gene Gray, original art, guys. We're going to open this for 25, guys. 25, guys. You guys know the routine. We got the clock here, the interest clock. Yep, letter paper on Bristol board. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So while that's running, I have a question for uh, both of you guys. Oh, Jose Pentosa, I got you. I got you, Jose. If I don't say your name, I'm just – hold on. If I don't say your name, I'm just going to pin who won it. Gene, uh, V-Rob, I see you, but Jose. So I have a question for both Larry and Todd. Here, let me run that. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, you asked the question. That's fine, Hank. You got it? Yep. Hank, hey, it's fine. Touch it, touch it. Sure. Absolutely. Because you're throwing me off, Hank. Hold on, hold on. Jose. You want to do it? I got it, Hank. <laughs> Jose Pentosa, 40. Larry, Todd, question for you. You guys launched. You guys launched a million copies. Uh, first creator, uh, first African-American book by a uh, uh, first African-American uh, cover. But your marketing, you guys had mar merch. You guys had trading cards. You got, Are you guys planning to do something similar again for five and six? Because people don't talk about that rollout. That rollout was awesome. Also, guys, every purchase over $100 today, guys, is you're getting a sealed tribe trading card. Oh, nice. Collector's history, guys. But yes, talk about that because I don't think you guys will get the credit you deserve for that. The thing is, most of those ideas were Todd's. I kind of agreed with it, but I don't think either one of us really had any idea of how that was going to work. So we had a lot of other things going on at the time. So we weren't able to completely take advantage of all of that. I mean, it's kind of normal with a lot of people now to do this. But in those days, we were getting a lot of criticism from the company itself uh, when we would do that. Like, you really? know, who do you guys think you are and who gave you permission and whatever. And I'm like, well, we own we own it. We wouldn't have to get permission from anybody to do anything. So there were always there was always we was always getting flack about a lot of stuff because, you know, they didn't understand it at the time. But then they ended up doing it themselves. Yeah, there was a lot of pushback on just, you know, you know, people were criticizing things, saying it was flamboyant or. Like Larry said, somebody, I can remember a direct quote, somebody saying, well, who do you guys think you are, the Batman movie? You know, it's like, we're just, <laughs> we're just promoting. I mean, I, I come from a party party background where you promote it. You hit the streets, you pass flyers, you you beg, you borrow, you do whatever the hell you have to do to market. So that's what we brought to the table. And we, because we both like advertising and marketing, mm -hmm. it just seemed like a natural thing to have gear to you know, reflect your stuff. I mean, because people people wearing your T-shirt are a billboard walking around a show. People wearing your hat. It just seemed like a natural extension. And then because in our comic we had actual functioning things like one of the characters owned a gym and one of the characters owned a nightclub. It's, we spun off those things into we actually it's a it's a funny thing when we put down the beat down gym shirts and the hype club, the hype club shirts. More people that knew nothing about the comic were buying that stuff. We sold probably more beatdown gym stuff even than the tribe stuff. Mm. Because people thought it was a beatdown gym in Brooklyn that was about boxing and stuff. So they just, you know, you just are trying to connect with whatever audience that you can connect with. And that's, I mean, that's the very nature of how marketing works. We, you know, you don't you don't just sit there with the with the the target markets you already have. You got to go try to find new markets, and that's what we were trying to do. Well, the thing is, what we did was, which this is this is part of the story that we almost never talked to anybody about. We spent about eight months promoting this stuff before the book even came out. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Image, Image did not promote the book. Mm -hmm. Nobody else promoted the book. There was a lot of. Uh, uh, shows that didn't want us coming to the shows. There were magazines that didn't want to cover us. 
So we just went wherever we could go. And we did that for like eight straight months. And, um, and the merchandise that we had was part of what, what kept us surviving and being able to eat and all that other kind of stuff for that mm. period of time before, before the book actually came out. And even when the book came out, it was still a little while before they decided to pay us for this. It was, it was a good amount of money we made from that book. But it was a whole lot of headache we had to go through in the process. And and attorneys. Oh, oh wow. So yeah. when you hit that million mark, you guys must have really uh, had a sigh of relief. No, you only have the sigh of relief. It's not a sigh of relief until yeah. you see a check. You oh, know, okay. a, mil a, a million sales is great for whoever is taking the money in. Right. So for us, as Larry was saying, that that money didn't come for months later, right. and that oh, was really? just, and that's just for the money somebody decides to send you. That's not saying the money was right. Touche. So that's a whole different conversation about you know contracts and lawyers and you know people holding your 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 cash basically, mm -hmm. and the you know and the promises of. You know, people say the image is going to promote this and promote that. You can't find one tribe ad in any image comic. But yet, yet we have image ads in our comic. Yeah. You know, they they made a placement of two ads in our comic, but our placement didn't get nowhere. Mysteriously. Oh. <laughs> you know, these are comics mysteries. I mean, touche, touche. Uh, Jose Pentosa, you got this baby for y'all. This is yours, my good man. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Woohoo! Absolutely, congrats. So, let's run another. Yeah, keep going. What's his name again? Jose Pentosa. Tell him I said thank you very much. Absolutely, and, absolutely. And this one, Larry, uh, Larry is uh, the Black Panther. Is the same size? Is a little bigger? No, that's a that's a 11 by 17. Okay, this one's a much bigger. Mm. Okay, it's twice the size of the. Of the other gotcha. okay. okay, so this Black Panther 11 by 17. Yep, 11 by 17. We're gonna open this one, guys. 480. Uh, what was the medium on this? Uh, just and just ink? India, India ink. That's okay. it. India ink and some uh, some whiteout pens. Okay, these things called Presto, Sir Darius with the mini Dano snap 400. Beautiful composition, by the way. Sir Darius with the Thanks. mini Thanos snap 400. If there was another character you would you would love to draw, which character would it be? Sir Sir Toski 110. Me meaning as a single picture? No, like or a comic like, book. Like if you if you uh mm. were to do another character book, uh aside from tribe, which which character would you choose? I have uh, I would I would have liked I would have liked to do a 1960s version of the Fantastic Four. Oh, didn't see that coming. Yeah. Other than that, maybe like Devil Dinosaur. Okay. Or Omac. Omac. Wow. Wow. Omac, you took me back with that one. I, I would love to draw those three. Those three things. A lot of the Kirby characters. You know. You know what cover I was talking to Hank about the other. I, 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 I would have normally have said Black Panther, but that that sounds like. That's like an ordinary thing that people say now. Uh, Tom, 115 from YouTube. But Black Panther was uh, uh, first appeared in uh, Fantastic Four 52. So say that again. In there, it, uh, uh, Black Panther first appeared in Fantastic Four. Exactly. Exactly. So there is a connection there. Yep. Yep. That's why I first saw him at. Right, mm. right. It was actually yeah. a Fantastic Four annual that they that he was in. Then mm. that's the first time I actually saw him. So when you first, Ooh, there you go, there you go, nice. Look at that. There you go. When you first saw the Black Panther in print, uh, what was your uh, reaction? I just thought it. I just, well, the thing is, I first saw him as just a character on a cover for like a few years. So I was always interested in him. Mm. And when I finally saw that annual, the Fantastic Four annual, they had him in it. Then I was like, "Oh man, this this character is great." And I said, "I said." And then he's black too. You you just didn't see that many black characters at the time, right? So that was that was just kind of a unique kind of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, six seconds. Somebody yeah. asked if this was a copy? No, that's an original. No, this is an original. So this is going to Tom Denise from YouTube for 115. Tom, congrats. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very, 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 nice. very nice. Very nice. Very Thanks, very Tom. Nice. Next item here. Ooh. Very nice. Moving on. Next item, guys. Next item is this beautiful, beautiful Phoenix. And is this uh, 11 by 17 also? Uh, I don't know what size that is. Hold on. I believe it is. Matthew Seabook remind him reminded him. Yeah, that's eleven by seventeen. This one also reminds me of a little bit of Storm, doesn't it? Oh, oh, we gotta show. Oh, Larry, we, I gotta show you. You want to talk about full circle? I gotta show you something in a minute. Though I will show you in a moment. I gotta show you the Storm that I got from you. I got I got that bad boy frame. That wasn't, oh, man. that wasn't that wasn't Storm. No, that was Storm. Yeah, this was like this is not Storm. Exactly <laughs> Storm. So it's like what? <laughs> Uh, this is gonna open for 80 as well, guys. This one's opening for 80 as well. Phoenix, once uh, 11 by 17, open for 80. Talk to me. So, Todd, I'm happy you brought up Did somebody open beat down. Nobody opened it. I'm happy you brought up beat down gin and hype club. You're a DJ. Talk to me and tell me how you being a DJ influenced the, uh, your decision making when it comes to that and how it also helped you with when it came to the marketing aspect. Because, me as a fellow DJ, it changes how you think. And changes how you move. Well, in all transparency, I was a DJ. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me let me say this first. Talk to me. Todd was not only a DJ. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> he also ran a movie theater. Uh oh. And he rides a unicycle. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> time out. Time out. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta stop right in our tracks. A unicycle. Th what? Why? Where? <laughs> I just. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> you know, and somebody, somebody when I was in high school told me I, I couldn't do it. So I went and bought one and I actually bought two because you smash one up when you're trying to learn. You, know, oh you, you know, so by the time, by the time the person came back around, I was riding that unicycle like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> so what movie theater? Like, like a Harlem Globetrotter. Yeah. Where, where was this movie theater? In the uh, circus. In, the, in Detroit, me and my brother Kurt owned a, a theater called the Stratford Theater in, uh, in an area of Detroit called Mexican Town. The Stratford was the oldest theater in Michigan at the time, built in like 19, 1909 or something. Wow. So we showed we showed uh, mostly independent films and all, all sorts of stuff. Up, up, up. Oh, no, 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 no. Roger, Roger, we see your 80. Hank, I'm going to leave you for this one. Roger, we see your 80. But uh, Robert, Robert already had a 80, yeah. So you had to bid uh 85 or higher. So, guys, for those that are first time here, we have the great creators of Tribe, the legendary creators of Tribe, Larry Strowman, Todd Johnson. Here, when it comes to auctions, guys, if it's less than 100, we move in minimum increments of five. If it's 100, we move in minimum increments of 10. Uh, Roger Gregg, I see your 80, but it already came in. Hey. Are you taking that or no? You're gonna take no, it. No, Roger. Roger, Roger says 90. Roger says 90. Roger says 90. taking it. So we're the Hank says we're taking Roger it. Roger says we're not, 90. 90, we're taking it. So we got to reset. Also, also, start the clock when there's only one bidder. Well, yeah, that's probably better. Yeah. If there's a. This, if this was the last minute, Hank. This was the last minute. Absolutely. Okay. Guys, please, uh, when you're bidding, please bid early. If if it beats, we have to uh, honor the uh, original bid, okay? Absolutely. So right now. It's our fault because we didn't explain the rules. Absolutely. Yeah, so, Robert, you're eight. Uh, the auction. The artwork is still in play. Roger has the high bid of 90. Okay. Roger has the high bid of 90. And we're going to start the clock, guys. So if you want to bid higher, it's time, time to do it now. Current bid is 90. There is no sudden death here, guys. So whoever gets outbid, we're just going to restart the clock. Absolutely. It's, it's different than eBay, guys. It's not sniping. You have to bid early. You have to get your bid in before the clock. If, if the clock beeps and we don't see a bid, that means the previous uh, bidder wins. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm getting, uh, like I said, I'm getting the storm vibes from this one. I'm still stuck on the fact that Todd was riding a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I what agree. You, what, I agree. I wanna, what I really want to know is, were you running the uh, the projector while you, you know, riding the unicycle? Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, I wasn't running the projector, but the projectors we had did use the old carbon rods. Okay. Very old school. Yeah, Robert, you did not win. Right now, Roger has the high bid of 90. You did not win, Robert. 
So if you want to be in it, you would have to bid 95 or a minimum of 95. You have 20 seconds. Robert, you did not win. Roger has the high bid of 90. You did not win. I like how the hair and the head makes it look like the shape of a phoenix. If you, if you look at I the hair, I just caught it's, that. Yeah, they're right. It's like the wings. And the head is, well, the head. <laughs> I just caught that. I definitely just caught that. That's All right. Good. So, Robert, you, uh, Roger, you're taking this down for 90. Roger, you're taking this down for 90. All right. So, let's explain the rules one, one more time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Title. So, guys, when we start the auction, the clock right behind us, <laughs> anyone who puts a bid in, we reset it. There is no sudden death. We put a minute and 15 seconds on the clock. If, can, uh, can I say? Go ahead. Absolutely. Oh, by all means, jump in. Talk to me. I had no idea what the show was going to be. I thought it was just going to be a regular interview show. Mm. Because if I knew, I would have had some other stuff. Well, by all means, Larry. You, you have I mean, I was, I was never told what I was supposed to have, how much I was supposed to have, or any of that. So. That's absolutely fine. And the beauty of it is, the next question I have for you is, what you got? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta dig this stuff out. I mean, there was, there's one thing right oh, there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Listen, stop. by all means, bring it. Cause look at him. Look, 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 look. Bring him out. Bring him out. By all means, bring him out. Let me, let me, let me give you front, front stage so the people can see. Bring him out. Bring him out. Whatever you have, bring him out. That's one. Uh, I got. I got to dig around. You just talk to Todd for a second. By all means, bring them out. Bring them out. Yes, yes, yes. Bring them out. So while you're digging in your crates, if you will, do that today. <laughs> well, while he's digging, do you want to see the first page of Tribe Five? Absolutely. That Spider Man is sensational. Call it too. That Spider Man is sensational. Wait a minute. I want to see this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Guys, exclusive first page of Tribe. Oh whoa! Oh, that's I gorgeous. Want that. That's gorgeous. yeah. You know what? Run that, Todd. Todd, run that. No, no, I want the it. first page. Yeah, I know that. Run that. He can't run that. He can't run that. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, that. You know what? That reminds me of uh, the style. Is reminiscent of uh, Barry Windsor Smith. Very clean, classical lines. It's, it's not, beautiful. Not not one of my favorite people. Is that? <laughs> oh wow! Is that vague? As as an artist though, as oh, no. an artist or fly? Who is that? That's a new character. Oh, that's what I, mean. I can't be Fly Girl. Vegas from uh of the Atom. Who is that? That's gonna be a new character. And while Larry is looking, I will show you mm. in Tribe Four. If you remember, anybody that read it, the Hannibal character was smashed up. Yes. So this is this is his head being repaired. Oh, stop! We gotta run that. Absolutely, I want it. Come on, look at that. So this is him being repaired. I love the line work, the composition, the brush work. Oh man, it's, it's and the and the intensity of the look. Oh man, that's that's something. Oh, I want that. I a lot, want a lot that. of deep blacks. I want that, and guys. Course, and of course, this is the drawing you guys saw in the. That's the sketch, guys. We are going to auction. That will be the last auction of the night, guys. Yep. This is a sketch just. For the bulletproof brigade done by our great Larry Strowman, we will be auctioning that out. We're auctioning that off towards mm -hmm. the end mm -hmm. of the night, guys. That is gorgeous. You have everyone there. That's gorgeous. Okay, I got this. I got this stuff ready. Some of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to move with that? Okay. 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 This is in color eleven by seventeen. What's the medium? Uh, watercolor. A oh, watercolor. Okay. All right, let's do one at a time. Let's do that one. Let's run that one. Oh, whoa. The Spidey. Let's do that Spidey first. Let's do the Spidey and then come back to the uh, Black Panther. All right, guys. Do you want me to hold uh, it? Or what? Uh, what should we start at? One fifty. Start the bidding at one fifty. Hold on here. I got, leave it right there for me, please. Boom. Thank you. Where do you want to start that at, Lear? I don't know. Whatever they, whatever they think is okay. All right. So let's start at one fifty. Uh, we're gonna start with the Spidey first. We're gonna come back to that one. All right, guys. I got, I got it. The same way. You, listen. The same way you're a jack of all trades. I got it. 
DJ, head of IT, this is what I do. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Let's do it right here, guys. Darius is losing his mind. So Spidey. Watercolor. Spidey color. I'm, I'm sorry. That's not a better uh, quality. Oh, you're, oh, you're, sure. ab you're absolutely fine. Uh, question. What's the size on this one, Larry? But pretty much everything from now on is going to be 11 by 17. 11 by other 17. Than, other than some more of those headshots that you have. Outstanding. We're going to open this for, I think we've been opening at 80. No, this one is color. Open it at we got to open it at 150. 150? We got to open this bad boy at 150, guys. Talk to me. This is that Spider-Man color, 11 by 17, open for 150. He's jumping from a uh, roof. Immediately take this to Flappers Frames. Absolutely. Adam Frank, how dare you bring that up? How dare you bring out? So for those that don't understand, we had a so we had a uh, an auction. Uh Hank was in Megacon and I was running it from my house. And like a true African American, my smoke detector kept going off every 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> And these guys are like, Randy, so everyone calls me sexual talking, but they're like, Randy, what the hell is that? And I'm like, yeah, my smoke detector battery died. And it just kept chirping. And so they're like, yeah, you're a DJ IT guy, but you can't change your battery. Like, how dare you? How dare you? What it is is we're just trying to figure out how long does that thing chirp before it, before all the energy is gone. Touche. I, I had to replace it completely because come to find out mine was defective. Can anybody open on this, guys? This is that Spidey color, one in, uh, one in seven, uh, 11 by 17, open for uh, 150. All right, all right, all right. No moving on that one. So before we go to that one, Larry, because Todd and I were speaking behind the scenes, we got a couple goodies, a couple goodies as well before we get, uh, I want to get into we got to move this one. We got to move this one because if not, uh, certain individuals will go home crying. Certain individuals will go home crying. And let's open this at 80, guys. So, yep, we'll open this at 80. Uh, so this is just, just to explain the rules, guys. If uh, those of you that's going to bid, uh, somebody opens, uh, we will start the clock when we only see one bidder. So that's that's Snipe because Snipe doesn't work. Because remember, there's a lag. And by the time you put your bid in, it might it might beep already, so that means you know your 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 bid is too late. So please try not to uh, snipe, bid early, and when when we only see one person bidding, we will start the clock, and then when the when it beeps, that person wins. Tom, he said eighty. Uh, we open, okay. Yeah. All right, we got one person. All right, Pat, a buck. Not thanks, good. thanks, Tom. I'm not playing it, please. Gene Donovan, ninety, the chocolate. A buck. Oh, you're, you're in it. Yeah, I'm not playing games. <laughs> Randy Watson is me. I'm not playing games. I'm not. I'm not playing games. Larry knew. Was, once Todd showed me that, so I got off the phone with Todd, and then I go to my Instagram, and I see. Uh, what I the? See that, and I said, yeah, I'm taking. I said, yeah, absolutely. Gene Donovan, elite for 120. One five. We're, we're, matter of fact, hit. We're playing poker tonight. We're playing blackjack. Hit me. The 150? Yep. Hit me. We playing poker tonight. <laughs> Randy My Watson on Yeah, this is sensational. Absolutely sensational. Question for you, Larry. How long? Oh, Gene Donovan, two hundred. Wow, wow. two hundred. Two ten hit. <laughs> that hit. Nice. Hmm. Someone who looks like me, two ten. What the. Someone who looks like me, 210. Larry, question. How long does it take you to build, to make these bad boys? Because these things look amazing. What it is, it's just a big buildup for a period of time in which then I just do a bunch of stuff. Mm. So when I do the stuff, it takes almost no time to do. Mm -hmm. But the thought process going up to that point can sometimes take weeks at a time. Understood. So you got to work it out all in your head first. Yep, and then you know, he starts to do it. Sometimes it's a matter of collecting reference for certain things. You store it on your computer somewhere, and you collect more reference and more reference. And then when it comes to the actual time of actually doing the work, it takes very little time. That's why a lot of times when people 
they'll see me drawing at a convention or something. I'll say, man, if you can draw so fast, how come I haven't drawn more comics? Mm. Where do you um, get your inspiration from? Everything, anything, mm. everything. Just life? Nothing yeah. in particular. <laughs> just just everything. Just really constant searching around uh, on the internet or flipping through comic books or um, stuff that right. has nothing to do with Stop anything. Running, guys. Pat, 230 hit, please. Well, it looks like the chocolate is back. Interesting. Chocolate is a very stubborn person. A little bit. <laughs> chocolate's back. He, he refuses to lose. Chocolate's back. <laughs> like, oh, interesting. Ooh. Okay, yep, yep, yep. 52 seconds. It looks like the chocolate is back. Okay, 45 seconds, guys. That's very, it's very interesting. Oh, Gene Donovan, two fifty. Mm. I think Gene is more stubborn than you. He is. <laughs> he got he, he got himself a cup of coffee. He is. He, he definitely is. He was the gentleman that was falling asleep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he must have found that coffee. Yep, found it. The chocolate in the Brian is strong tonight. Pack two sixty hit, please. Ah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Speaking of speaking of coffee, have you guys heard of this brand out of Brooklyn? Death Wish? What is that? Hold on. Hold on. I got you right here. One second. Hold on. Hold on. It's called Afro Grind. Afro Grind. I like the name. That that sounds like it should be on some triple X website. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a New York. It's a black owned uh, coffee grind. How does it taste? It tastes very good. They, yeah. got, they got three different types. You've got Tanzania, Ethiopia. I'm not sitting here doing a commercial, but, you know, it's, mm. it's, and Kenya. Does, does it have a kick? Very much so. Okay. Do you like do you like coffee? Oh, I'm a I'm an avid coffee drinker. Oh, yeah, he's coffee. definitely an avid coffee drinker. Oh. Yeah, Gene. I'm going to send you some. Oh, okay, thank you. I, I think I have a... Uh... His death wish? Yeah, I got Gene out of here. He knows better. He knows better. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, but he, he don't want no smoke. It's mine. He don't want no smoke. He definitely don't. Yeah, wait for it to go down. Wait for it to go down. And nice. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It came during the beep. 270. <laughs> yeah. It came during the beep, and I'm a man of my word. One thing about this. You gotta keep the integrity. 270. It came during the beep. It actually did. 270. I'm out, Gene. <laughs> I got a wife and two kids. I'm out. I got a wife and two kids. And I'm gonna show you why I'm also out. I'm gonna show you why I'm out. Jose Pantoja. I'm gonna show you why I'm also out. What? Uh, I'll show you why I'm also out. <laughs> I'm happy you brought up covers, Larry. Your style is insanely recognizable. Just like Rob Liefeld, uh, Jim Lee, Ken Lashley. A few of your covers that are my favorite are there's a Black Panther cover that you did. That's uh, my favorite. This one right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This guy right here. This cover is. No, I didn't. I didn't do that cover. Really? Nope. I did a Black Panther cover, but not that one. I could have sworn it was this one. And then there's a Bitter Root number three, if I'm correct. He's, in, he's inside that Black Panther annual, but not the cover. Copy. There's a bitter root oh, number okay. three that you did. That actually, I actually have the book in my book bag. Uh, Matter of fact, that um, that issue was one of, was some of the inspiration for the last Black Panther movie. So they gave me they gave me a credit in the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. When they give you credit with royalties, you oh, you don't have to. Man. No, there's no there's no money. No, <laughs> just, no just, credit. <laughs> just a firm handshake. Just a firm handshake and a pat on the back. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. But this cover right here, I know for a fact this baby is this one right here. Oh, is yeah. root number three. I had a good time doing that. San, Sanford is a cool dude. I just took it away. How was it working with uh, David Walker, Chuck Brown, and uh, Sanford Green? I, I didn't work with them. I just I just got a, a note from Sanford asking me if I uh, if I would if I could do a cover for him. And I said sure. Mm. 
and, awesome. um, and that's how that went. I, I didn't actually work with them on anything in particular. Copy. Now, Gene, the reason, and Todd, you're going to love this. This is why I say it's full circle. The reason why I said it's okay, you can take that, because this is what I just got framed, and I picked Woo-hoo. up the from our, our, our guy Larry. I just picked this up this morning. So this was the storm that I purchased, got that bad boy framed. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, I think I heard the conversation with you and Darius. We're talking about what color the frame should be. Yeah, uh, so you are, you're you in tune. You know, yep. I wanted to go with baby blue, but Hank and uh, Mike, our framer, said, no, 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 too much. Just leave it in there. That's what she said. Leave it in there. All right. Uh, Larry, let's move it. That Black Panther that you had. That beaut. That, that beaut let's move that. Oh, the, the color one? Oh, that beaut. That uh, you what medium was that one? This is also a watercolor. Sorry about the reflection. That's watercolor. Wow, it looks like acrylic. Wow. Per, yep. Ten seconds. Just let me get a good shot. Hold on. Ten seconds. Got it. Thank you. See the the thing with the watercolor medium is that you can have it really light or you can have it dark. I see. And now they make different types of watercolor. Mm-hmm. And um, the reason why I like the watercolor is unlike acrylic, once the acrylic dries, it's pretty pretty much done. But with watercolor, you can still come back and move the colors around if you like. And when it's done, mm-hmm. it kind of has that same look anyway. Mm-hmm. There is my baby. So I think they're asking, uh, Gene is asking for his win. Doesn't he get a spin? Oh, touche. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. We'll do the spin after after all the uh, all the bids. Yep, 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 yep. All the items. Larry, can I have that one more time, please? The Black Panther? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh. Straight, straight on. Straight on for me, dead please. On, dead on. Dead dead on. on. It, has a, it just has a reflection. That's no, all. fine. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. That was weird. There we go, guys. Look at this view. Oh, here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stream yard. Look at this view right here, guys. And what was the inspiration for this one, uh, Larry? Because with the it looks like Wakanda's on fire, if you will, almost. I don't know. I just uh, most of the time I don't even know what the inspiration is. I'm just flipping this <laughs> up and I see a part of this and I see a photograph and then I see something I'm watching and then I see some, some art that somebody else has done. And then I just kind of take all of it and just put it together. And basically the, the thought process of of it is um, I'm trying to create this whole picture that has a foreground, a middle ground and a background. That's the basis for almost all of the, the single pictures that I do. Mm. So, I'm like, oh, what would look kind of cool in the foreground? Uh, and then I figure out what might look cool in the middle ground. And in the background is using some clouds or something like that. Outstanding. Guys, can anybody open Black Panther or 11 by 17? Open for a 150, open for a buck 50, guys. Look at that as, beautiful as far as, as far as the color, I'm just starting to learn about color. I... Uh, I just throw stuff out there and hope, hopefully it works. <laughs> you know? There have been times I've actually redrawn and repainted things three, four times before I got to a point where it was what I wanted. I'm happy you said that because for you, as a, and Hank, you could probably uh, mm-hmm. attend to this. You as an artist, you probably have a point in your mind where you're like, okay, this is good. This is done. Myself as a consumer, we're like, I'll take the first draft. This is done. Give it to me. I'm good. And, and that's why we don't show people, we don't show people the first draft because Got that's it. exactly what would happen. Yeah, I'm like, but the first draft, I'm like, I want it. Give it to me. That's exactly what I want. Well, see, when, Tim, when Larry decides to redraw a page, unfortunately, if you happen to be present, he rips up the one before, before you can grab it. Mm, yeah, you you know, just, so, see, I would, I would just get that stuff and just kind of, this is just an artist proof over here. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, times, about the clock. Todd, 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 there have been times Todd would show me folders that he's been holding on for like 20 years. <laughs> and I looked at that folder, I'm like, ah, oh, man, I forgot I did this. I said, the man, I was way, way long time ago. The same way I, I saw the the was the Instagram post, I think it was you, Todd, 
I think you went somewhere, a relative's house, or your, and you found an old box of that was my mother. That was my mother's house where, you know, when Larry came to Detroit back when we were doing Tri, he actually stayed with my mother for a couple of weeks. And a lot of stuff got stored there back then. She has a huge house and just that was an easy spot to have stuff. So she still has stuff over there, you know, old comics and old, you know, prints and all types of stuff. Outstanding. 34 seconds. Got it. So let me ask you a question. Let's just I want to veer back to tribe for a little bit. Five, six, and hopefully seven, eight, nine. So I wanted to ask you specifically in terms of influences, what what are you looking for in today's time to help you influence writing five and six? Obviously, you got to make it current, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm assuming uh companies and issues like the civil rights, not civil rights, I'm sorry, companies like Milestone had an effect on you because I think you guys were in that same era. That same time zone. So I want to know for now, five and six. Right. What, second, are you, guy. what are you putting from milestone? Never had any effect on us at all. No. Really? No. Uh, they you were know, just what? doing their own thing. We were and doing our own, thing, own thing. thing, and that was it. I mean, I, yeah, of the, course, of course, like stuff that has come out of milestone, and particularly, pretty much anything done by Dennis Collins, I've always liked. Mm. So, but as far as inspiration and stuff, it's pretty much just other places that we've gone okay and you know you don't always you know the thing about inspiration there's other forms of inspiration it's not just creativity sometimes competition is inspiration mm. so when you're a competitive person which most creators are that was the comp you know that's the competition that's the influence you're like oh man you know look what they did we want to do just as good or better or we you know it's like it's a constant you know that's that's what peers do. That's what you know. That's a what, what this this is what happened with the with the first cover of Try. We were up at the at the, at, at one of the offices and um and hung up on the walls on these walls were all of this art and covers and stuff of these books that were going to be coming out. Mm. So me and Todd were walking down, you know, looking at all the stuff, and then I had turned to Todd and I said. I said, man, we got to do something different. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, I said, all these bombastic covers and stuff. I said, we just, our stuff is just going to look like everybody else's stuff. I said, so for our first cover, we got to do something that's completely different than what everybody else has done. So when we got back, uh, me and Todd, uh, we went and we hung around a few record stores, flipping through album covers and, mm. and going through bookstores looking at paperback book covers and all that kind of stuff and then i had said to him at one point i said i said man let's do like the the most arrogant cover you could ever imagine <laughs> and he says what do you mean i said let's just put our names on the front cover of the comic book <laughs> yeah because that's how we kept seeing those paperback book covers it would be these these huge names of the writer mm -hmm. and then a tiny little description as to what the book was so i ended up meeting i can't remember how this was done i ended up meeting a guy who, who who worked at one of the companies that did all these various types of paperback book covers album covers and all that kind of stuff and and he said he gave me these books and i'm flipping through the books and then i said uh i said can you do this can we do this and he was like uh uh yeah, yeah, we could do that. And I'm flipping through, can we do that? And can we do that? And he said, yes. Mm. Of course, it costs an arm and a leg to get this stuff done. But we wanted, we wanted that first cover to be completely unique from anything else that was coming out at the time. And, so, mm. and to this day, people will still say, aren't you the guy who did that book with that cover? <laughs> all they say that cover, <laughs> and we all know the name. They know the cover. Well, the thing about making a business decision too, you got to remember somebody standing there telling you, "Oh, this only costs maybe nine cent to eighteen cent." Okay, so that sounds you're like, "Oh, that's nothing," but then when you multiply that, and the bill comes due times one million. It's a whole different animal. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. <clears throat> I have a question for you from Sir Darius right here, uh, Larry. He Darius asks, uh, Larry, can I have your autograph in gold on the base under that Black Panther image? Yep. 
Outstanding, outstanding. So we got a few more things to run, guys. I'm happy you brought up Tribe. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Yeah, somebody, somebody's yeah. going to have to remind me that. I'm not going to remember that right off. I, I definitely you. will, Todd. You, I, I definitely you. will. This, <laughs> this is why I'm here. I definitely yeah. will. Let's get right into it, guys. Let's get right into it. Speaking of a tribe, let's move a tri- let's 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 auction off the tribe book. So, guys, we have a tribe book. This is going to be uh, signed by both the creators. What in the world? Oh, this is what I want. This is going to be signed by both the creators right here, guys. This is tribe number one, that iconic cover. Look at that. Tribe one. What condition? That's a great question. Uh, Todd, what would you say the condition of the books are? Oh, they're all straight out of the box, brand new. Ooh, okay. so then that, these are... This, this, this guy wants a remark. Um, uh, Todd's not that for me, what, what that is, but... Um, Wait, who's asking for a remark? Does, does, does he want it? No, 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 he's asking. He's asking. So this is somebody different. This is Matthew Seaver. He says, plus I think about that cover, you can do a remark nicely on it. Yeah, so this is Matthew Seabrook saying... Says, could, could, didn't he say, could I get a remark nicely on that? No, 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 no. So this is Matthew Seabrook. So the winner is Darius Crosby. He asked if you could just sign it in gold. Another oh, okay. individual, Matthew Seabrook, said he agrees with you that the cover does look good because it gives you enough real estate if you want oh, to okay. draw something on it. So he's agreeing gotcha. that the cover looks good. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this is Tribe 1. Dual sign, guys. Dual sign. We're gonna open this one. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna open this for twenty-five. Tribe number one, dual sign, open for twenty-five guys. I know what you're gonna ask me. I know what you're gonna ask me. Wait for it. <laughs> oh, Saratoski, thirty. We're gonna shut the clock once there's only one person. We're gonna shut the clock once there's only one person. Absolutely. Uh, Chichen, forty. Question for you guys. Question for you guys. Tribe, amazing uh, story, but it has a multitude of uh, characters in it. Did you guys ever, or is it in the plan, maybe down the road next year, to spin off and have like solo stories of like uh, uh, Blind Spot or Roslyn, my girl, Fly Girl? Is it, was that ever something in your mind, or was the yes, make- yes, 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 and yes to all of it. Outstanding. <laughs> And we have we have two other properties that were part of the tribe that you know are part of the spinoffs too, which is W and yes. and Shelter. Shelter, I forgot about that, but W was another one too. Yeah, they were both in uh, Axis Alpha. Mm-hmm. We Gina, see a forty. Well, Chichen has a high bid of forty. Gina, see a forty. Chichen has a high bid. I would love to see a spinoff of those. Just to break those down and have like their individual backstories. That's awesome. Now I do have to ask this as a fanboy. You don't have to answer it, but are we going to see Roslyn in her gold armor? Well, I'm assuming it's gold. But are we're we? Gonna gonna see, we're going to see. No, there's going to there's gonna be an explanation as to why she had the armor. Oh, okay, okay. So for those that don't know. Oh, when you get tribe one, it, it, it kind of sums up what she's about. Oh, here. okay. You know, because that when she transformed, I said, Whoa, this this lady is insane. Gene 50, guys, remember, this is going to be double signed. I know what you're waiting for. Yes, absolutely. Darius has a question for you, Todd. He says, Todd, is that CGC Black Panther you have <laughs> in the background available for auction? Sure. Everything's available for sale. Everything's available for sale. <laughs> Everything is for sale. Everything must go. Everything must go. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. It looks like Gene is in a, Gene is holding the lead. All right, we're gonna wait a few seconds. We're gonna start the clock. A- absolutely, absolutely. All right, let's start the clock. Let's go. Uh, in the lead, fifty dollars, guys. Remember, if you're bidding, uh, do not snipe. If you do not beat the clock, the previous uh, high bid wins. Absolutely. So now, Todd, you said something earlier. You said that. So now, your daughter, respectfully, your daughter is a DJ as well. You're saying that Fly Girl is a homage to her. 
It's not a homage. It's going to be actually her. She's a, a <clears throat> she's kind of an undercover agent, and the DJ thing is kind of her uh, her front that she mm. can travel. She can travel around, but she is. So her her DJ name you can look her up on Instagram is at Silly Girl Carmen. Mm -hmm. So that we're it's it's just the way that in Tribe we always try to blend a little real life into the comic. So <coughs> a lot of the things that you see are going to be products and things that are actually in use that we have you know we have deals with the 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 liquor and the things served at the bar yeah. are going to be people that we're actually dealing with. The coffee that we drink or people we actually deal with, the the art supplies Larry draws on and uses or people we deal with. So there's gonna be a lot of synergy and real life things along with the comic. Very nice indeed. Gene Donovan taking that down for 50. Dual sign, near mint condition. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. We're gonna keep the show moving, keeping it moving, keeping it moving. This is tribe two. Also, dual sign. We're going to start that up for 25 as well. Tribe 2, dual sign. Woo -woo. That's my favorite color. Now, I, I, now here's, a, here's an interesting thing about this cover. Talk to me. One day, uh, we were doing, I think, a signing or something in uh, in Manhattan. So we're walking, we're walking down 34th Street, which is directly across the street from the big Macy's store. Mm. And something kind of caught my eye. <laughs> And I turn around and hung hung up in one of these these knickknacky type uh, uh, places where they sell all kinds of stuff. Hung up hung up way high was a T shirt that had this cover, and on the other side was a picture of Mike Tyson's face screaming. No, and they were selling this. They were selling this. So. I don't know. I wasn't really. I wasn't really in the mood to have to take anybody to court or anything like that at the time. <laughs> I just. I just said to him, let's, let us let us buy a couple of these shirts. <laughs> call it a day, yeah. <laughs> See, we ended up buying a couple of them. <laughs> the uh, you gotta love it. So I'm happy you guys brought up the whole idea of bringing real life into art. I, there's a book. Have you guys ever thought about adding the music element to Tribe? There is going to be a music element. Oh, yeah. So you've yeah. heard of Masters of the Sun, then? I haven't heard of Masters of the Sun. Oh, amazing. So uh, we're actually going to have original music that's going to be playing. You know, when you're the club scene, you know, you'll be able to go listen to the actual music as played at the club. And the DJs that play at the club are going to be real DJs like uh, Charisma from Baltimore and Delano mm. Smith from Detroit. And, and Lex Lander. Lex Lander, Moody Man. I mean, Lex every... is actually a big name. It's actually what? I said Lex Lander's a big name. I actually know these guys. I'm a DJ, so I know. <laughs> Glenn Underground out of Chicago. Oh, you guys not playing? No, not we we never play. This is serious. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys are not playing. This rollout is gonna be insane. Right, it's gonna be it. fun. This is what we what we basically decided this time is we want to have some fun. You know, and not be so concerned with all the industry stuff and the the gossip and the garbage. Just 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 have, have some fun. See that when you go into something for the first time, you're kind of going into it blind. You 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 know some stuff, but most things until you actually experience it, you, you have no idea what you're going to deal with. So now that we've gone through we've gone through that stuff, uh, now it's it's much much easier to pay attention to that. And like I said, I said to Todd, I don't want to do this if I don't have the fun this time. Makes sense. Makes sense. Speaking of fun, speaking of fun, guys, prepare yourself because I'm playing as well. So we spoke about Tribe 1, Tribe 2. I'm not going to 3 yet on purpose. I got to go Tribe White. I got to go Tribe White, guys. This, So, Todd, correct me if I'm wrong. You said there's only a 1,000 of these bad boys printed. There's a 1,000 of them, yep. Okay. All right. and, we, and, and the thing about that back then, we were the you couldn't get these through any of the distributors or anything like that. These had to be bought in with me and Larry at shows. Oh wow! So, the, so there was no even the retailers didn't have this. We just carried a few of these around at every show we did. So they leaked out from there. So anyone that you see out there in the wild was bought yeah. at some convention appearance or 
by you know somebody reselling later. Got it. Got tribe white open for forty. Hang on you. What is the condition of this uh, book also? Is These are all straight out of the box. Okay, and then is it possible maybe on uh, in addition to the signatures, two signatures, would it be possible for you to remark this? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna uh guys let, you heard it here. We're gonna start it at 40, but this copy will be remarked by so, Larry. Let me get this straight. Double, we'll get double two, six. two six plus the remark. Plus the remark. It's perfect for remark. Look at that. Pat, throw me in, please. Absolutely. Did anybody open, guys? Uh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> this is uh, Gary this is Coates. Very rare. Only a thousand uh, in existence. I'm sure not thousand, not all those thousands survive. Oh, I can imagine. Now I'm happy you brought up cons. Uh, Mike Saratowski, fifty. Uh, with the remark, guys. Two signatures and the remark. I got a double question here for you. One from Saratowski, who's bidding right now. Are they? Do you have any favorite cons? And are you? Uh, are there any shows that you won't do? <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, that we won't do. Correct. Uh, no, I mean we we go where we're invited. You know. I, I, Todd, we spoke. You got Schomburg. Absolutely, yeah. we got to do it. Schomburg. Yeah. yeah, we we would love to do Schomburg. We are in conversation with uh, Miss Miss Tubman, that's yeah. the director of that, and she's working some things out right now. Yeah, Kadia. Kadia is great. Yeah, definitely. We, we would love we would love to come to Schaumburg and, and and do an appearance at the great Bulletproof Comics. <laughs> now, no. now, why would you? Why would you? Why do you? Why do you ask? What show we wouldn't want to go to? Oh, the, it wasn't my question. It was a question from Saratowski. So Saratowski, that's a great question. Why would you ask what show you wouldn't want to go to, Saratowski? But speaking of which. Outside, so obviously we spoke about Schaumburg. Are there any shows that you can actually? Play? Now that I think of it, uh oh, uh oh, there was a show in Dubai that I didn't want to go to. Dubai? <laughs> you would think Dubai would be the spot, you know? No, it's you? it's just I don't like traveling. I don't like flying. And okay, it's, way, like it's way too far away. Makes you know, sense. so yeah, we were supposed I, to. Do I, a, I think if I was on a plane that long, I would be going crazy on that plane. Back in the back in the day, we were supposed to do the Australia con, and we just did not want to be on the plane like twenty four hours. You know, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Wow, twenty four hours—that's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time on a plane. I can't even do five hours on a plane, so I can only imagine. That's crazy. It, uh, so, as, as, as far as shows that we like to do, we both kind of like small and medium sized shows better than the big ones. Mm, okay. You know, we've not been a fan, you know, not a, you know, the, you know, San Diego, New York Comic Con, all that kind of stuff. They're cool, but they're not, they're not where, you know, independent creators can really shine. And, you know, just in our experience, is, I mean, if everybody's, you like, everybody's experience is different, you know. The thing is, if you really pay attention to the really, really big shows, it's a lot of people moving around, but they're not really focusing on much of anything. And a good portion of those people coming in because there's famous movie stars mm. who's in a movie that just came out last week that are there and all that kind of thing. And and it's just a lot of moving around. It's not not a whole lot of people actually, you know, focusing any attention on what you're doing. So you tend to get that a little bit more at the medium size and small shows. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, definitely the the medium and the smaller shows are much more intimate. And yep. you get to, I guess, uh, meet your fans in a better light. So, and to me, for somebody to pay a whole lot more money to be at a big show, I mean, what are you really paying for? You Touché. Know? So, and one, and one of the things is we found that we got better treatment and better integration into a show by somebody that really wanted you to be at their show. Sure. Mm, that or, or, or a store that really wanted you, you know, that really wanted you to be a part of their store experience, not somebody just. Oh, let's book a bunch of hot people or let's let's you know you know sometimes people are just following trends sometimes people are really trying to support what you're doing and stuff and we want it to be a we want our appearances and things that we're doing to be a win-win on both sides not just for us that we help you promote your store or promote your convention or whatever and that's what we try to do right mm, very nice very nice and in this day and age, being part of social media and stuff, it's easier to help with promotion with anything. You know? Oh, most definitely. I, I 
I, I assume for someone like you, Todd, it's easier now to promote than back in the day. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. You know, it's just like a simple example. You know, Randy is kind of like when you did the promotion, linking the Instagrams with yours, yeah. mine, Larry's, tribe, <laughs> then you pushed the whole message out further than just somebody trying to do it by themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have SR from YouTube. SR from YouTube is saying, is asking, what is what is the next show you guys have scheduled? Uh, the next one on the on the books is the Three Rivers Con in Pittsburgh. Three Rivers Con in Pittsburgh. It's, it's, it's sponsored it. by uh, it's sponsored by a guy named uh, Todd McDevitt. He owns a chain of stores called <laughs> New, New Dimensions. He's got about six or seven stores down in Pennsylvania. Okay. Mm, okay. I'm not, you know what big All right, guys. Ten seconds. Uh, Stephanie. Uh, Gary Coast is a. Uh, Lead yep, Gary Coulson lead. You know what I would consider a big show, but does well in terms of like the indies and the smaller guys. Uh -huh. Terrific on. Terrific on is good. Baltimore con is good. Baltimore con is actually very nice. Yeah, awesome Terrific con is, is a, a very good show. Yeah. What's the other one, Hank, that they do in North Carolina? Heroes. Heroes. Yeah. Heroes, Heroes con is, um, is a very very nice. It's a as classic well. comic show. Yeah. yeah we're we're doing classic. Heroes. Yeah, that's a good show. Really? Yeah. All right, Gary won. Mm, congrats. Gary, congrats, 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 Gary. We want, we, want, we want to do the Baltimore Con, but, you know, people don't always reach out to you or respond to you when you reach out to them. So it just, you know, it is what it is. Okay. You, All right, you, guys, we're going to keep this We're gonna keep this moving. We don't want to hold them for too long. We're going to keep this moving. But we know we got to do it, guys. Tribe Zero, that rare, rare Tribe Zero. Now, this book right here is actually – rarer than any of the other tribes because by the time this is basically about five six years after the release of tribe one a lot of the a lot of the clamor had cooled down a little bit and as far as the distribution uh we were we were on really bad terms with diamond at the time you know almost like a personal non gratis <laughs> <laughs> and so, the logo it's not image yeah this is good comics it's like an inverted image Hey, I didn't pay attention to that. Right? You gonna leave me hanging? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay attention to that. Yeah, absolutely right. It's an inverted image. So that's three because it's a good comic. Actually, actually, it's a fish hook. Fish hook. Okay. All right, I can see that. It's a motel. Do not disturb hanger. <laughs> oh, nice. So this, what is it? this? Axis. Good this comic. Is, this is good comics. Axis Comics was me and Larry's company. Okay. And that was the company that we were forming almost exactly as soon as we got to image, the situation was so bad. We started, we, we, we basically started forming our company because we already knew we were leaving, you know, it just, it. It. so, oh, if you, you know, what, well, I'll show you something that most people have never seen it uh, to show you how early the situation was getting bad. Uh -oh. This, this is, this is tribe number one. And if you notice on the DJ booth right there, mm -hmm. what does it say in the corner of the DJ booth? What well, says click? It Hype. says Axis. Right, right over here. Oh, right you, gotta, you gotta put a little higher for us. A little higher for us. There, right, okay. Right there on the DJ booth, it says Axis. On the second, on the third panel. We d can you lift no, a little, fourth, uh, fourth little panel, I'm sorry. Todd, you have to put your finger on it because it's so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh wow, I was looking in the wrong spot. Okay, so I do see the axis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so, on the side. so that was you know the formulation of the company and all that kind of stuff was occurring right when this was released, you know. And there's there was always a whole bunch of stories about how you know, we were so late with number two and number three. Well, that, that you know, that's that's easy for them to say when you're holding all the money. <laughs> touché, touché. You know, that's easy for you to say when you're telling people in business not to deal with us or telling color is not the color of the book or letter is not the letter of the book. It's, it's real. It's kind of like when you have your hand on the... <laughs> You know, you have the hand on the movement of everything, then, but then you blame the other guy. You know. Put a mix out of it. Mm. Yeah, it's art. 
Tribe. Uh, so this is Tribe Zero, guys. We're going to open this bad boy for 30, and then we're going to get to some art. Tribe Zero, guys. So you're saying that, you're telling me that this is more rare, rare than the White Tribe. Yes. Wow. So the White Tribe has a uh, print run of 1,000. What is the print run of this one? This, the print run and this whole print run was about 30, 3,200, I believe. But no, no, actually, no. It was about 6,000. But the problem with this one is many of them were destroyed. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So uh, Darius asks, so chi I see your, uh, your 30 feet open. Darius asks, please tell us how you had boxes of tribe number four hiding in the attic in the attic uh that was a, that was basically because by the time tribe four was coming out you know me and larry had kind of reached the end of the line as far mm. as wanting to do it especially especially larry larry had to tell that story <laughs> so this book never got properly promoted or pushed out or anything you know you know the industry had changed a lot of things have changed Mm. You know, so yep. try, trying to get back out there on the road, and you didn't have your first, the same drive and the same energy, or you know, it's a, it was just a whole different story. Mm. So we have another question: What year is this book? This is from Mike Saratowski. Nineteen ninety-seven. Ninety-six ninety-seven. Ninety-six ninety-seven. G Donovan in the lead for fifty. Chi Chen fifty-five. This is moving, guys. You know, once we cross a hundred dollars, we'll get that spin. This is dual sign. This will be signed by Larry and Todd. I know what you're waiting for. You're waiting for them three letters. Absolutely. Rock and roll. What is the condition of this book? These are straight out the box men. I mean, these, are, these are brand new. That box, that box was open a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I got a question. Did you know those bad boys were there? Or was this more like a, oh, snap, I forgot. No, we, you know, I kind of knew some books were around. I didn't know what books, you know, I mean, okay. you know, it's like, I just, I mean, just to be honest, you know, I haven't thought about comics in, in probably, t you know, 20 years as far as doing comics as a profession or anything. And, you know, mm. Larry... Larry's been out there doing stuff, but we kind of have always just shelved tribe because we decided a long time ago there'd be no tribe without the both of us. So, so trying to align that creativity or even a mental state is like, you know, if I want to do it, but he doesn't, or he wants to do it and I don't, or, you know, we just decided a long time ago that that particular title would not see the light of day with both of us being on the same page. Understood. So following up on that tribe one, I mean, I tried, but Tribe Zero, Tribe uh, Three, amazing covers. The Ashcan, talk to me about that. How did that come about? Because that Adam Frank, I haven't even seen uh, a lot. I think I've seen one Ashcan physically at Schomburg, oddly enough. The Ashcan, the Ashcans came about because that was like. That was kind of a hot promotional tool back then. It was a preview book. It was like a little preview book, and a lot of a lot of the creators were doing it, and a lot of the creators out of the out of the company were doing it at the time. And the, a kind of an inside thing: there was a group of retailers at the time called the DL Group, and mm. that was some of the largest uh, uh, retailers of uh, Golden Apple and. Uh, mm. Jim, Han Jim Hanley's Universe and and Moon Dogs. Oh, these, wow. these, I love Moon Dog. These were all the big boys in the industry, and it's like it was almost like a little good old boy network, and they got first grab at almost everything. So, what happened was when when a creator was creating the book, you were supposed to deliver distribute your 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 ash cans to them, so they would be the only stores with them. Oh, wow. So that's what we were told, but then me and Larry are not very good at being told anything. So <laughs> we, we, we decided to keep the ash cans ourselves and we took them to conventions and, and oh. sold them ourselves. Gene Donovan, 85. Nice. Gene, you just so broke the clock. Were very, very limited. Most of the ash cans were only 500 copies. And I think we did a, a gray one. I think there was a purple one. And there yeah. was one that was kind of. Um, I think there was one other color, like a turquoise or something. There was a, there's a purple. There's yeah. three. There I've was seen turquoise. Three. There was a. It's like a pinkish one. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe maybe a pink one in there, and and basically all those different colors were launched at different shows, and they sold out at those shows. I know really? one was at the Motor City Con in Detroit. I I believe one of them was at WonderCon. I believe one it was at Chicago. You know, so we just because we were selling out, we decided to only have a certain number and and keep them sold at a particular show. And everybody was very mad at us because we didn't give them to the DL group. <laughs> they never got any. They never got any. We didn't give any retailers any. We wanted to sell them ourselves to to the people directly. You know. Okay. See, I always and tell no people. One. See, I always tell people you, you. You really can't make me do anything, <laughs> but you can negotiate with me to do something. G eighty five. That would be that's far more effective than you trying to make me do something. Touche. Yeah, and, and some of these things, some of these things, it's not like you're not being cooperative when you come to somebody's company and you and you're supposed to be doing whatever you're supposed to be doing, but none of this stuff was spelled out. You know, none of this stuff was told. It's just people giving you edicts and demands after, you know, it's like, what are you talking about? You know, you know, we didn't know anything about this, you know. Makes sense. So, Larry, I have two things for you. So, obviously, we're going to get into some artwork. It's 1030, 1020, we're moving in. Then we'll run that beautiful tribe sketch that you did. But I do have to ask this. Mm -hmm. So, Hank, you always say to me that Larry Stone was your first signing that you were on the street selling comics. Mm -hmm. But, Larry, you never explained to us what were you doing on the streets as well. <laughs> well where, where, were you, where were you selling the comics at? Uh, I was... Uh, Right by Union Square. Okay. What was I doing out there? Yeah, were well, you he, selling? He was, he was an artist. He was, already, he was already Larry Stroman. You know? No, I, I, I actually started off in New York City selling art on the street. And most oh. of the friends that I developed during the time that I was in New York were guys who were other artists that I met on the street. So being hanging around like that was kind of a normal thing for me. And I like travel. I was moving around the city constantly. So, shoot, I might have just come across this guy by accident one day. <laughs> I just happened to be. I have. I happened to be where he was at. You know. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. See this, see this, Hank. This is full circle, man. Thirty years. Full circle. There you go. There 30, you go. Thirty-two years. Thirty. I was about to say thirty-two. Thirty-three. Years. There you go. So yeah, Larry. Let's uh let's move a few more pieces of art, and we'll do that last tribal uh artwork. And then we'll get you guys out of here. Yeah. Oh, you mean some some that I'm showing? Yeah, by all means, let's do it. Oh, what? Is, hold on, hold on. We gotta give. We gotta full screen that one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's uh, the night crawler. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Oh, that is gorgeous. Uh, let me see what else I got here. Ooh, is that Miles? That's definitely Miles. Got it. And then, can you show the uh, the sketch that you did, the tribe sketch, please? I don't have that. I think Todd, you have that one. Todd has that one. Yeah. Hold. Let me let me grab that one. Oh man, that one. Is. That was that was my first speed drawing show that I did doing that one. Got it. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Yeah, this is eleven by seventeen. It's a full page. Wow, oh, that is gorgeous. So we're uh, what was that last one that you had, Larry? I saw you were gonna pull another one. I saw I saw you pulling another one. This was like, hold on, Batman. Oh, is that? Black and white, or is there a little purple in that one? That's black and white. It's just that's the purple just coming off on my uh, from my from my uh, computer. Copy. So I'll take those last ones. Got it. Thank you, Lakaya Allen. We're gonna run off. We're gonna run all four. We're gonna run all four. Don't do not fear. We're gonna run all four. We're gonna run all four. Starting first, it's Nightcrawler. Oh yeah. Nightcrawler on a Bristol Bristol board 11 by 17. I want this. 
11 by 17. Hank? Uh, yeah, like 100. That's yeah, gorgeous. That's that's nice. Open for 100. Can anybody open on this one? This is gorgeous. Then I got that one. Then I get the... Uh, let me add the... Uh, miles. So I don't have to come back. Let's take both. There we go. I'll just take both of those, both of those, both of those. Uh, one thing I didn't get to ask you, Larry. So obviously, Tribe, amazing. Your cover is amazing. Let's see if anybody is. How was it on X Factor? Uh, your run on X Factor was legendary as well. Ah. Well, I only did like what maybe six and a half issues of that. No, we had you had close to 11, 71 no, I, to 81, no. then I think like 84. No, no, I only did about yeah, four. I only did about four and a half of those, four and a half, maybe five if, uh, issues of that. Maybe you're talking about when he I came did, back I, to. I did a few covers, mm -hmm. and then I came back many years later and did a few more issues, and that was about it. Mm. People are asking for the miles. I gotta, I gotta show the miles, Larry. People are asking for this miles. Let's just, just give the people what they want. Yep. This miles is gorgeous, and this is watercolor as well. Yes. Oh man. See the blue, the blue color. That one has the blue color, but nothing else has the blue color. Like, <clears throat> Open it on. Hmm. Miles 11 by 17, open for 100. This Miles is sick. Makai, I see a one, but I'm assuming you mean Miles 100, buddy. One dollar? <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I'll... <laughs> yeah, you add 99 here. It'll be okay. You add 99 here, I'm assuming it'll be okay. But this is gorgeous. I know that I think Hank had asked you earlier about uh, if there's any artist that you like working with. I mean, not, if there's any character that you would want to work on. But in terms of for you, you've worked on tons of uh, characters and different covers. But is there one where they, where when you get to it, you just lighten up that you're like, this is the one where I enjoy okay. drawing or working on this cover? Start at the clock, guys. Um, shit, I can't really remember. <laughs> Uh, other than the tribe stuff, I can't. I can't really remember. <laughs> oh, oh! I did a devil dinosaur cover. Did which really? I would have to say is my favorite color that cover I've ever drawn. Oh wow! I gotta find that cover now. Devil yeah. dinosaur. It's devil dinosaur moon girl. I did, don't they have a TV show for that right now? Yeah. Was yep. that recently? Yep. How recent was that cover? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how many years ago that was. Okay, so it was a couple years back. Okay, okay, okay. Speaking of Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl, since they have the, uh, since they have their TV show coming out, I don't know if you guys heard, but they are. I don't want to say rebooting, but they're the same way how Tribe is continuing the well, series from issue, seconds. continuing the issue from uh, four X Men ninety seven. They're continuing their run. What do you guys think about that? The, oh, yeah, I've seen that being promoted. Yeah, classic cartoon, classic series, and they're continuing it. They're not really rebooting it. They're just continuing the story. I think it's going to be very popular. Makaya, you got that? I think I think they had my X Factor characters in one of those episodes. Really now? Yeah. Yeah, they used the Nasty the Boys, one? too. Yeah, and the Nasty Boys, which I created with yeah. the yeah. David. They had those in there, too. Nice. Look. In, in the original X Men series, and I didn't get any money for it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, did you get a firm handshake though? No, firm not even that. <laughs> not even that. Not even a letter that said thank you. Oh my gosh! So how does that work? If they take, uh, how could they put a character that you created in something because without your permission? They, because they're owned by Marvel. Work for hire. Work for hire. You created it, but they own the license. Yeah, yes. you're working on their behalf. Understood. Next up, Batman. Oh, that didn't, Allen, Hank. That didn't come out so great. Oh, yes. You can, yeah. This Batman is... Uh, mm. 
There we go. Batman, open for 100. Can anybody open? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Outstanding. Sorry, excuse me. See, I, I apologize. I didn't hear what you had said about the X-Men. Uh, shoot, I can't remember. <laughs> That's fine. That's absolutely fine. No worries. I know. Oh, actually, I take it back. Yes, you said they. Oh used no, the no, we were talking about the cartoon. Yeah. And um, I find it was kind of cool seeing you know when you see something that you've designed being moved around up on a on the TV screen, but you know, but then reality kicks in. And you say, yeah, but I didn't get any money for this. So it's bittersweet. So it's bittersweet. So, it, it, it's bittersweet. so that, that 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 definitely sucks in that regard. Item. Looks like this one is moving. So, guys, we're gonna run that beautiful that the one that we're here for. This one, oh, and this one you can see it on the um, YouTube video, right? Absolutely. Uh, this, I think it was on Instagram when uh, Larry was drawing it. Yeah, you can see it created straight from the pencil. This is gorgeous. So, this is Tribe Screen uh, Speed Sketch. Hank, talk to me. Uh, should we start to set uh 250? Larry, should we start to set 250? Oh, I don't know. Let's start at 200 then. Let's start at two. This is cover quality, guys. And this was uh also watercolor or uh was it uh, ink and uh brush? No, that's just pencil and ink. Pencil and ink. Uh yeah. uh India ink. And that's the first time any tribe team shot has been sold, period. What 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 are the chances that this can be a cover? You read my mind. I was gonna ask oh, that next. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this yeah, is like, Todd, of... like Todd said, this is a basically the first piece of tribe actual art. Wait, so I whoever gets this, this is getting ever, a one of one that would ever come up as one of the only ones ever. Wow. Know? Yeah, it probably won't be something that would be published because you know, you know, we're not gonna sell any of the published artwork. Of gotcha, course, of gotcha. course, of course, of course. All right, guys, we're going to start it at 200. Uh, Can anybody open? Yep, RT Ralph from YouTube said this is straight fire. First time ever the team was drawn on one page. This is sick. The significance. This is gorgeous. Somebody got my Rosalind, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Larry, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to hit you up again. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do it back to back. I, I need that Roslyn. <laughs> I need that Roslyn. Darius says, I'm taking it down. I, you know, I need that Roslyn. So, Darius, we're gonna, so, 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 Larry, we're gonna have to do it two for two. We gotta come back again. <laughs> Darius is taking it down. Darius is another one with his goodies. Next I, next I, time, I, we're gonna I, put, I like next time, it. we're also gonna put up some of Todd's art. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me find, so let me get this straight, Todd. You're a writer, DJ, a unicycle writer, and an artist. Uh, the art is not very good. <laughs> he, 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 he thought he's talking about the, the the really raggedy sketches I sent him for the, the, to explain the story. Oh my gosh! Which he always throws right into the garbage. I'm happy you brought that up. So how do, without giving away your secret, because obviously there's a secret sauce that made Tribe what it is. So how, how does your process work? Do you write something, write, you know, uh, write a thesis or write a layout first, Todd, and then uh, uh, Larry, you draw it out, or is it you guys together, you're sitting in a room, you, either do you draw we it Always, first? no matter what it is, we always talk it out. Every Got single, it. Every single time. Got it. There's never any mysterious stuff that I get, you know, where he tells me about this or that. I don't send him any mysterious drawings of anything. <laughs> it always is something that's talked about. Understood. All right, guys, the clock is running. We got uh, 40 seconds, mm -hmm. one bitter. So this is a true collab, collaboration between you guys. Always. Yeah. Well, that's great to see. That's definitely great to see. How did you guys meet, by the way? Thanks, that's my question. <laughs> we, we met through, uh, I owned a comic store called the Comics Cafe in, uh, in Detroit, and he was one of the first 
uh, may, uh, major guests we invite to a show. You got to type it on that. And then, uh, yeah, guys, 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 I'm going to bid, all right? Because I love this art. I'm bidding 250 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm bidding. This is me. That's my bid. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think you guys sorry, under, I don't think you guys understand the magnitude of that. So first off, Hank doesn't normally bid on stuff. <laughs> like, no, I, apologize, he, I apologize, Darius. He he doesn't like. There's been times where stuff goes away, and Hank just goes shit. And I'm like, what? He's like, I wanted it. Hank, because he's obviously the owner of his show, he doesn't bid. So for Hank to even yeah, everybody's like, wait a minute, Hank is bidding. This is so that means they got a chance to see it in the store. A hundred percent frame. So that means so this is going straight. Yep, Raymond Cox is absolutely right. It's been a good year and a half since Hank has bid on his own auction. Because this is not this is not my stuff. This is Larry's stuff. Yeah, this is not this is fire. This is absolutely fire. That is, you know, I wanted you to go home with it, but now I get to see it every day. <laughs> Fifteen seconds, guys. Now I get it's to absolutely see it every day. The composition, the blacks. Oh man, love it. So Hank, I have to ask you now. Where are you putting this? I gotta put it right in the gallery. Right up here. Right here. Okay. I gotta find room. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I dare? So, so Big Hank, take it. G Donovan <laughs> at the last moment coming in with twenty four ninety nine ninety nine, but unfortunately that is not a qualified bid. Right. It's like a Tyson uppercut. Pretty much. <laughs> right. Tyson uppercut. Yep, Mike. Uh oh. Uh, yep. 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 And I believe I got a steal here. Absolutely. Did you get a steal? Oh, man, that's a steal. Oh, Did my you get goodness. a steal? Ten, talk to me, Hank. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Very happy. Absolutely gorgeous. Guys, Thank you. it has been a pleasure, monumental pleasure, rocking and rolling with you guys. Cannot wait to see the final product of Tribe. So you said we're looking around June. June. For yep. And we'll have to do something fun where you, uh, you have something very exclusive. Listen, listen, listen. You and I are... We're definitely going to be in contact. I can guarantee you that. We definitely so got some things. Only, only sold at Bulletproof. We, we definitely got some things in the works. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Hank, anything? Yeah. Also, keep, keep us in the loop if you're going to be at Schomburg, and uh, maybe we could uh, arrange a signing here. Yep. Yep. I, that's that's in the plan. plan. That'd be that's fun. Uh, Rand, Randy's already plotting and scheming. Oh, How yeah, many no, stores no. do you have? Repeat that How again, many no, how many stores does he have? Big Hank? Uh, one. We have one. Two floors. Yeah. One, one store? One two. really good store. Touche. <laughs> God. The original store that you signed at, at uh, 32 years ago. Oh, cool. See, that's, that's right. history. We gotta, we gotta create some more history. And this time we gotta bring Todd. Because right. technically we didn't have a tribe, you didn't have a tribe signing. You had a Larry Stroman signing, but now you have to have a tribe signing. We got to get in town what, here. What, what was I doing at the time? Was that a, like Alien Legion or something? Or was that x uh, I, you know? I believe you did bring the tribe. You, you okay. brought the tribe. Oh, tribe. oh, okay. You wrote okay. a few copies. You were doing Alien Legion. I knew you from Alien Legion. And uh, I was a big fan. So I immediately told you how big, how big of a fan I was to uh, Alien nice. Legion. And uh, yeah, you showed up two weeks later. It was amazing. Thanks. Man of your word. Well, Gary Coates says, Hank, you hit us with the contra code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, select, start, A, B, A, B. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so, uh, so, Todd, I know that you're coming as a creator and, and a writer, but you, we got to have some music. <laughs> oh, you know, we'll probably be giving a party there on the on the. Set. Absolutely. Listen, we, we gotta, we'll talk. We got to roll this out properly. Oh, yeah. The final yeah. question from me, uh, how big is the... Uh, Tribe squad, how many people in the in the uh, we, we created 200 characters for the book, and obviously, with only four books, we never really got around to rolling everybody out. So, it is our intention that all of it will roll out. Wow, that's a lot, that's a huge team. Oof. Yeah, it's not, it's not like a core team because tribe, you know, it, it's it, you will, it, it, it's kind of, it's kind of going to be fleshed out slowly. That's fair. We'll take you for the ride. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, we for, are uh, excited coming by. Hey, we are honored to be on your channel, and thank thank you for everything, Randy, that you put together. To thank Darius out there, you know, putting things together, and Hank, it was a pleasure. 
Uh, pleasure to allow us. Thank you so much. Good. Hold on, Vorshan says this, he wants the the Nightcrawler. Absolutely, Vorshan, we can get that up for you. Absolutely, I got that Nightcrawler for you right now, baby. Hold on. Absolutely, absolutely, we get that Nightcrawler out for you. I'm sorry that the quality isn't better, but it is actually a better looking drawing when you see it in real life. What, what, was, the, uh, <laughs> what was the opening bit? 100, right? 100. 100. Wow, that's a steel too. Wow, that's gorgeous. We got we got to do one of these again. Listen, you are, you guys are always welcome. What the heck did I just type in? But yeah, Nightcrawler open for a hundred. Ooh, Vorto said I told him to ask for it. Well, listen, it's here. It's open for a hundred. Here it is. It's that Nightcrawler. Is it in the class? I think Vorshan and Lakai are talking in the same account to each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're talking to the same account to each other. So while that's going on, Larry, stop teasing. Please come back. So while that's going on, I'm happy you brought up Tyson. I got to I gotta pivot. It, it, what do you guys think about Tyson? Boom, 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 boom. Like, I, 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 um, I will not be watching it. I got to watch it. No, 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 no. This I, is my I, prediction, I, Randy. I'm hearing this. Let me hear it. My prediction is going to be a draw because the no. odds are 12 to 1 for a draw. No, nah, I don't want to draw. Yeah, but they're going to make a lot of money with a draw. Sure, it's and it's then they're going to have a second guy. fight. I, I, and, I, then I, I, and there'll be a second fight. Listen, <laughs> no. It, it, if, if, if it does not end in a Tyson knockout, it's fixed. Of yeah, course. It's, of course it's fixed. But it's already <laughs> fixed. <laughs> Saying what? There can't be a knockout. What? Yeah. You can't tell a beast like Mike Tyson. It's already in the contract. He can't knock him out. Then yeah. what are we watching? What are we it's turning into? You, you got to go read the rules. It's so weird and so fixed. It's, this is not a fight. This is an exhibition. This That's is an exactly. entertainment purpose. And, and he gets to wear headgear. Yeah, he what? gets to wear headgear. I think his brother also can fight in the fight. Yeah, he can tag his team his brother in. Okay, so this is wrestling then. Yes, it's, it's entertainment. No, I don't... Uh, this is not sport. This is entertainment. Oh. This is big time oh. wrestling. No movement on that night crawler. All right, all right. You know what? You know what was a better fight? Um, Nate Robinson. No. <laughs> Nagano versus AJ. Nagano versus wait, oh. AJ or Anthony Joshua? Yeah, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua that, knocked that, his ass out. It was a great fight though. That that you really didn't know who was gonna win. It was a real fight. Yeah. I mean, okay. In that case, you're absolutely right. Mike, sure. Mike, we Mike we won. We once, 30 years ago, put out a challenge to have a, 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 a fight against two other comic professionals. Wait, what? <laughs> this is news. Yeah, that's and, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> there was only two we said we wouldn't fight. Other than that, we never got an answer. So you, you put out a challenge to any uh, two, two, two creators? Well, this, was, yeah, this is when there was a lot of hype and bullshit, so we said that we're basically the baddest creators out here, and so that, he, and we could prove it and say it could. Darius, he's so except uh, for uh, except for oh, Mark. No, no one no one's on that problem. No, he said Warshan never been on it. Warshan was telling someone he was replying to someone that said Nightcrawler was nice. Yeah, so Darius is taking it. Oh, so, Darius is taking it. Okay, so we're running the clock officially. So. Okay, I thought that was a bid. Okay. No, no, no. So Darius will take it as officially as your bid for 100. So this is the Nightcrawler 100. But yes, guys, so going back to this. So so you put out a challenge to any two creators to uh, meet you in a ring? Yeah. 30 years ago. 30 years. Wow. Or, or was it a street fight? Street fight or a ring? Either one. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> I love Larry. Just very calm. No, I Either guess one. Larry was... Very tall and very muscular back then. Well, I mean, he's still tall. Yeah. See, the thing is, if you have a street fight, then you can step on people's toes, you can bite people, you know, all that kind of stuff. I can't believe I didn't ask you this, Larry. I apologize. If you if, if you saw in your thread the SR said about that fight, that's the other thing that Jake will not be tested, drug tested. Darius, congrats. Oh. That's insane. What? That's not a that's that's silly. This is insane. He, he will not be tested. That's part of the rules. You, you know what? You know he's gonna have performance enhancing stuff. 
This Absolutely. is a circus. It's not a fight. It's a circus. Yeah, this is this is buffoonery at the highest level. But Mike is going to be tested. I don't even want to watch this. I, I'm going to go to sleep during this. See, I'm gonna go to sleep I, during I originally this. started by saying I wasn't going to watch it. Yeah, but you this said, is, no, no, no. I got to watch this. Well, because <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. But then when Todd started to bring – this is Todd's fault. This is the unicycle here. Once he started to bring out more information about it, I was like, wait, this is horrible. I, I, talk, uh, Larry, before I let you go, because we are running over, I do have to ask you this. I'm shocked that you have not drawn a uh, a sketch of a uh, timeless Luke Cage with your face on it. Huh? No, he's talking about <laughs> the, the Luke Cage with, with the beard. You remember the Luke Cage with the beard? Oh, oh. That's you timeless know, I just, Luke. I just saw that character for the first time. I didn't even know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we, that's timeless Luke Cage. He has the power of Iron Fist, a uh, Hulk, and everything. And we don't want to get into it. But when I saw that, I said, "What the heck are they making this off character off of Larry Strowman?" We did a whole four issue treatment of Luke Cage, kind of a year one thing. Mm. And, and we were told we were told that uh, Michael Bendis had Brian Michael Bendis and stuff. Nobody could touch Luke Cage at the time. That was right right when he ended up using him all through the Avengers and everything else. Oh wow. Mm. Okay, that's insane because that would be amazing. I mean, you, it looks like it's taking right after you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. That's insane, guys. Nonetheless, all right, you. gentlemen. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We definitely got to do this again. We will talk soon. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Take care, on. guys. Enjoy. Have a good night. All right, all right guys. Gonna. Uh, go back to the uh, originally scheduled programming. Uh, wh what else do we have? We got that Batgirl, Pat Swap. <laughs> it's been Bat quiet for so long. Oh, no, no. One? no, we got only. No, uh, no, we got way more. Did we run the uh, Scotty Young? Nope. No. no. Just slap. Let me move on. Put back out the way. I just didn't want to ruin your mojo. You were having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Good questions, man. Very Told you I was prepared. Very prepared. So. I wanted to do this right at 8.55, but the mojo got going, so I didn't want to interrupt. Um, so these are the 20s that sold so far. Two, three, four, five. Old Silver Age guy. I think it was six. Where was the thing? And guys, do not do, do One, not fret. Four, I did not forget about the Sphinx, and if you want try books, we still have them. Okay, so these are still, so, so the ones that... And we do have some more artwork, too. We do Absolutely. have some more artwork. Absolutely. All right, so yeah, 20 more? You have three more. Eleven by seventeen. I got the other ones that I didn't yeah. pull up. Right. That. So the twenty flips that sold is number one, four, five, six, eight, and ten. Okay. We still have two, three, seven, and nine available. So number one for Adam Frank, you're okay. getting Daredevil twenty-seven, nice Silver Age. That's Dean, you're getting number four, oh, also okay. Daredevil number thirty-five. Oh, that, that was okay. Number five, Gene, also you're getting Daredevil fifty-eight. A couple of Daredevils in here. No, number six no. for Joshua, you're getting 54. Seems to be Daredevils. Uh, number eight for V Rob, another Daredevil, 45. And finally, Adam getting Daredevil. Looks like it's all Daredevil Silvers in here. We still have two, three, seven, and nine. Okay. So, so let's do uh, let's do the Scotty Youngs first. Uh, let's do the raw. So we do have the 9.6. Uh, signed by Scotty Young in gold. We're gonna run that after the raw. So we're gonna do the raw first. This was this, this could be only gotten from uh, Scotty, Scotty Young's website. And this is a foil cover, guys. <laughs> Deadpool number, um, what number is this? I think oh, it's number the, 45. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the Mexico foil. Right, Mexico. But what is the uh, name of it? It's the um, yeah. it's Deadpool 45. So this is from Panini Mexico Publishing, Simon Scotty Young. Uh, oh, this is the El, El Quinto Mundo. Gene Donovan right. got a beautiful question. What's the aggro? Yes, yeah, so it went down. <laughs> Gene Donovan's a beautiful question. What's the egg roll? What do you want to open it for, Hank? Uh, that one, let's open at 50. I think the, the cheapest you could find in uh, Scotty Young's website is 50. All right, all right. For what? For, this, for that one? Good. Absolutely. Now, what is it? Uh, image call. Run the jewels. Run the jewels. So yeah. that's my man, Killer Mike. Killer Mike just won a, uh, what? He won three? Yeah. The three grins? No, 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 no. This is uh, I forgot the other gentleman's name, but run the jewels. Uh, he had the album of the year, mm -hmm. and he definitely deserved it. Mm -hmm. Michael, where's the remote? Can you have the remote? Can you have the remote? Come on, this in front of you. 
I'm blind. <laughs> uh, this is this high grade. It looks to be high grade. I mean, this is a take it out of the uh, bush on Deadpool 50. This will come in a uh, this will come in a top loader. It looks high grade. I, I do not see any ticks, dents. And it's all black. Your too, so your, your good old near mint book. Delicious. Okay, V Rob, uh, AJC are fifty, but V Rob has the opening bid. So guys, definitely, like I said, run the jewels. It's a group with Killer Mike and uh, DJ, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot his name. Uh, my man just won three beautiful Grammys, well deserved. Uh, had the album of the year. Even if he didn't win, he definitely had the album of the year. Michael was a banger. Loved it. Amazing. AJ for fifty five. Going to restart the clock. As, as Killer Mike always says, Fat Boy can spit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Killer Mike is dope. Killer Mike is a beast. No, he's a uh, he's like a right hand man to uh, Bernie Sanders. Killer Mike? Yeah, he was. Uh... Bernie didn't know what he was doing. No, he knew what he was doing. He just had too many people against him. No, nah, he never he never properly without going into politics. He never explained how he was going to do what he was going to do. And on top of that, it was Trump. Yeah, he wasn't going. How he's going to pay for it? Yeah, how are we going to have free every this? How are we going to do that? You got, you got to come from somewhere. It was like, yeah, no, no. But yeah, AJ in the lead for 55. Kill Mike, that's that's my guy. Gene, there is not, uh, not to my knowledge, there is no high bidder incentive tonight. But everyone who purchased, guys, keep in mind, every purchase over 50, everyone that purchased during the tribe power hour is going to receive a uh, tribe trading card, rare, rare tribe trading card pack. Chocolate got you. Don't worry about it. Is there a high bidder? Gene, go away. You got my Rosalind. Got your high bidder right here. <laughs> AJ will be taking this down for 55. AJ. Hank the, uh, the slab, 9-6. 9-6. Uh, one six. Uh, AJ, 55. Man took my rods, but don't worry. All right, before I run this, let's catch up with all the spins. Good call. Yeah, let's knock that out. And then I'm going to give the uh, the update on the flips and the boxes as well. Mm. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So the first one to get hey. here. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, you guys got to keep track of. Uh, I got it. Hold the uh, Larry Summers. I already did it. So uh, Gene for Rosalind 270. AJ signed by Scotty Young. All right, so you're getting a what's the DC sketch? What? What DC sketch, Hank? Hank, you put that there. DC sketch. Yeah, DC sketch. Mm. That's not my handwriting. I don't That's actually that. my handwriting. But why the hell is that there? Shit. Sketchbook. Is that a sketchbook? Damien Scott? No, that's DS. I don't know. DC sketch. I'm not gliding. That's the first time I'm having a brain blast. Me too. I truly don't know. Look, uh, let's make it easy. Let's make this easy. Scotty Young book, Scotty Young. No, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's not right. Uh, Why you say that? You guys will have to figure that out. I'll do the next spin in the meantime. Hold on, hold on. we got to erase that because I don't want to. I don't know what that is. We don't have no sketch. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. DC. Ah, Mike Satowski, DC Santa Darius Crossman. Have him draw something. <laughs> Who's this been for? Uh, Gene. Gene Donovan? Yep. Oh, I don't care. He has my Rosalind. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what this DC sketch is. Gene, here's what we can do. We can give you something, or we can erase it and spin again, to be fair, because we don't know what the heck that was. We apologize. I was more focused on the tribe signing. I apologize, Gene. So we can spin again and erase it, or we can give you Gene something. Gene says, what's the litho? Oh, no, we have litho. Back? We have litho. That's him. He wants to know what it is. Oh, so the, um, uh, um, the lotto Dr. Dr. Strange. Strange. AJ, I see you put 150, but it's gonna op the opening is 175. Hank, hold on. Is it nah. Now what? It's two options. Either we give you a mystery, which is whatever we choose, or we erase it, spin again. 
because we don't have. I apologize for the DC sketch. He says just spin it again. Okay. Okay, so we gotta erase that before it lands on it again. You know, we gotta be fit. Gotta be fit. We gotta erase this. And I'm right-handed, so the fact that okay, a racist for what? What we got? Uh oh, I know what we could put a tribe card. Nice. A trading a tribe trading card. This is permanent marker. This is permanent marker. All right, sorry about that. I guess the mic was a little far away. AJ, no, the opening bid is 175 for this. I see your 150. I'm just catching up with all the spins. Once I'm done with that, we can go back to auctioning the slab. This is not the permanent marker, I believe, right? You're really wide ones. Hey, yo, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for uh, after Gene's getting one, uh, Darius is getting one. Darius should get like two. No, Darius is getting, yeah, two. I'm going down the list. Well, Darius yeah, yeah, gets yeah, yeah, one, yeah. and then Hatlakaya Allen gets one, then yep. Darius gets another one. Yeah, yeah, that's All right, good. So Gene, we're so spinning it for you again. We replaced it with tribe cards, the uh, trading card packs. If it lands on that, I'm gonna be upset. Poster. If it lands on poster. that, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Gene's getting a poster. Gene, we got posters. I'm always prepared on that. We got posters. All right, I'm just gonna spin the next one because uh, we're, we're we are running quite late. We're good. Uh, Darius is the next one. Gene, winner's choice. Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen Smash poster. Immortal Thor number five poster. Winner's choice. Winner's choice. Darius is getting Lynn's box. Oh, that's not my handwriting either. That's, you know my handwriting is shit. What is it called? Lens box. Lens box. Before Lens. every auction, we gotta audit this wheel. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah. Before every auction, we gotta audit this wheel. Yeah. Like, let's just spin it again. It doesn't exist. Absolutely. Before every auction, we gotta audit this wheel. Because if it lands on something that we don't have, I have to erase it. box was probably when you were when you uh, were sick or when you were no when you were celebrating with uh, Genie. Hank's pack. Hank's pack. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. All right. Uh-oh. Gene, talk to me. Spider Gwen Smash, Thor number, Immortal Thor number five. What are you taking? And then Darius, uh, Hank's going to get something for you, and the next one is for LaKea Allen. Because if not, I'm going to pick for you, buddy. Can you see them? They're rolled. They're sealed. LaKea is getting an egg roll. Egg roll. And then Darius' the second egg roll, uh, second wheel spin. By the way, guys, our, one of our egg rolls is going to be a tribe number one, the black one, Dream dual off. sign. Dream Dream oh, wow, Darius is getting an egg roll too. Dual sign and uh, egg roll got. Dual sign and egg roll. Gene said neither. Dual sign, well, then, okay. Dual sign and remark. That's going to be our egg roll, guys. And this. This is Darius this is from the Hanks pack. Darius from Hanks pack. You're getting Batman TMNT. This is the red cover. Lakaya Allen and Darius are also getting an egg roll. Second place. Second place for egg roll. Are you? Not bad, right? Hank, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Good. Nice. Good. 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 So who got egg rolls? Lakaya? Lakaya and Darius. So Darius gets another and one. And this is uh, Darius's free uh, from Hank. Outstanding. And we owe Gene something, but he yeah. said he doesn't want it. All right, we're caught up on we're caught up on the spins. Let's auction this. Gene, how, how about we give you another egg roll? That I was about to say. Let's do Gene and egg roll. Give Gene, egg you want another egg roll, bud? You okay with that? You think he doesn't want a poster? All right, here we go. This is opening for one seventy five. We are finally caught up with everything. If you said no to that, you're done. Mm -hmm. AJ it. says he wants two egg rolls. AJ, two egg rolls. And then Lakaya Island egg roll, Pat. Uh, a wheel egg roll, yep. So Darius has one, Lakai Allen has yes. one. Yes. Okay. Oh, Gene is excellent. He'll take it. Okay. So okay. Gene gets an extra egg roll. Darius gets an extra egg roll. Lakai Allen gets no. Lakai Allen gets an egg roll. Lakai and Darius both get a wheel egg roll. Yeah, egg roll. That's what I need. Wheel egg roll. Everybody gets an egg roll. Yeah. Everybody gets an egg roll. Egg roll. Tom Demiser. Oh. Yeah, I, I missed it. Tom Demiser from YouTube. He got the Black Panther one. Yes, he did. To... Tom got that. I'll just spin it because no one's been bidding right now. So. For Tom, uh, the Black Panther one with the background. He bid on that? He got 115 for it. Yes, yes, he did. He gets a mystery. Mystery. So I'm Hank's going to get a... Uh, nah, I'm not going to do that. Hank's going to fetch something for you, Tom? I can't open... Guys, keep in mind, these posters are sealed. 
and rolled. If I open them, I feel the integrity of them. All right, no one bid on it. Hank, AJ is asking if we have this in 9-8. We do. No. No, we don't. We don't. All right, so uh, so no movement on that. Uh, Randy can take that down. Gotcha, buddy. Right, just... No movement on this? No. So, uh, uh, Schomburg. Schomburg. Schomburg, this is going to fly. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Uh, AJ bid 175, okay? He brought it back. On oh, this? He wants it back. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, 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 he knows that. That's what I was like, you know, all right. This is signed by Scotty Young. He never signed. You don't understand, Hank. The significance. Yeah. Like, I keep Killer Mike just won the Grammy. Right. This is his. Killer Mike has been trying to win a Grammy for a minute. He's an older gentleman. He's like, he's a veteran. Yeah. He's not a, front, a young guy. He won three Grammys. But, so, that alone, with the fact that Scotty Young signed, for culture, this is a big book. It's like when the Marvel voices hit. If you know, you know. Yeah. That's why I'm like, okay, we'll fly. Schomburg, this is gonna fly. So I was like, okay. Gene, the the tribe book that you won was fifty bucks. Yeah, he doesn't get a spin for that. I went down my list. You didn't get it. It's not over a hundred. He knows. He's laughing. <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah, he knows. He tried. Yeah, he, he, he exactly. He tried. I tell you what, Gene. I'll give you four spins. You want to talk? Let me stop. No, I don't. I'm not doing that. Okay, AJ, you ready for 175? I got a connection. AJ, yeah, congrats. That's a good win. Absolutely. No, I don't. Darius says Oprah gets a big roll. Wow. Wow. I'm good. I'm so good. I don't want the roll. All right, AJ taking it down. AJ taking it down. AJ taking it down. 75. I'm going to go ahead and spin for you. AJ said you mentioned something about bids over 50. Yes, bids over fifty get a, tri a tribe card. No, no, bid during for only for the lo the Larry Strowman item. Yeah, bids over fifty get that's that. He's getting a tribe card oh, for AJ. <laughs> yeah, for for this. Yeah, why not? All right, there you go. Power hour, baby. There you go. All right, Hank, AJ won this for how much? One seventy five. One seventy five. Condition and price, Hank. That's a fine copy. It started at five hundred. That's a first appearance. Harley fine. That's Fine. Copy unpressed. Yeah, hey, that looks better than mine. Open. Back at the beach. Oh, that's all right, Hank. That looks better than a fine. <laughs> Hank, you know I gotta ask you every auction. How you doing on presses? Oh, well, Hank, not taking any submissions. <laughs> you say you cannot. I gotta, I gotta finish John Brown. Holy crap! John Brown, yeah, he's been waiting four months. Hank, you gotta get some uh. Top print. That's right. You gotta get some printer. I brought more uh. Yeah, but where you gonna put them? And you, you gotta be running. You, you're not an octopus. How many arms you gotta have? <laughs> you're not an octopus. You're gonna be wired on Death Wish Coffee. Holy right. crap! First Harley Quinn. This is Batman Adventures uh, number twelve. Ooh. Batman Adventures twelve. This is a fine copy. It is unpressed. It's opened for five hundred. With Loman. And the reason it's fine is because there is a crease in the back. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hank. Technically, you get a spin. Do you want it? <laughs> I'm just saying, technically, you got to spin. Should it go to you? Or who was who was bidding against you? Should it go to the person who was bidding against you? Darius open. Darius, Darius. Like, how you want to do that? Because technically, you got to spin. It's a 250 for the trial. That's true. That's true. So what you want to do? You don't have to, but. Maybe Darius. Darius gets a free spin. Well, Darius gets a free spin. <laughs> go ahead and do it. <laughs> go ahead and do it. Shit. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying, you do. You technically. Rules are rules. All right, Darius gets a free. Oh, <laughs> no. Wow! It's night tonight, baby. I think, I think Pat got the. Uh, Pat got the spin. No, I'm not spinning the rest of the. No. Night. I'm not spinning next <laughs> week. Get the magic. I'm not spinning next Bob, week. you got the magic touch. All right, no moving on on the back row. Call Jason. Agro, agro, agro. Okay, should we should we start doing the? Wait, agro? no movement on the back row. On the Harley yeah, one. Sorry. We got, we got him. Wow, Logan Chichen. All right, let's go to the next item. What's the next, next item? item? No, that's it. Uh, that's it. Egg roll. Egg roll. All right, so final call, guys. So the this is still the 20 flips remaining. There's still some Silver Age Daredevil in there. Uh, number two, three, four, seven, and nine. And for the hundred uh, mystery boxes, we sold two. From uh, we sold three last week, two today, and uh, if we don't sell the rest tonight, we'll sell two more next week, hopefully. Absolutely. I'm it's, shocked that the, the lotto stayed. Uh, there's the Delato Cosmic set, and there's the Bronze Age Horror. Once those sell out, we will do the private spin. Adam Otherwise... Frank, what about the reign of, what about the oh, reign of Superman? Oh, Hank, uh, this binder, what do you want to do about this? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the binder. Good call, Hank. Yeah, sorry about that. Go ahead. 
That uh, she says, can, she says, can the crease be pressed out uh, on the well, Harley? Most of it. Most of it. Most of it, she. Well, well, what would you say will be the optimal grade? Grade with the press? press. VF. VF? That's so nice. All right. Uh, Rashad says, Chi, uh, 20 flip number two. 20 flip number two for Rashad. All right. So, number two, you're going to get FF86. Rashad, wow, FF86. That. That's a Dr. nice Doom. book. Dr. Doom. That's Rashad. Rashad, let me take right. show, show, show the uh, signatures on that. So, this do does it. come with the pen. You're going to do a close up. Do a close up. I have to move that. Move the guy. So this come with a pen, and you can see there's a trading card as well. This is all part of the Reign of Superman, right. and you're going to see a bunch of uh, Superman-related titles on it. I'm going to flip it, all right? So here. Right, I'm bringing it to the middle. Pen is pretty rare. I've never seen that pen. Really? Uh, yeah. This one has one, two, three, four, five signatures. It's number 640 out of 10,000. It's on the white bag. And then individually, each one is signed by the uh, respective artist. Uh, I guess this is Bognanovich. Bognanov. Uh, Grummet, mm. uh, Gweiss, uh, is it uh, Gweiss? Yeah, but it's his name, and then Jurgens, Dan Jurgens. Oh, All wow, right, so you get the whole thing. So you fat. get the whole thing, the whole thing that's not bad. It comes in, it comes with the binder, guys. And each one comes with a certificate of authenticity from dynamic, dynamic forces. And uh, Pat, I, I, you said there were some trading cards in here as well. It's the first page. Oh, so trading cards on the first page. Just the first page. And, and, and pins. The, and the, and the pin. pin is wearable. Very rare, guys. That pin is great. I've never seen it. What do you want to open this for, Hank? Let's open that at 200. Okay. Pat, you're a pin collector. How many things is there? Pat? The the one with a... One, two, three, four. There's five. Uh, the you know first what? one has none. You know what? Let's open it at 150. Superman open binder opening for 50. Okay. Superman binder opening for 150. Pat, you're a pin collector. Talk to me about pins and... Rarities and whatnot. I'm 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 not into that yet, but I've seen a few. I only collect two specific pens. Well, oh, Adam Frank opened it for 150. I only collect sorry three specific pens. Okay, Destiny pens, okay. Scotty Young pens, and any gaming pens that I like to buy. So I've got Uncharted, mm. um, Horizon Zero Dawn, Dishonored, uh, the uh, PS4 Spider-Man pen. Stephen, why I see your 150, but Adam has the opening for 150. Again, you are getting the binder with all these books. A lot of them have multiple signatures. They have the COAs. You're getting the pin and you're getting the trading card. Okay. So let me, how do you, dis, like, I see people that like, have bags and like binders. How do you, dis, uh, is there a proper way to display So things? it's up to you. It's all, I mean, Lynn puts his in his croc, Crocs, right? But that's the same. Those are like giblets for a Crocs, yeah, no? uh, You can put pins on those too. Bowman, okay. so the two boxes remaining is Delato, uh, Delato's and uh, Bronze Age Horror. Yeah. Uh, so there, people can put them in cork boards. Um, I, I put them on cork boards. Uh, you can put them on, you know, whatever, however you want to display it. But I personally, I like to put them on cork boards. Last question: Is there a grading for pins? Wait, Adam, no. I put the, the I put down the bid for Stephen. Okay, so Seven it's Stephen. So it's Stephen. Adam is Adam was bidding for Stephen. So okay. I'll just count Stephen then. Got it. He said he didn't know Stephen was still here. Got All it. right, so Stephen Wise so taking Stephen a Superman Wise binder. Down. Superman binder for one fifty, one and you're gonna get the spin as well. Let's see if his uh, past magic continues. What? I'm not spinning. No, 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 no. I stopped it. I stopped it. No, no, I'm not spinning. I'm not spinning. I'm not spinning. I'm not spinning. You can't stop it, though. You can't stop it once you spin it. You got to spin that again. You can't stop it once you spin it. I just said it. I'm not spinning again, and then I just did it. Just and now you got to spin autopilot. twice. I just I was on autopilot. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Superman binder, 150 for Steven. Steven, I was like, we all were like, no! Sexual sack. Sexual sack. <laughs> <laughs> Superman book. We'll find a Superman book for you. We'll find I don't a have Superman a Superman book. book. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Dean, unfortunately, I am not I parting have, with any. Okay. Uh, so Hank's gonna get get a Superman book for what you. Is Steve, Gene, what's that? He says, "Do I have any Scotty pins? I'm willing to part with. I am not selling any of my Scotty pins. I, I, I'm, I'm not even sorry about it. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> no, it's okay. You got the Rosin. I'm, I'm salty about the Rosin. Okay. Mind you, uh, Loman said some... Loman is taking the initiative. He says, if someone takes a Delato, he'll take the horror." Ooh. For the mystery, he wants to close it out. Let me just show you guys what the prizes are tonight. Again, it's winner's choice. So first, uh, well, not first place. Anyway, first prize, you're getting both the first appearance of White Vision and first appearance of Kamala Khan. The second place is Spider Gwen uh, number one. This is a Comic Kings recalled version. The reason it's recalled error because the title is not doesn't have the white outlining. So uh, seven chances, and if you win, you cannot. Uh, your name will be taken out to give someone else a chance to win. This is a Steven. 
Is it Delato? Delato? Black Ooh. and white? Look rare. at that. Superman. You're getting the Superman Delato? Rare. Along with the binder. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the binder. Absolutely. And guys, for those that bought Tribe Goodies, tomorrow said, uh, I will confirm the CGC if it's a yay or nay. That's why I did not advertise on purpose because I will confirm tomorrow. Either myself or Hank will reach out. We'll confirm. AJ said, um, nice Superman grab. And Steven Weiss says, thank you, Hank. Really oh, nice yeah. pick. AJ says, sweeten that deal for the Delato. I might grab. Tell you what, remind me to bring something for you next week because I sweetened it for mix one and two. So I'll, I'll throw in another, something for that. Mm. If you want to grab it, AJ. I'll grab, I'll add something to that. Uh, otherwise, let's get started with the egg roll tank. Yep, I'll do it. You have the photos? Yes. Photo number one is already uh, in, in there. It's the tribe one. Which signed is and remarked. Which is this this one? Yep. So egg roll number one is it's that signed, signed and remarked. And egg roll two. Egg roll two. Oh, Pat, Hank just gave it to me. Yeah. What the hell? Which is what? No, okay, AJ says I'll take it if Loman is getting the horror. So we're closing out the private box. Closing boxes. it out. What the hell? Oh, this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna write a reminder on my uh, okay. on my sales notebook to bring something for no, you. We got it. No, we look for the the box. All right, so uh, the Delato Cosmic Sex for AJ. So you're getting Annihilation Nova 1 through 4. These are all Delato covers. Mm. A lot, uh, number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. So that's just part 1. Next up, you're getting Annihilation Ronin, also 1 through 4. Hmm. 1, 2, 3. Four. So those are that was the Ronin. You got the Nova. You got the Ronin. Next up is Silver Surfer. Also one through four. These are all part of the Annihilation series. And then you have Super Scroll. So you're getting sixteen Delato books. Super Scroll one, two, three, four. Very nice. That's going to AJ. So not only are you getting books, you're getting a nice set. There you go. AJ. AJ. And then for Loman. So, it's, so they're, they're all individual uh, non duplicates. You have Tomb of Dracula, number 62. Already starting off with a vampire. Next up, we have Tomb of Darkness, number 20. The, oh. the Skeletor wannabe. <laughs> we have Adventure into Fear, number 23. Morbius, a living vampire. And we have Marvel Presents, number two, Bloodstone. This is the second appearance of uh, not Elsa Bloodstone, but her predecessor. Then we have <laughs> Chamber of Chills, number 19. Some kind of monster on the cover, but that's the whole point of Bronze Age Horror. For sure. Then we have Astonishing Tales, number 22, featuring gargles and golems. Then Strange Tales, number 174, featuring golem. Mm. Number 14, we have Marvel Spotlight on the Son of Satan. And then uh, we have Ghost Rider, number 42. And finally, we have Creatures on the Loose, feet, uh, number 31, Man Wolf. So those are those were the Bronze Age horrors for Loman Dunn. This is for Loman Dunn. Our good buddy Loman. All right, so I'm going to add the private uh, the uh, private spin wheel on picker wheel. Oh yeah, let's get that wheel spun. All right, I have the names for today and last week. I'm starving. Yep, yeah. Uh, let's see. So last week. Okay, so AJ has one. And then Adam Frank has one from last week. S and B one from last week. And then today, uh, Adam Frank has another one. And then AJ has a second one. AJ has a third one, and Loman has one. So that's all seven. Nice. Just repeating it. AJ has three. Adam Frank has two. S and B has one, and Loman has. Oh, because from last week as well. Yep, yep, yep. And I didn't share. Ah. I didn't share the screen. Hold on. Okay, so let me show the prizes in the front. Uh, before I do the egg roll after this, I will uh, just give out the 20 flip numbers again. Okay, so let me just uh, hide this wheel real quick. So the prizes, you have the spider Gwen vari uh, error, uh, error recalled variant or the two first appearances. Uh, Adam, no, AJ has three, so you got the most boxes. Tell, Give us a number one to ten. We'll shovel that that many times. Uh, Ramey Cox is asking if you got his egg roll. 
No. I got it down. Oh. All right. He said seven shuffles. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you've won, your names will be taken out to give someone else a chance. All right, AJ, take it Raven, Raven Cox, I'm getting your egg roll. Okay. Fareed, I see you. So, AJ, I'm going to go ahead and take your three names out. Three more chances for everybody. Better odds. And you get to pick, AJ. So, you get to get the first, the two first appearances or the variant. Oh, the, let me just show it close up again. So, you're getting a Spider Gwen variant. This is the recalled from Comic Kings. With the uh, no highlight, uh, no white outline on the title, or you get both first appearances of uh, White Vision and Kamala Khan. Darius, this thing was for the users, people who bought the uh, mystery box. The people who bought the mystery box. Was there a Black Panther mystery box? No. Okay. Uh, AJ said, "Of what? What are the prizes of what? Uh, maybe I'm not speaking loud enough. So you get either." One the the error variant or the two first appearances. These are together. They're not separate. You're getting them both together. Okay, so he's getting both first appearances. Going to AJ. Nice. We're just gonna go ahead and put that in your box. And then can you give us another number uh, for the next spin? Which one take? Oh. <clears throat> oh, all right. AJ said, "What would I have chosen?" Um, there, there, you can't go wrong with either one. You can't go wrong with either one. I would have picked both if I had, if I could. All right, so nine spins. Good luck to the next person. Everybody, uh, Adam has two odds, and Gene and Loman both have one each. So nine shuffles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Adam Frank. Take it down. AJ and Adam, we'll take it down. Congrats, congrats. This is not part of the triple threat. This is its own separate private wheel. So you can add us to Adam's box. Adam Frank. Adam Frank. Adam says, I won't win. I never win when I have the high numbers. And then he wins. <laughs> Look at that. Congrats to all the winners. All right, let's do the egg rolls. Um, or Randy, read off to me the numbers when you can. And Darius then we'll has the one. That he bought. That he... Darius has one. Okay. And then he has two from the Joker. Gene has one. Two from the Joker. Okay. Who's next? Gene has one. And then one from the Joker. Okay. Kai Allen has one from the Joker. V Rob has one. After Lakaya Allen, we have V Rob. Okay. Yep. Fareed has two. Okay. AJ won one from the uh Adam Frank won one from the, no. Who? Actually, Gene got three. Gene has three. Yeah, because he won one from the $10 for the egg roll. This okay, this SMV morning. Joker. Yeah, so he has two from the wheel okay. and one that he paid for. Yeah. AJ has one. V Rob, Raymond Cox has one. Everyone I'm saying just has one. And Fareed has two. Okay, so let me read it yeah, top to bottom. Said. Let me read it top to bottom. So Darius to has one and he got two from the wheel. Copy. Gene has one, one from the wheel and one from the Joker card. Correct. Lakaya Allen has one. V Rob has one. Farid has two. AJ and Raymond also have one. Correct. Okay, it's all on your hand. You got four shots for one. Yeah. You got uh, Darius for one. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well. Oh, uh, uh, Raymond says, says we got egg rolls. LOL. Uh -huh. Raymond Cox says cancel my egg roll. It's not going through. Cool. Raymond, Raymond Cox. Cox. Okay. So you can pay him tomorrow, Raymond. If you yeah, you don't. Have, it doesn't have to be tonight, Raymond. We know you're good for it. Adam Frank, but I'll take a free egg roll. Just oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so hey, uh, again, the prizes tonight. Uh, the first prize is the Tribe One, double signed by uh, Todd. Todd what? Todd Johnson. Todd Larry Johnson Stroman. and Larry Strowman. And, and remarked by Larry Strowman. There you go. Keep uh, that in mind. Raymond Cox says, "Take it out, okay." And then the second prize is ASM number 361, the first appearance of Joker. I mean, uh, it's here. Carnage, I can't give it to you. Of Carnage. This is the direct edition. So that's the second prize. AJ is asking, what's the third prize? Guys, you know my routine. We got to unlock that tier if you want to do it. I, I, I'll tell you what right now. How many do you sell? 11. We, we, 11. Oh. I need the third prize will be a white tribe 
double sign? Not going to happen. We got to sell like at least 25. I was going to say 35. Hey. Well, 35 in total. If we hit that number, then we get there. That would be third. That'll be third prize. That's what we need to unlock it. Right now we're at what, 11? We need 25 more. And then we get a third prize. If you want it, that's 24, 24. All right, Jason, well, 24. Frieza, Frieza, Jason will take one. Frieza Frieza have one. Yeah. Okay. What's the third prize? You guys gotta ask around third prize when you're like 20 egg rolls in. Yeah, we're only at 12. <laughs> we're only at 12. We're at 12. Mind you, I can't say that because last week, Hank, we were at 10. Bump the numbers up, we got to 35. Right. This is what we this is what I do. Bump the numbers up. All right, I'm just going to read it one more time. I'm going to show. I'm going to say the prizes again, and then I'm going to sh uh, show the wheel again. So the wow. first prize again. Matthew Seabrook, the big one on is actually. It's tribe one. Yeah. This is the black cover. It's, uh, it's going to be double signed by Todd Johnson and Larry Stroman. It will also be remarked by Larry Stroman. Yes. And, and, and the <laughs> second prize is ASM 361. This is the first appearance of Carnage Direct Edition. That's the one. Um, Jason one. Nice. I'm sure. All right, and uh, I don't see any additional comments. Uh, AJ says I have another. Okay, another what? Uh, I think he wants another one. So AJ is two. Uh, okay, guys, remember anyone who bought a tribe book, look out for a messaging from me tomorrow to discuss CGC. No, he meant I'll have another. Not I have another. Copy, copy. Okay. So we are at 13. I've already, I'm, I'm going to read the wheel again. Darius has three total, one that he got, and two from the joke, from the spinning wheel. Gene has three total, one that he bought, one from the wheel, and one from the $10 flips. Mm. V-Rob uh, V Rob has one. Lakaya Allen has one. Fareed has two. Uh, AJ has two. And Jason Frieja has one. Did I, did I miss anybody, or does anyone anyone want to add more, uh, more uh, raffles? Matthew Seabrook said... Um FC, can I ask Hank to show the pic of Joe and himself? <laughs> Guys, let's just finish the show tonight. Let's just finish the show tonight. It's getting late. Yeah, very late. But, uh, but Majesty Rook is like a giant. Mm. Uh -huh. He's almost seven feet. Oh, shit. Big man. Wow. I think that's it. Anyone sent you on a Venmo pay about nothing? All right. Uh, so... Darius, you have the most. You have three. Can you give us a number one to ten to spend? The man got three egg rolls. What was the total sold? Twelve. Twelve. Uh, Thirteen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Odd, AJ man. says, how many more for third prize? With what Randy suggested, it's going to have to be like 30-something. So. I need 35 in total. So, we need 24. Uh, We're not... It's not going to happen. Tonight. I don't want to say it's not going to happen because it happened last week, but it is late, guys. And we did. We don't have... So if it's going to happen, let's put it in now. Pause. All right. Darius said oh. 10 spins. Darius said 10 spins. It's too late. The spins are locked in. We're in. You want to wait, hang, or go for it? We're going for it. All right, 10, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you win, your name will be taken out. Give other people a chance. It is winner's choice. Fareed taking it down. All right, Fareed, what you taking? Winner's choice. You're going to get the tribe number one, dual sign and remark. CGC eligible question mark. Hold on, let me take Farid's name out real quick. So Farid had two spots. Ah, so Jason two, says we're not friends anymore. And Farid. <laughs> okay. Jason, I'll let you win the first uh first poker match. Yeah. AJ says, what happened to 20 spots for the third prize the third unlock? AJ, AJ. Maybe not not tonight, maybe next time, AJ. I'll tell you what, AJ. The money that you were gonna use to combine for tonight. Next auction. Uh, Fareed wants a tribe, so he's taking the first prize. He's taking the tribe. All righty. All right. And then, Fareed, can you give us a number one to ten? Smart move, Fareed. Where's my notebook? Ten is a great number. Yeah. Jason does not like big numbers. There you go. Choose ten, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He says eight shuffles. Eight shuffles. All right, so it was 13. Now we're at 11. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. We spent Jason with the face palms. For the car first appearance of Carnage, it's going to Darius. Wow. wow. 
Oh, wow, Darius and Farid are looking out for each other the tonight. Is on a roll. Darius wow. is on a roll. He just passed out. He just passed out. Sorry, Jason. Darius is at home right now. Just passed out. All right, write this for Darius. Yep. It's late, guys. I got to go to Damien's house. Where's that, where's that copy I got to sign? I don't know. What are you talking about, Jason? You, know, you remember the JSA copy? Oh, that's around here. Yeah. Who got it? Gary Coates? There you go. Perfect. Yeah, that's definitely around here. Okay. All right, let's do the shared. We're going to speed this through. I'm not going to repeat it more than once. I'm ready. Uh, you have the board? Matthew Seabrook, TP, Push, v Rock, Darius, s &V, John Brown, Adam Frank, Faree, Chi Chen, Joshua Arias, Loman Dunn, Lindley Scott, Lou Burton, Steve Y, Ki Augusto, AJ from YouTube, Anil, Raymond Cox. I mean, was here? Yep. Yep. Saratoski, Dr. Alex, Mike Capozzi. Okay, I'm only repeating this once. We are getting really late here. So we have Matthew Seabrook, Terrence Peters, Steve Kushner, V Rob, Sardarius, Gene Donovan, John Brown, Adam Frank, Fareed, Chi Chan, Joshua Arias, Loman Dunn, Lindley Scott, Big Lou, Stephen Y, uh, Key Augusto, AJ, Anil, Raymond Cox, Mike Saratovsky, Dr. Alex, and Mike Capozzi. Did I miss anybody? Adam says, Hank, do you have uh, the, the ASM, yeah, ASM 361, shop. like one for sale? Yes. All right, so there you go. Uh, How much? Uh, it's great. It's great. Uh, right. I'm not sure right now, but it's great. That's fair. It's great. Okay. Oh, I forgot it's to show the way. Right. I don't think I missed anybody. No one else is saying anything. Let's have someone pick it. Well, who's one? Darius one. Darius. Yeah, yeah, Darius. Uh, can you give us a number? Loman is telling Darius to pick a big number again. <laughs> All right, 10. 10 again. One. Oh, no. Shit, shit, shit. How do I stop? Do... It's not going to count. Let me hide it. Let me hide it. Uh, I forgot to spin it. All right. All right. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Let me add that back and spin it. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it. Going to AJ. Oh, no. Going to AJ. Wow. Did he win the egg roll? No. No. Oh, okay. Um, V. Rob is saying the mouse painting that Lakea Allen won. Is it going to be signed? Because yes, absolutely. Okay. I know she was asking. I, I just didn't say anything, but she's been asking. And yeah, absolutely. It's been, uh, we're gonna get it signed. Okay. Let's do trivia. So we have. All right, two. guys. You gotta hurry. Cause I gotta go for me. T two and T three. Hank, ask. Okay. Go for it. You, you ask. Okay. Hank, you're the one in the rush. Huh? You got to ask first. You guys, you guys don't have a question? I'm still thinking. <laughs> I said, you, you ask first. Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, guys. The bat, first appearance of Batgirl we had on the show. What grade was it? Vorshan says, easy, quick questions. AJ said, what did I win? What did he win? Uh, AJ, uh, you won something. What was the grade of this book? What was Raymond, it? it was not good. All right. Uh, um, where is it? Vorshan had it. Fine. fine. It was a fine copy. Go. All right. There you go. All right. V Rob, one, two, or three. Okay. Vorshan says, give me that. I need a number, though. I need a number. One. Which, which number? Sure. He didn't say anything yet. Okay, two. He says two. So you're getting DC Rebirth Deathstroke number eight. What a cover. That's you, a great cover. You have Bizarro crushing Deathstroke's mask. Okay, I got one. I got one. Uh, Darius was interested in the art germ box, but he he only wanted a close-up of one. Which book was it? Uh, Adam, so it always it always comes to whoever shows up on my screen first. We all we all saw it on my screen on the hang screen. 
and uh, we're just like we're just gonna have to. Uh, all right, so Raymond got it. It was Panther. It was Black Panther. Uh, Raymond, can we get a number one or three? Trivia one or three? Let's see. Poor Sean was first. And yep. then he said three. Okay. He said three? Mm -hmm. All right. So, Raymond, you're getting uh, DC, uh, DC Rebirth, Red Hood, and the, and the Outlaws, number five. Another Bizarro. Not a Bizarro cover. All right, so you you're not gonna be happy with this one, guys. What's the name of the character that's being portrayed after Todd Johnson's daughter? That's a good one. Oh man, who paid attention? Oh, AJ's the one who won the shared book. What was the shared book? Oh, that's in the box. He just wanted to know what it was. Uh, AJ, right here, spin. What was it? It was two books. AJ, no, that's the box raffle. Um, uh, I don't remember. Gene Don, whoa, Matthew C. Book. Who's Matthew said Fly Girl. That's correct. Okay. All right, so Matthew, you're getting the last one. This is trivia one. This is uh, Superman 19. So all those trivia. Right, Matthew, how are we going to get this to you? you, you you're in Canada. Oh, shit. <laughs> is he really? <laughs> in Canada. We're going to pay more for the shipping. Yeah. Exactly. We'll send you we'll send you a cover price, three dollars, and you can buy your own copy over there. Holy crap. And closing remarks. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Uh thanks to uh Larry Stroman and Todd Johnson. Great interview. All right. All right. See you guys, see you guys next week. Good night, everybody. See you next week. You should give it to me.